Did it get worse? Did it get worse? <laughs> I never know if it was getting worse or not. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are we all doing, people? I can't remember where my vehicle is. Oh, it's right here. It didn't get worse, did it? I should get this in orange. Everybody's going for the dark colors. I love the purple and blue, and if it's, uh, rolls on quite well, but... What's worse? PD is always up good. Yeah, it's never, ne ne never anything going wrong. No meta. That, that makes, that makes me worried. Is there a day where it actually gets better? Um... No. No, no, it never get. It's never gotten better. I don't think it's ever gotten better. Don't need to know another person died. Find out an RP. Oh God, was it Washington? If not, can we make it Washington? It always gets worse. Should have learned that by now. Oh, no. If you're not on, I don't watch ignite. So okay, well that's fair enough. Washington is dead. This is a ghost. <gasps> well, at least Washington found out you go to heaven. Right? That's good news. Sign in. Oh, somebody played a plank on you with that stupid. Uh, yeah, y'all need no. You need to sign in and unlock the door. Door. Uh, hi, hi. Yeah. Hi. Oh, you work here. Yeah, I do. I Sven. I. I'll be back. I just. Sven. Yeah. Let me in. Thank you. Oh, Hello. there we go. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why yeah, it was locked. My lord. Los Santos is heaven. Yikes. Okay, fair point. Yeah. If Washington's a ghost, he's in purgatory. He deserves it. Oh god, I realize we can hear people through the wall. God damn it. That's a problem. I wish today we learned only those who have sex go to heaven. Yeah, it's also something the Christian church would advocate. Are we letting the onboards in? We are, right? Sorry. I'm people. Look, uh, look very blonde. What's up? It's good look. What's up? You look very what blonde. Is that a compliment or not? Yeah, I, I said it looked good. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. The press room might have that problem. I think all these rooms have a problem. Yeah, you've got to take care of yourself. Mm, let me just see if there's anybody else working. Uh, uh, is Madison here? No, Ma Madison was having an issue with her radio, so she might be a little second. Uh, yeah, you can hear people through walls, but only just. Like that, huh? Okay. All right, I guess, is this everyone? Um, I apparently am not even clocked in. One second, please. There were some others around. I don't know where they've gone, Joe. Yeah, the windows, yeah. They forsvant som tårar i regna. I 
I don't even want to comment on everybody's seating positions. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, is there anything major from the previous shift that I should be aware of? Drug trafficking! Who's been drug trafficking? You, you've been drug trafficking, Papa. And I caught the drug trafficker. Oh, well. Come up and describe your, 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 your uh, accomplishment then. Oh, we're also onboarding today. Uh, but I'll talk about drug trafficking first. <clears throat> if you, um... So we have our first hold until trial, guys! Woo! Yeah, well, um, well, come on, everybody yeah, get excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, also, please do not touch. There are three rows in evidence. They are not organized like the other rows. This is because we have, this is for the hold until trial. There is a piece of paper before these three rows. It is for the search warrant because this is such a huge case. I have discarded the Rugers in there, uh, to make sure we have all the evidence for this case. Um, yeah, yeah. Basically, what has happened is we got the call uh, that it's somebody gone. fell into the prison. Um, and when they went to frisk them, they refused. Uh, so then I detained them for disobeying a lawful order. Uh, when they went, then went to search them, um, they had two trays of crystal meth on them. Oh my god. Uh, in, in the prison. In the prison. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I Mirandized them. Then under Miranda, they said, well, I was moving all my stuff out to Polito because uh, I hate driving up there. We then uh, called the prosecutor and the judge, uh, the justice, and we execute search warrants for all of their vehicles. Um, <laughs> and if you look at the evidence, it is case number... Um, is Thomas Tom, who I think almost all of us have arrested. Um, oy, oy, oy. Uh, I think the best part of this is that due to a computer glitch, uh, this his RV was released uh, with evidence in it, so he thought he was safe. Um, and he said, you cannot charge me with this because it is double jeopardy. And I said, no, you're wrong. Because uh, the chain of custody has been broken. And, uh, he, no. Uh, so he has now used, uh, he has now used it. And, uh, he, he's, he's screwed. He's, he's very screwed. Uh, we had need to finish. He needed to attend to some emergency nightmares yesterday. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he has uh nice. now just uh, been sent up for the nines. Um because I don't know uh, nobody yeah, has yeah, yeah. For the done night. for the nine. Nine 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 no. nine. Why are you saying um, no? German? No, he gets sent up for nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine months oh, and he's yeah, held yeah, up yeah, there yeah, until oh, a trial yeah, is available yeah. or he is released on bail. Correct. Uh so it's his reference number uh Two thousand two zero two three, and also Perhaps. reference number two zero two eight, because we needed to do two um, to execute the warrant. Um, so it is a real big report, and a cadet wrote it. Uh, cadet Biggs uh, wrote all of this. So, and you see, Cadet Biggs. Yep. Uh, an job. assistant with uh, Mikey O'Neill uh, did all the inventory uh, of all of the vehicles and wrote the return receipts for Gendo. them all. Great work. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a team of three of us, uh, along with the prosecutor and Justice Wade. Um, so. That's the first? It is the, within our current system, it is the first hold until trial charge. Uh, we need to continue. It is a continuance because we need to talk to him today because he has asked for a lawyer. There was no lawyer available. 
uh because he still has those other initial charges uh we need to get settled um but we don't exactly know um if they're i mean it's it, he has to go to court but because it's a all these are bundled into a trial uh if he is pleading if they are all settled in this initial court case does this make sense We don't know how the yeah, system yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, that makes sense. But yeah. Well, well done, guys. He's fucked. Yeah, come on, a little more enthusiasm for the first yeah, drug trafficking. Yeah, 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 Oh, it took me four trips to just carry it all in here. Potentially the first time somebody's gone to jail for an incredibly long amount of time. This is exactly what kind of things the detectives would want to be doing. Uh, and, uh, and this is a fantastic amount of effort from at least three officers. And he gave up somebody's name. <laughs> so we, we might have somebody else to be looking into. So <laughs> he's, he's very dumb. All right, everybody, a round of applause for Papa and Mikey and uh, Cadet Biggs. Awfully quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a good that's a good job. Good job. Good. Nah, I've, I've go. slept for three hours. Uh, go I'm back to the onboarding Papa. today. Go back to bed, Papa. It's onboarding today. It's still, I'm sitting be... very angrily. I didn't mean to sit that still angrily. Go back to bed, but I am so awake, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, well, I guess that is a good point. I spoke with the prosecutor's office. Uh, well, actually, I believe Marjorie, the district attorney, will be sitting up in an office here, so she will always be available and around as as long as she is awake um for you guys to use in cases such as that one but essentially the prosecutors want us in any felony uh even if it is just a simple robbery we know exactly what the charges are just bring the prosecutors down uh if you can uh, if they're available this will ensure that we have a consistency on charges being pushed you know if we, if they shoot at us, are we going to push uh, attempted second, attempted first, or just uh, assault and battery of a, a government employee? Uh, ensure that you bring a prosecutor down that will ensure that the whole system is consistent. And we don't have situations where defense attorneys like, well, this, this officer gave me a lot of time served and, and you should do the same because it's unfair. Tell them to go suck in and speak to a prosecutor. Other than that, uh, I have, uh, drafted up a list of, uh, ways in which we should be impounding or seizing vehicles. That has all been placed on your desk. It is also in the SOPs, as is the new, uh, unit limits on chases. That's all in the SOPs. Make sure to read those up. Uh, very simply. Impound it if it's stolen. Seize it if it, it's not, but, uh, is being used in a violent felony or a street race or so on if you don't know you can seize it do a little more investigation and then release it as soon as you uh realize what's going on i i don't know you get shot at you don't know whose vehicle it is you haven't fully identified all the suspects i would seize it find out who the suspects are and then if you find out the vehicle is stolen uh, you can potentially release it understood understood all right has anything else major happened? Nope. I, I tried to I tried to arrest someone with circumstantial evidence and he got thrown out. Uh, and the attorney kept saying that I shouldn't be going onto the farm to look for people growing drugs because they're private farms. Which farm? Out in Grapeseed. Ah. Uh, the, the deed to the house. And uh, wait, the, okay, hold on. The yeah. trouble is, it's like the drugs aren't really visible from public land because. Uh, whatever reason you don't see them to get too close uh, as uh, there is a farm that is off the the beaten path near braddock pass just north of great seed yeah uh, just as a general I, everyone Grapeseed. just trying to avoid that one unless you see someone go in there uh yeah if it's if you can see it from the road um you can you can take it 
I think there's also I mean, pathways between all of those farms that you can go through. Uh, did you I bring a prosecutor in? Yep, yep. And I should have been able to um, see it from the road, but for whatever reason, uh, they can't be seen from that distance. Yes, even With through a camera? Even through a camera, even through binoculars, they just simply do not appear. All right, well, uh, and you said it got thrown out. The prosecutor didn't want to push it. Yeah. All right, Too much circumstantial evidence, they said, and um, they mentioned their 100% conviction rate, so maybe they didn't want to lose. What? They, they didn't want huh? to lose their 100% conviction, right? What prosecutor? What was it? That's not what they that's not what they said, but they mentioned uh, they mentioned it. Um basically the person's car was there. Who was there the prosecutor? Into... Was there gangster or something? Matthew uh, Martin? The, one, the one with the squeaky voice. Matthew Martin, okay. Oh. Matthew Martin's usually good. I I will read over good. the report and then I'll go speak to the uh, the, the prosecutors afterwards, uh if that is the okay. case. Uh I, the number. Uh yeah, yeah we can what discuss it afterwards. Number? Okay. Uh, other than that, yeah, we do have onboarding today, so some officers might be uh, indisposed elsewhere. And then on Saturday, we have our academy. All of you are meant to attend. If you cannot attend, just let someone know. It's fine. I'm not going to crucify you if you can't do it. Well, like, yes, yeah, this... we're going to need for that um, onboarding. Maybe Matthew Marks is unavailable. Uh, yeah, we'll mark ourselves as unavailable. And it might just be a couple of us. We're just going to run through the whole uh, PD and show them everything. Uh, that does also mean that in the future, uh, we're going to have a lot of cadets. And if anybody is willing to help train, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, yeah, anything yeah, else? Yeah. Let's probably uh, have uh, all command in the onboarding. So, Gavin, you know, one command is helpful. It, yeah, I have. Yeah. You can just contact yeah. us in an emergency. Uh, yeah, go on there, Sweden. Uh, we had a couple of lawyers uh, going around PD saying that they want to go inside the, the facility down to cells and stuff. Uh, like they're hired like, by us, they say. What's the like? Are we letting them in or what's the? I have no the information on that. Yeah, I really uh, what his name is. Not prosecutors, our uh, uh, PD defense uh, flop and something else, right? Uh, they, yes. can, they can get a guided Richard, tour. Richard Floppy or something like that. Yeah. Yes, uh, correct. I believe they can get a guided tour. Floppy, you said. Uh, let, me, let me have a quick look. Uh, pretty much all individuals should just be getting a guided tour. We should not have individuals just roaming around uh, who are not employed as officers. Um, yeah, that's what uh, I thought, but. Uh, yes. Should people claiming to be uh, defense attorneys for the PD be defending uh, suspects? It seems a bit counterintuitive. No. Were they okay. defending uh, other individuals? Well, it's, 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 rela it's, 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 it's related to the report that you want to look at, so... Um, okay, yeah, that, sorry, that, that sorry, sounds like a, me so squeaky. another thing that I should bring up in the damn office. All right, uh... Who wants to do... Actually, Stevie, you want to do today's prayer? Mm. Not right now. Woo! Stevie! Oh, okay. You're good, All dude. Right. Come on, Stevie. Well, she Adelaide. Yeah, I'm not sure if you've been... really deeply about cake, so... And you didn't share it? Damn it, Stevie. <laughs> no, I'm just I didn't thinking even get a Polaroid of it. What, what Victoria sponge? Jam and a bit of cream and some nice cake. <gasps> One thing, one, thing before, one thing before the prayer and before we wrap yeah, up. Yeah, go on, uh, Enforcing the unpaid law, uh, unpaid fines. Uh, oh, uh, shit. Law. I completely forgot um, about that, yeah. Does, does that mean that all of their outstanding fines are then squashed and cleared? Or no. Mm -hmm. uh, are they wait, still wait, 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 wait. So I'll, I'll run through it. So uh, somebody will get five days per 2,000 uh, to pay a fine. Uh, if they then reach, you know, say they get a $2,000 fine, and five days pass, they are now overdue on that specific specific fine and that one only uh if you catch them they do not have a warrant if you just catch them in an un un unrelated uh, other business you will then send them up for it is uh was it 40 months per 1000 uh mm -hmm. that fine is then voided they are serving that time in lieu of paying that fine 
or two thousand dollar fine oy, oy, oy. we'll bring them in if they've been arrested for something else uh you will give them 80 extra months in jail and they will go up and serve those 80 months and then that one fine will be voided now obviously if they have multiple unpaid fines they will serve time for all of those uh you'll do them in total so you'd add them all up yeah yes uh was so, there like a contempt of court thing every seven thousand too exactly yeah 7, so that is an extra okay. a bit of money that they have to pay Should and we stack also that one sorry uh, uh i don't believe 7, that 000? that was stacked i think it was just okay. a, okay. one one times on seven thousand uh i will double check though so don't take that as gospel uh, all right so like we should really put something then in the description of their latest report where they are forced to pay those unpaid fines something clear to show everyone right that I, like I, every sorry everything if you else is want to admissible the, sorry i'm sorry if you want to put the last report i'm working on um i did put on there because we did have a guy that had um six thousand um some odd worth of uh late fines so we did send him up for 340 Oh, anyway, whatever. We sent him up, and um, I after I got done doing it, I did take off the other fines that were past due and left the only one that wasn't due yet on there, since you'll you be serving time. Yeah, you can um, <laughs> exempt them. Yeah, My only exempt, thing yeah. I realized afterwards is that I probably should have taken a picture of it prior to doing it, because now that I'm doing it, I kind of want to be able to show that they oh, did yeah. have that. So that's maybe something we need to make sure that maybe people do so we can have that we're as a reference. Room, I mean, if you literally charge or, them with, uh, was it unpaid fines, we'll see on their record yes. that they're not paying it. Uh, and Once then we can also see on their profile the fines that have been exempted. It will, it will, you know, it will say exempted on there. So, so I, I think we'll like that. At all. No, That's once they are exempted, they're gone. They're not oh, there. Okay. So it almost looks like you could just be like, yep, you're paid. So I didn't know if we wanted to have that just to have it as reference showing that, yes, they it, did have those yeah. unpaid. It, it does say to record it, so... Okay. Yeah. It like, he covers he when... covers your own back and it takes, like, 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, she is right. Take a picture of it. Yeah, it was after the fact. I had thought about that Except when I started. Fine. So. It doesn't remove the paperwork, there, does it? The uh, report and all? Uh, yeah, the priors would still exist, right? Yeah. Yes, yes they, but it does no. not exist that they paid. Yeah. So she is right. Take a picture of it but uh do very specifically make sure to exempt them from the fines on their profile rather than delete in the report because they are still serving time uh for you know the fines that they are meant to be paying uh as for the the contempt of charge my reading of this any person found to owe more than seven thousand dollars shall also be charged with contempt of court that would be one count if they are over seven thousand dollars it's just one count not two counts to 14 just one count uh all right, and, and also, if they are overpaid on fine, that is probable cause for arrest. So if you pull them over on a traffic stop, you can just arrest them uh, for their overpaid fines. This does not mean go oh. down into, you know, Grove Street and try and pull them over or something, and then go, okay, now I can arrest them. Don't don't use this as a chance for warrants. Uh, it's just if, if you happen to catch them doing something else, you, you can now arrest them. And, and there's no reduction on the unpaid fines charge? Yes, there's no reduction. 670 or whatever, there's no reduction. Well, no reduction as far as I'm concerned. The Attorney General and I had a brief chat. He said he might be willing at absolute maximum if they were to pay the fines with cash, uh, reduce it uh, so they only have to pay 75%. So a 25% reduction. That would be his maximum. But that would be uh, if, he's pay if they're paying in cash rather than serving the time. Right. Why does Washington look like a dodgeball coach, though? <laughs> Alright, anything else? Anything from your yourself, Chief? So if they can pay the cash, they don't have to serve the time? Uh, yes. But, like, they're gonna have to pay it right there and then. I, I don't want to hear no, Oh, give me two days and I'll pay it. No, you, you Google serve you two days in damn jail. Do we have an ATM in here? Uh, There's one. We have one. Outside. Outside. There's one just outside to the right. Oh, okay. well, then and, we do, yeah. And, and can we take can we take them to that to take the money out? And, uh, you'd have to trust them. I, I don't know if I'd trust anybody to go out there and uncuff them and watch them run. But if you hold them by the arm or make sure that they know that they're still kind of cuffed to you. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, on them as they Have them type their around. pin with their nose. Don't use the tongue. <laughs> right, okay. Who was going to do it? Oh, Adelaide. I was going to get you to do the prayer. Was I not? Yeah, at, who? yeah, daily prayer must be done at all meetings, and I don't think you've done one or been involved in one before, so take front and center and, and do a prayer for the whole PD. Fair enough. Uh, dear whoever we hold as our high regard, we wish to uh, ask for our safety and clarity today as we go about our daily activities. And, uh, Look out for one another and each other. Thank you. Amen. 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 Victoria Sponge. Aww. Hi, Chief. Yeah. Oh, just said hi. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, also, we're gonna we're gonna steal you, Adelaide. We're gonna convince you to stay with us and not go back and join the marshals. <laughs> it's gonna happen. As promised. Shoot. Okay. Um, I think I've got to hire people. I don't feel very good today, so pl I, I haven't got anything for the class. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I hope everyone's doing well. It's all right. Stevie Bob Victoria Sponge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sharing it. No, but it's Sponge. Oh. Sponge. Lot. Can't eat Sponge. Eat Oh, that we are. You just t trust those damn Brits. They'll, they'll feed you a sponge all night. Uncle needs <laughs> cake. I was going to ask nicely. who is Victoria and why is she giving away her sponges, but it's fine. Named after a queen of England. Yeah, it's it the queen's bath sponge. But then you put cream and jam on it. Hot cream, hot cream, <laughs> Uh -huh. Do we have anything else? No, oh, okay. Make sure to trust each other and look after each other. Oh, if you're in shootouts, make sure somebody's staying down and giving comms. Never leave 95s or officers down without backup. Uh, even if another officer's getting shot, you need to watch over those. Uh, and everyone, please, please, make sure to congratulate Poppy and Biggs and McNeil. Or O'Neill, sorry, on their, their, their good work. And, well and, done, Martin. and Martin. Martin. Martin was oh. Martin was great. Okay, Martin. Oh, Martin. Yeah. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Does anyone want to tell? Oh, Shad? I did. Oh. We, we got the first hold until trial. Let's so, fucking go. Yeah. See, that's the uh, excitement I want to see from you guys. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, 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 they just uh -huh. sit there rambling like goddamn Muppets. Oh, I said great work. You guys are great. You do know what that means, yes. right? The huts Those were just persons. introduced. Oh, no, they, they've been, they, it's been around. We've, we've had it in the penal code for a while. This yeah, is going to be one of the, the, this is the know, biggest because, case. Um, this is going to well, be the woo! biggest arrest that I, we have I don't, made. I don't sure, it. we've had like the X well, amount of to. aggravated assaults, attempted. Mm. But this, this is like, the big boy shit. So make sure your paperwork big is fucking airtight. Shit. Get with the district attorneys. Holy fuck, let's go. Yep. Let's um, and the, and the, yeah. number? Oh, hey, hey, Jake. Oh, there are two reports. Hey, yeah. Yep. There are two report numbers. There's a appropriate amount of evidence. There are return receipts. Okay, that's, uh, you don't have to deal with Derek for a few days? You did a no. fucking fantastic job. Your yeah, search warrants. Oh. Um, this, this the chief, this, the this justice chief was there, around. Yeah. He approved the search warrants. Hell uh, yeah. Uh, the guy had to have emergency nightmare. Uh, so we need to do a continuance today, but he is You're up for the break. nines oh. right now in jail. Amazing. Woo! Did his race get judge life? What's the report number? Oh, it is. Yo, guys, how's it going? Ahead, because he had two, nightmares, it stopped. Two, but that report I don't remember. It is Thomas Tom. I believe that is the RV that you uh you had in, the whole in Yes, in, we we had yeah. that pending search. Yes, and there was an oopsie uh glitch in the system and it got released. So and it and ended up being very beneficial in our favor. 
Yeah, um, I need to, because that uh, occurred, I think, like a day ago. I wasn't able to actually grab the, is, my... is Mikey here? Mikey no. is not here. I believe he, Ooh, we were up. Kid. We were up incredibly late, and he mm -hmm. was not even meaning to come around. So I need to get in touch with Mikey and but also Andy, Joe wanna... Marino because I wasn't <laughs> able to. You know, I really struggle with your name, the Andy Mums, because scene, obviously from no pixel there's Mandem, so I, I just I read it as Mandem Mums. Finding the RV and the like the original scene of that, so I need to get Mikey and. Joe to submit. Which crime get a 900 job and then find 10,000? What the hell? Did they, from did they shoot that cops? To potentially add 10, that into your fine? report, maybe? Well, that's Not okay. Report, we, we, got every, we got everything we back out of it because we searched it, we searched it it's now. Mandem. But then, you know, if you what want to strengthen the Mandem? case a little more because it was spoiled on yourself. scene of another cook. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, he, he is he is so fucked. We have enough for drug trafficking uh, just mm -hmm. with what we have found. Mandem, um, um, Mandem mums? So it's Mandem's mum! He is majorly, majorly uh, screwed. Uh, the only mm, thing that he can okay. potentially do for himself is he mentioned a motel room in Polito uh, uh, that he refused to, to give us uh, uh, the you know. name of a uh, near address of uh, that motel room in Polito. Um, we, we, we did not have anything to be getting it. Okay. Well, I'm still going to try and get the original scene photos over to you anyway, regardless, because mm -hmm. you can't I go believe, wrong with believe, more evidence. I believe like, Mikey has this. Uh, these are original scene photos. And in the original scene photos, there were eight trays, eight baking trays uh, in the the just eight baking trays, period. Uh, and when we find the RV, there were six baking trays on his person. When I find him in prison, guess what I find? Two trays of crystal meth. <laughs> So, oh, yeah. confidential informant. Search, go ahead. Okay, what do you? Oh have? yes, we finished conducting the search of all of his vehicles, um, but he was asking for a lawyer, and then he had to have emergency nightmares. So, uh, we didn't finish, uh, you know, his pleas and everything like this. So we to jail uh, for the nines because he had to. We were on a time restraint. And this was the absolute first hold until trial. Oh, uh, he had many charges, including this hold until trial. And we are not sure if that even the prosecutor was not sure because there is a hold until trial charge in addition to uh, all of these other charges. If all the of these go into a lump uh, charge to be judged by the like in front of a court case, Does this makes sense. Fuck yeah. Good shit. Okay. Yeah, but this in total took about, I think, four hours. Uh, or maybe not four hours, but it, it was a fucking long time. Jonah Nash was the there! In the no, park. they were not. Uh, there was one There was one car that was uh, crashed in Sandy uh, that had two guns in it. Uh, it was... He is a violent felon, so he could not have those guns, so we charged him with that. And the other cars were parked it. off of Elgin, and uh, so I'm not sure what the one surfer van had. Uh, Mikey, I had uh, doing all of the inventorying. Um, so just to not Chief disrespecting man. things more. What? what the um, hell are you on about? So, and you got a bad lawyer and got four thousand knocked off. They got four thousand dollars knocked off, and you're calling them a bad cruisers. lawyer? How the we hell did you get four thousand dollars knocked off and call them a bad lawyer? Holy shit! Um, but yeah, everything, kind of everything, evidence. okay, and the, the, the most important thing is everything is in the evidence locker. Is um, it is in three rows that's in the evidence taking, locker. That's fleeing and eluding, uh, that's grand theft auto, the search that's warrant. robbery, and, then, uh, and possession of a firearm is $1,500. Because this is such a huge case, I cleared out uh, some or something. rookers. Maybe I will months. gladly pay $1,200. Um, no, this um, is more important than a fucking how... gun auction. This is huge. Yeah. I will, yes, that's what I How thought. Somebody so almost I cleared out get uh, three rookers, times so a commercial robbery off, clear, and you consider uh, and them a bad organized. lawyer. Um, so all of the evidence is and only seven days there, to pay uh, with the search warrant, and it's um. And they go find ten thousand. Okay, locker. that that's actually wrong. That's unconstitutional. Um, 
I've made sure to change that shit. Like I did that, I accidentally did that wrong with Robert Walker, I think. I, I would not, I do not want, oh, no. until this is absolutely solid, I do not want to destroy this, this one. evidence. Oh, you have five days. I have Fine. taken, I have had multiple people take multiple pictures of this, but because of how big this case is, I do not want to fuck it up. Oh, you're doing fine there, Pop. It, uh, honestly, if it, uh, we uh, we can have a long discussion with the attorneys if they think that you know, we have to come with the physical evidence to to the courtroom. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Pictures should be sufficient, and you have well documented this. We are this. going to have to make bring a dump truck. Yeah, it's <laughs> there is. I mean, sure, okay, technically. I've they been want told I have one of those. You have a dump truck. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that is done. fair. Uh, yeah, no, there's, yeah, there's no have, way that you have... could bring all of that to a call room. They can, they can suck it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have, um, we have evidence. Who is uh, this we have the pictures back? of it, I believe, all in every one of the trunks. Um, we have it out of every one of the locations. Um, so it's just the question of because we had to do it in two reports and submit the two reports. Um, it's so, fine. On the docket, you can just yeah. submit both of the reports as evidence. Yep. Um, so that's the only part because of our MDT system. It gets a little bit messy. Ten um, hours in prison, seven because, days to pay. Uh, uh, yeah, it's really easy to earn money in prison. Points. In fact, it's one of the best jobs around. So. Did you run out of room to, like, add stuff or something? Uh, no, um, it was, it's, it was just a little, it's a little bit of a hiccup because it was submitted as a arrest report and it's a little bit of How? Uh, there's two um, jobs you can do in prison, I if not more, not clear uh, event, where you earn um, really, really good money. And I was awake for 16 hours. In fact, so, uh, yeah, um, I... He got submitted with so one the, thing I love doing, the one thing I love doing on Sid was I'd go to jail and I would come out of jail with... But more money than the five come out with profit uh, because it was come out with profit. in the warrant um so like i did a fleeing um, i got fleeing and eluding and it was what sense? 30 like, 40 months of jail i can't remember what it was like i didn't get any reduction to that report uh, without it and i just ran around doing warrant. electricity so and cleaning and i came yeah. out yeah. with yep. more more so, money than my fine was um, we can just do some other paperwork to. So if I was in there for ten hours, God, charge, fuck, you would, you would, you would probably, probably get close to. I mean, you would just really sit there and do jobs and be boring. But <laughs> it's, it, fucking doing jobs in there is really good. You need money? Go get yourself a job to prison. Yeah, pretty much. But the cadet is a fantastic fucking. Too bad there's no RP in prison. Heck yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I came everyone. on, yeah, I came on duty to finish onboarding him and to teach him how to use handcuffs. And then this happened. Oh, yep. sorry. Look Quickly, who is it? Sorry, I don't Great know if you are new hires or I just don't recognize you. Yes, who are the they, two at the back? New hi they are new hires. Oh, okay. They're, They're new here hires. to be onboarded today. All right, that's fine. That's fine then. Uh, right. Okay. I, I believe this meeting is talking around in circles now with, uh, I think everybody's done a fantastic job. Uh, unless anybody has anything pressing, they can't just be raised to a member of command or something. Uh, you're all dismissed. We had a C. I'll just get them in the system. This was, all, this was all from him slipping into the prison and then refusing to let me <sighs> carry prison. Prison for someone who's streaming is bad. Uh, but and that the, sounds like consequence. The, the, like, I, I hate the, the idea. That receiving like consequences for your actions in question. role play is bad for your stream, so therefore we shouldn't yep. do it. As someone who has been fired multiple times on characters, which has been very bad. For this uh, thing that got thrown out with the prosecutor, or uh, yeah, I would like to discuss that for sure. Ah, uh, okay. what, what is the report? Uh, yeah, someone has got fired multiple times, which has been incredibly bad for stream, and also switched uh, servers. Two zero um, three seven. Zero three seven. Um. All right. So you saw their vehicle there first. I've fucked myself immediately. God damn it. Okay, give me one second. I need to nap. Uh, but you saw them there first, right? 
saw the, saw the, saw the car there yesterday. Um, okay, so their argument the is came. that you would be trespassing because it's private property, whilst at the same time they are also trespassing on private property. So have reason Correct. to go inspect what's going on and reasonable suspicion to search the area. They can go fuck yeah, themselves. They, They're morons. They, 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 they claim to have an alibi to be there, but they couldn't provide one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, idiots. Uh, I'll, I'll speak to the attorney about this in general. Give me one second. We'll discuss it in more detail, but, uh, I'm viewing attached image endlessly and we'll never stop viewing uh, attached yeah. image. So I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'm just going to lie down right here. One second. <laughs> Did he have a reason to be observing the farm in the first place? Well, it sounds like he wasn't observing the farm in the first place. He noticed a vehicle at a farm. Uh, and therefore, therefore had reason to have a look at what was going on at that farm and then saw someone there, so then inspected further, because at that point he's got reasonable suspicion that somebody's either trespassing or something's going on, uh, and then finds them growing weed and then has reason to arrest them. Uh... If someone goes to jail a lot, uh, it's really not that bad because you generally aren't going by yourself. Yeah, and if you've got friends, um, like, I've gone to jail by myself a bunch of times, and usually your friends that you did the crime with will come visit you in jail, so you then can roleplay with them that way. He's kept saying All right. that we weren't to be there. And then today his car was there, and presumably the same person, but they were masked. When I tried to detain them next to the crops, they, um, you know, I left my fucking car and locked, they got in and, and dipped. Yeah, that is too much. Like, honestly, if you court him and then be nailed so to the job him, saying them get arrested for a crime that commits bad for their career. Be yeah. Because he got away, he could, yeah. he could literally say. If there's no consequences to anything that you do, that, yeah, the yeah, role yeah. play like, becomes really entire, boring entire and case. nobody would really want to watch yep. it anyway. So then it just becomes, at that point, just play GTA there, online. You got this, okay? You just keep building the case against him and you can fuck him in a little bit. Yeah, but the thing I kept, the thing I was bringing up though was more the fact that uh, this whole like I can't go in there because it's private and I should be getting a warrant to go in there. Um, no, because firstly, is it listed who is the property owner? Not to my knowledge. And you can't really who who are you who are you writing a warrant to? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I, I'm I'm still on the you saw from the road that there was a vehicle park there you have reasonable suspicion to go see what's going on and then it expanded from there it's private property and he, he doesn't have the to right go into private property without a warrant well yeah if there's IRS that person doesn't it doesn't own that area yeah you can go in and question what they're doing at the property mm-hmm okay it's the start of an investigation I, I I've heard this argument before it's it it's it's always just become a, become a mess of pain in the ass until the chief justice eventually turns around and tells them to shut the fuck up. And they're mm. going to restrict us from going in any of these areas for whatever reason, just because, oh, well, it might belong to somebody, but we don't have any record of it belonging to somebody. Yeah. It becomes no, a pain in the, the ass. way you have to treat this is that as much as I hate it, and because I do think really matter, uh, work, it's locally but owned. Issue, otherwise it can't place you don't re it's yes. not really owned, unfortunately. Because you, yeah. you can't subpoena and you can't write a warrant to a local. Yeah. Uh, now, there is another issue, uh, unrelated. Uh, did you get to speak to Nolan this morning, Shepard? No. All right. Uh, well, then, can you describe to me what your thought process was uh, whilst officers were using the live firing range to crawl through the 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 what's it called the the target practice to collect a pen no it was silly and stupid i shouldn't have done it i hold my hands up all right and then uh whilst admittedly slightly irate i, I did have a go at you and said i had half a mind to demote you for such a stupid action how did you respond uh go for it i don't care i was in a bad mood and i uh reacted inappropriately i will uh I spoke to Captain Nolan about this, and we agreed that uh, perhaps the best course of action is a temporary demotion back to Solo Cadet. Uh, you to learn that lesson, and we could okay. re-promote you back to officer. Understood. All right. Whether you learned your lesson, you understand. One hundred percent, yeah. You're a good man, Shepard. I, I don't want to see people make stupid mistakes because if you stood up, yeah, that, that could have been your life, and. 
that would have been two lives ruined. One, you you did, and two, whoever shot you, feeling guilty for for, the, for, for such an action. Especially when yeah, M16 was, was being used. No, I understand. I'll change my thing on the uh, MDT. Nah, it should only be for a couple of days, but... Uh, no, I understand. And then Tom, do uh, act as a just, solo Just cadet. in time for cadet. Uh, just in time for academy, I should say. Well, every, everyone, including senior <laughs> officers, need to be attending academy, so that wouldn't change that, nothing. No, no, it's a silly flipping joke. Ah. Thank you, uh, am I free to go? Yeah, I'll speak to the Attorney General's office about that and uh, the DAs will we'll speak to specifically. What, what was his name again? The squeak I, I know him, the squeaky boy. Uh, so, with... so, day one, uh, a defense attorney for the PD turned up on the scene to, to just watch what was going on. Um, and then today he came at the same time as having the person in the cell to see if anyone was down in the cell that might need representing so that the dispatchers let him down. And then um, I said to the prosecutor, I said, look, if you're happy for him to come in, then so be it. But I just, I don't think he should be here. He, he witnessed was, the he, event? He witnessed he witnessed yesterday's event where we didn't really have anything on the person. Like no probable cause on the person. Uh, today he wasn't present for when I had probable cause to stop the person. I uh, understood. Yeah, it, it, it's an unlucky, basically the, the prosecutor isn't wrong. It's just an unlucky chain of events that he can further investigate. Sock. And then, honestly, just Wait. keeping a report of all so this and right. keeping track Sock. of every time you see him there and having a report that backs it up, Sock. you can then all slam it together and you can prove that you he guys is don't know me. I'm constantly the RD, I play, uh, there. It just like, makes it look better in the long run. You're no investigating pixel. someone I play at this his point. Dad, record Walker, everything, record what they're wearing, night, record their car. Even if you've written it before, just keep doing that. And it all backs up to the point where you catch him and there's nothing to argue yeah, I mean, I just realized because I was going to make Joe Rosner a no pick though. Room now. Joe Unless Rosner would be else. ordained. He he could have done the he could have no, done good. the vows for. All right, damn take it. care, folks. I uh, have a good day now. Oh, anything interesting happened in the last uh, few days? Oh, Muffy has quit. Mhm. Mm she had uh, to put out the door. Yeah. Enzo fired Cobb. Why? Uh, I will read officially. Uh, so essentially, the chief has decided that she, for, for balance, she decided the command should have a discussion about this. I had an interview with uh, Enzo to get his side of the story. I mm. have spoken to Cobb, but not in an official capacity. Uh, I don't think I will get that opportunity. Because what Cobb basically said is even if he gets rehired, he doesn't feel like he will ever be welcome in this PD and might not ever return. Okay. Um... So this is me, uh, reading it out. Uh... There was a scenario with ballers that Cobb had led. Cobb sounded full of himself. Enzo wasn't a part of the scene, but Enzo did feel like he did the right thing. Oh no, uh, oh sorry, Enzo did not think that Cobb did the right thing. It sounded like it was a shit show, a burglary, why the hell are we chasing and shooting people, getting officers hurt over just a house robbery. Then, during the meeting, he passed, uh, to command and sergeants, in which case it was only Bonnie, but would not hand over to Enzo, despite knowing Enzo was there, or he at least sounded as if he would not hand over the, the meeting or further announcements to Enzo. Afterwards, uh, Cobb asked Harper, who was currently high on medication, if she would hire his friend, uh, which is that individual Biggs, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. Cobb ignored Enzo, despite Enzo having the power to do so as well. He kept ignoring Enzo and was disrespectful towards Enzo. It sounded as if uh, Cobb was bossing around Harper. Uh, just for clarity's sake, the individual that was hired was someone that we all agreed should be hired uh, at, at our meeting after all of the interviews. Uh, Enzo made some remarks. This is Enzo's statement. Enzo made some remarks towards Cobb, uh, hissing and snake noises. Uh, Cobb eventually spoke back, and he was extremely disrespectful to Enzo, so Enzo fired him. Uh, Cobb refused to leave the PD. He got personal and was insubordinate. Uh, and so, uh, sorry, Cobb goes back up to the office and ignores him, uh, that being Enzo, 
sorry Cobb goes back up to the office and ignores Enzo it's a man named Joel and lets Cobb into the room uh and Bonnie he then said that Bonnie was meant to fire Enzo but Bonnie was on drugs and said that since she was on drugs she would should not do anything while she's on medication uh, Enzo was meant to be suspended for a 24-hour period so I assume that is what he's referencing since no one had fired Enzo uh he still technically had the ability and the power to fire people Harper was under the influence she was not meant to be conducting any duties because she was under the influence of uh, morphine uh, so why Cobb was pushing it when she shouldn't be doing anything he doesn't know why was Cobb skipping the chain of command uh, Harper has respect for uh, uh, Harper has to respect high command and undermined Enzo which damaged his position in the PD uh, and then Gray clapped back and said uh, well you've been shaming Harper in public and also airing dirty laundry she brought up the union as, as an example Enzo Sorry. responded Harper acts on rumors doesn't listen to people cuts conversation shorts and has made her mind up before walking into a conversation at all points uh Enzo has been standing around the office dealing with people helping with people having meetings being there all the time and then he comes back and uh and uh the chief uh, has come back and shouted everything that him and Muffy have done undermining all the effort they put in uh disrespecting and reducing it to insults uh i don't know what to say other than the chief is uh a loose cannon that's all she has to offer uh, i don't know if she can run a healthy department without bringing her own issues to it uh and enzo says he wants to be there for everyone uh, but if one person above me doesn't want me there i don't want to be there <sighs> what do you think uh, I spoke with some of the other command members. Uh, we thought the best course of action was to demote both of them. I suggested a, a lieutenant position for Enzo, uh, because essentially goading a senior officer by making remarks, Cobb has. But how is it goading if Cobb had already, to his face, uh, disrespecting him several times? Wait, Cobb. As far as I'm aware, has commented multiple times that he does not like the bullying, uh, the hissing remarks. Eventually, he just had enough and then was okay, insubordinate. But, okay, but, but before that, before no, he wasn't. He was insubordinate before that by going over his head to go to the chief of police who was high on medication. That is also insubordinate. Yes, he had already he'd already made it very, and he'd also gone over Enzo's head to about the hiring in the first place. Well, the also hiring then, was agreed by Enzo. Yeah, but he'd also gone to Enzo's head when Enzo was there to actually do it. Again, going to talk Very different to story the when Enzo chief of heard. police rather than using Th that, that, was uh, that command. Search. Disrespectful in the meeting when not handing over to Enzo and try even if... But if Enzo didn't speak up, that's, that's both problems. But these are just complete lack of respect for Enzo too. And if you don't like someone, that's fine. They're still your fucking boss. Right. Well, we agreed so, the motion for both. Or at least okay, but, that was which, but but then like okay, but let me put in another another position. Like if you were in Enzo's position, what would you have done? You've been disrespected to your face multiple times. Uh, call them privately into a room and have a discussion with them, uh, and then uh, I'll agree, agree with. with okay, but then when he does when that happens, he's then. He doesn't get the support from anyone around him. I don't agree with what Enzo did. It was it was it was bad for leadership. But I also think that you have to look at both sides of like who has the power dynamic there. He was wrong, and I do agree in the end that demoting them both probably is the best course of action. Nikki is so good at the playing devil's it, advocate. The, it the sounds same time like Cobb created a rod like for his wrong. own back. Um, that should well, have been, I do that also should be... know that Cobb has complained that uh, over the past couple of days, whilst mm -hmm. doing his duties, I don't know if he has been disrespectful to Enzo before this. As far as I'm aware, it is not. But uh, Enzo did not mention this, and I haven't had the full ability to speak to Cobb directly about everything. But Cobb has mentioned at least as early as four days ago, I want to say, 
that people were calling him a uh, Harper loyalist and uh, a snake, and he was already thinking about leaving because because of the bullying. So his okay, but then his reaction to that is to be completely disrespectful. So how I remember the thing, rather than dealing with it like an adult, he's completely disrespectful. Wait, did anybody give a shout out to Sock? Oh God. Please, if you guys don't already follow Sock 22, there has to be a point a where Play the wonderful Richard Dark. He, the, I like, want to play with your character the, on the Ignite. Cobb has to learn that if he has a disagreement, the answer isn't to to, to just be blatant disrespectful at, because that, then you're just you're creating that environment for yourself. Uh, I do agree. But also much of what Enzo said in his statement was, and I even pointed this out to him, uh, is almost exactly how Enzo, the same way he feels about Harper is how Cobb feels about Enzo. Their complaints Sorry. are almost identical. And I, I'm not 100% sure, I won't say one way or the other, whether Enzo fully recognized that. I'm in the gym. I still don't... Recognize, I don't understand how that has any pertinence on what Cobb did. That, that is the perfect. I don't care about the speculation, I care about what happened in that exact moment. And in that exact moment, it seems like Cobb and Enzo were equally as bad as each other, but Cobb was the beginning of that. Mm. I don't think this incident can be isolated to just that incident, although that is obviously the, the fire. Uh, I believe the spark started a little earlier. Uh, I do believe that Cobb acted incredibly bad in the moment, but in much the same okay, way a bad you've... mood had been created by previous infractions over the past couple of days. Okay, then maybe, but then if that's the case, okay, but again, that goes back to my same point. Why is he... If he isn't able to deal with that, then maybe he shouldn't be at the front giving the meeting, or he shouldn't be. Wait, he was given the meeting because, uh, so the context regarding the baller situation, uh, two people responded to a house robbery on Grove Street. Uh, I think they cleared the house, and then when they came out, I was told this is all secondhand information. Around eighteen ballers came around and surrounded them, told them to get off their turf, and had AKs and other weapons. Uh, officers left the scene, and then Chief Harper got Cobb to organize a, a show of force, and units went down to respond to, to the area, looked in Grove Street, didn't find the suspects, and then eventually found mm -hmm. them somewhere north of Olympic, I believe near Legion Square. Small chase ensued, and then uh, a large amount of shots fired, and three of them were brought into custody, uh, and a bunch of officers were shot down. Uh, I, so... So Cobb was following orders from Harper. Yes, and then he was giving a debrief of the situation at the meeting, which Enzo had no idea about because he only arrived at the meeting. So was this spoken to, did Enzo and Cobb try to speak about this? Uh, no, I believe it was just Cobb gave the briefing. Enzo took uh, offense to uh, Cobb passing it off to sergeants in command. I uh, saw that as a disrespect, and then when Cobb went to go speak to the chief after the meeting to get his friend hired, uh, Enzo started making the remarks that, that that's the whole situation. Honestly, uh, on a, I'm going to put it this way. If they are disrespecting, I'll put it as much as this, and as somebody as command who could, like you, who could move up quite high. If they're already disrespecting people they don't like and have a power, they're never going to have the respect for you. That's just the reality. Yeah, well, I think they Cobb already should believe be promoted to officer. Have... Yeah. Like, that's, like, regardless of what Enzo did, that is Harper's business. But yeah. for the actual officers, the moment they are already behaving like that towards a captain, you have no chance of ever installing any sort of respect for any other rank. Because if he's already thinking he can get away with that with the captain, which he clearly has, because both of them are going to get punishment, but rightly so, because Enzo did wrong. Like, we shouldn't, he, we shouldn't be at this point catering to him to coming back. We should be going, oh, please come back. We should be saying, hey, if you want to come back, you come back with consequences. You don't deal with your issues with other officers that way.
and we enforce chain of command or there is no chain of command and there's no point in it uh, that's my advice you don't have to take it right. I'm right. joe i've had i've had enough of you joe I'm, I'm, I'm speaking as joe there just seems to be a lot of for the short time that i'm here a lot of people going straight to harper and that's making everyone else's job around here redundant yeah i, I agree chain of command is a massive issue um but i also i don't know i uh, i feel like uh goading is possibly not the right word but hissing at an officer and then them no, no, and those in the you, uh, you yeah leaving you to fire them is also a big issue Oh yeah, that's that's an issue too. That's abusive. Enzo's hey, power. Hey, how's it going? But it shouldn't have got to that point anyway, because again, going back, Cobb shouldn't have behaved that way in the first place. So we get to the issue. Agreed. Like he, yeah, you know, he gave he gave Enzo the ammunition. I also think that we're in an issue here, uh, because the reality is, is both need punishment for what has happened, and both will leave the PD because of said punishment. Yeah, because neither of them want to want to. Uh, the problem with this PD is pride. Which it's is... complete pride every single time you point something out to someone they get defensive they immediately start throwing shit at one another none of them it's it's pride aren't you very that... proud with shepherd by the way after that little comment yeah say again i'm very proud of shepherd after that uh that comment I, it was incredibly disrespectful after i'm doing a dumb fuck move and has accepted his yeah. consequences and that's exactly how it should be he didn't sit there making excuses for why uh, he didn't blame someone else he went yeah you know what i did dumb i did dumb fuck i'm i i'm gonna take it but the rest of the pd isn't like that and it's becoming very apparent because every time we have these disagreements it comes down to well let's throw shit at one another to see who's done worse yeah it's it's like as i said you don't have to take any of my advice i'm not here enough to really but no, this you're is a member of command same. your your opinion is completely uh equal to mine yeah well it, the, the the point is is that the times that i am around it's the same sort of baseline issue in a different way said every one of these like complaints so far between each other has been all the same complaints just said slightly different ways muffy enzo all of them it's lack of respect it's too much pride it's nobody wants to actually sit there and work on anything they all want to blame the other person and it's becoming into this vortex and that's all it is every single time agreed how you deal with it is extremely difficult though that's the because it, it's 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 difficult because it involves higher ups as well yeah. and how they behave Nolan was a little former than I. Uh, I said lieutenant and officer for Enzo and Cobb, respectively. He said sergeant or even senior for Enzo and officer for Cobb. Mm. No, you move them down the exact same amount or you're going to show that you favor one over the other. The punishment has to be completely equal to put, show both of them that what they both did was incorrect. I would tend to agree, yes. Because if you remove, if you remove him from a captain all the way down, you are basically saying that he you was do worse. not respect him, and yeah, yeah, and that we do not respect what he says. Versus, you both are removed down one rank, so we, we both, we think what you both did was fucking ridiculous, and we don't want to see it happen like this again. And you may earn your ranks back if you learn from the from what it is. Yeah, I uh, my main issue with captain role was if he is going to make spur of the moment decisions like that with no consulting or on essentially a emotional response that is a problem as a lieutenant he still has a power and he's still a great field commander but would not have the ability to fire people on a whim I, I have a lot of experience and i will tell you now um i've been nearly every single rank that you could be uh, i've never actually fired someone on my own volition Because you don't, you don't do that. Expectations you of the captain, the same expectations of the higher expectations of the Unless you are the very, very, very top. I would tend to like agree. Like Harper? But I do also see her You point. talk about it, and you all collectively come to the same agreement. And it's disappointing that nobody is working together, and everyone is 
not you, 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 Bonnie, other sergeants are trying very hard to keep the cohesion. It's upsetting to see that some people within the rank and structure wants to lone wolf it, and you can't lone wolf with police department. Oh, lone wolf it. I was, I really, I was struggling to comprehend what she said there. She said lone wolf it. Oh, well, I think that cohesion will slowly start to develop the more that we get academies done and FTOing done, because we just have a ragtag group of individuals, a motley crew, uh, who are all trying to work together whilst all having different opinions of how things should work. Uh, as more, yeah. more of us That's training where individuals. Harper comes in. Right. He is our, if she, because she. She wasn't. She was on duty yeah. drugs because um, she'd just what she given be doing another is officer to her opinions liver. And then going with what she feels is quite is, often. Officers come on duty would after make everyone happy, walking. but also work and could be done continuously for cohesion and continuity. The person I believe is completely to blame is the Chief Justice. I think he's scared of Nolan. That's true. <sighs> Command work is hard. Yep, never gets easier. Mm -hmm. I'm only 20. You know they took away my right to drink. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't drink on duty anymore. No, I can't drink at all. What do you mean? Why? Uh, it was federally passed le last year by the Supreme Court that the drinking age across the country should be 21. And we oh, are a yeah, doctor of this. Uh, we, as a state, can refuse to adopt it, but we will no longer get federal funding. So the... Uh, justice power has decided that we must pass the law now currently i don't see no charge in the uh oh i'm not on duty anymore there's no charge for underage drinking so i can kind of get away with it for now but it is now part of the constitution that the drinking age is 21 so i will soon not be allowed to legally purchase possess or consume any alcohol or beverages mm -hmm. or anything else I miss my whisket. No, no, Washington's 20 years old. Drink at home. I don't have a home. It's all being fumigated, so I bought a Mustang. <laughs> they have laws that say you can drink with a with a legal adult, I believe, as long as you're in the privacy of somewhere. Stevie, can we go drink together? Yes. Oh, yay. uh other than that i don't think there's much oh council went all right we might start trying to get a repo in uh, i've put in the uh sops for our unit limits as well as the uh vehicle seizures our chief agreed with those uh i'll start drafting and looking at permanent vehicle seizures as well as property seizures what our sops for that will be um which will be I don't know. Fairly, fairly easy. Uh huh. And what is your thought process there, ma'am? One more time for me, please. Oh, I said, what is your thought process there? On the previous thing? Uh, no, I, I can I can hear you thinking through silence. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking very deeply about the the rank of captain. Oh, are you taking it? No, no, no. I'm thinking about the fact that like, okay, my dad was a chief of police. Uh, I, so obviously I've seen it. And uh, it, is it captains have the have the right to fire, right? They've always they always do. Yeah. But a show a good faith is that you want your chief of police to defend you and be on your side. So the way you do that is by communicating with them your intention so that you can so that the they can back you. One. So don't just go out really fire someone like if I was if I if you were chief of police and I was a captain and let's say unless what happened the, the guy degree... was just here I've got his name already Shepard was here unless prescribed. and no. you weren't here and I was like you know what I'm I, what you did yesterday was fucking dumb you're fired you would I would then have to come to you and explain to you why I did it versus this Shepard needs I'm gonna go talk oh, to Harper about so things and we'll it. come up with an agreement God damn it. Because, oh, sorry talking to Rosner about this, I'll come with an agreement. Me coming to you and saying, look, this is why I think it should be, I should be a firing. And I think, and you go, uh, let's talk about it. You talk it out. And then you go, yeah, I agree with you. Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to go fire them. I still have that power. I've still done it. 
what I've worked to communicate. I've worked to communicate and for cohesion versus working against. And that is what a captain does. Oh, that thought process was hard. That communication, which ironically is one of the big complaints among some of the higher ups at the moment, is there's a lack of communication from the chief. Yeah. Which I have yet to experience, but then I am also around at the same time as this year is. Yeah. I might just run for sheriff. <laughs> We'll have to fight tech you ready for that uh yeah that's kind of easy because she uh she, hey, has not been seen in a while he went back mm -hmm. to vietnam again I'm looking for houses can I, can I tell you a secret what's that come to the back of the room because we don't like i think i'm gonna see about being a uh a marshal Yeah, it works out. That's nice. Easy. And that's what we call pentagaming. <laughs> I just pentagamed the fuck out of that one. Get wrecked, Nikki. I fucking pentagamed the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm going home. Okay, no, I need to. I actually need to. <laughs> Just <laughs> Oh. Okay, that was fucking funny. How did? Hiya. Hello. 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 How are okay. you today? I'm oh, good. It was. It was. It was uh, excellent. My new you look a little spot. woozy. I'd call that. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. Well. A third of my liver. Listen, I have a reason, okay? Hear me out. I'm, I'm so, hearing you out because I respect you, but I am mighty upset. Okay. Right now, the marshals aren't liked, right? They're not liked. They're not well right. respected. Okay. What about if I join them and I am the go between between you guys and the marshals? I'm someone who's liked. I'm slightly respected. I have no intention of trying to fuck you all. I want to work with you and I will work with you all. But on top of that, because I'm a marshal, I can do what I want without feeling like I'm having to train everyone and re feeling restricted. But I'm also here for any advice that you need. Well, I mean, you will still have to train the upcoming marshals is there are people yeah, but they'll be more experienced than what we have have, have you ridden with Adelaide before no oh uh, he's a former well he's still technically current a prosecutor um not oh, okay. i'm not starting anything i'm quitting i'm just gonna quit i also don't know if you know what's going on with the marshals right now uh Kind of losing their minds, yeah. So they've gone from, hey, we'll just be kind of like the detective department who will also be able to investigate uh, the PD to, no, we're going to be our own whole PD who will all be ranks above captain uh, with the ability to fire anybody <laughs> within the LSPD. And on top of yeah, that, no, we can go happen. undercover, uh, un, you know, unmarked, plain clothes. Uh, and there was one extra thing that they want it they essentially just want to it's just another police department that is no, specifically no, hired no. by the attorney general god why can nobody just set up a department that actually works why okay because everybody wants power it's okay, everybody yeah, wants they can power. Have power they can a the people who are not paid their asset fees they can hunt for them Complete, great you see marshall that, yeah that that's that's what i want i'd say i was speaking b, to the attorney they general investigate they investigate pd and, they, they, yes. yeah they investigate uh, cor corrupt uh, things in pd they investigate they put their findings together and then they collectively meet with that with high command and explain it to them and, and tell them what they recommend as a punishment 
you kind of stop them from investigating. You don't get in their way. You let them do what they need to do, but they yeah. do not directly fire. They feed it back to you and they go, hey, this is what we found. This is what we, and if they don't, they then have the right to press charges against that officer. Uh, yes. That's literally, that's literally what they, oh. Okay, try to try convincing both Riggs and the Attorney General to do so, oh and uh, also possibly now Muffy and Enzo. Honestly, just give me a department. I'll make it cool. I'll make it fun. I don't even want the power. I just want to set something up that works. Uh, that's most of what we're trying to do here at the LSPD. And just, just set up something that works. But you can't. When nobody will, when nobody will communicate or listen to one another. And that's including the fucking chief of police herself. I mean, you're right, but uh, what else can I do? Uh, everybody you just seems to want to tear it thing. down and you start can't. anew. You can't. You can't. I okay. can try, you though. You can't build when... Okay, you cannot build on something that's burning. It either has to burn out or you put the fire out. That's your choices. To put the fire out, you're going to have to deal with the fact that nobody is communicating. And when they communicate, like, literally, we go into meetings where they all play victim. And literally, all the, the sergeants just sit there and listen. Because there's no point saying anything because there's only a shutdown. So, so your advice is to, to jump ship. My advice is to either understand that this is this is a, a long term issue that is going to go on that either needs to be nipped in the bud with people saying, "Hey, look, we're not attacking you, but this shit needs to change." Uh, or when it comes down to I'm the victim, we have to be like, "Well, it doesn't matter if you are. What are we doing as a solution?" The solution we're just not going to talk to. Him. That's not good enough. It doesn't work. How did I go from repairing and selling motorcycles to moving counties, getting a new job, and having to deal with the leadership of a police department? I have two months experience. Two whole months. She's so wise. Yeah, I fucking love Nikki. I don't know, but you're very capable, but you're very, very capable. Very capable. You just need a bit of guidance. And you'll get there to the point where one day you'll be like me, where every single situation becomes a critical thinking task. You try not to blow your head off. Got this. You well, know, I'm now promoted doing. to the point where I can get an M16, and you're, they're rather large. I'm fairly sure I could use my toe on the trigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Straight in the head. Oh, no, no. Yeah, wanna, just. But, but okay. But if you're going to do lean. it, you want to wrap wrap a towel around your head because that shit goes everywhere why, why do i care where it goes that's somebody else's problem <laughs> because i don't want to have to clean it up and neither does anyone else oh okay oh. honestly just get right over <laughs> easier no because then that gives somebody else the pro like you know that yeah. was my complaint with shepherd like shepherd if oh, you're gonna crawl just, around the just, goddamn oh, fire range just get morphine just get morphine. Bro, that is also an issue. People are stealing morphine from the hospital. Uh, oh, oh no. I forgot to mention as well, uh, Tina Nash, the dispatcher who mm -hmm. wants to join the PD, uh, she has been taking mace from the armory and selling it to her boyfriend. Also okay, fire her. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I need to bring her in and pin, uh, for interrogation, but, uh, well, the chief was going to do it, but the chief now cannot get involved in any way, shape, or form. Uh and nobody else has really seen her she hasn't come back into on duty yet probably not <laughs> so i have half a mind to just fire her now and then when she comes in to ask why she was fired bring her into interrogation room and then charge her with government corruption weapon trafficking and uh, mm -hmm. possession of uh why can't stolen the property. chief be involved oh uh, she's conflicted ah uh, fair enough she wasn't originally, but she is now. So, you know, that was, mm -hmm. that was nice. Okay. okay. Uh, what are you going to do? 
Uh, yeah, the, the, the intention was to wait for her to come on duty, bring her into an interrogation room, but if she's not coming on duty, fire her, because I, <gasps> I can't have that risk. I have an idea. What's that? It's nothing to do with this, though. Oh, okay. My idea is that every time you want to bring me a problem, you also have to bring me a solution. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, the original solution was wait for her to come on duty, drag her into an interrogation yeah, you room. This one, but that's what, that's what gave me the idea. So, like, oh, every okay. time you have an issue... Before you come to me to talk about it, you also have to have a part of a solution ready. Okay, uh, I feel like I am an aging 50-year-old man uh, and I have a headache. My solution is aspirin and potentially quitting. <laughs> uh, don't quit. Okay, it's not yeah, worth I, it. yeah, it's not worth it. But the aspirin will work. <laughs> do have any aspirin? Oh, I do. Look at this. And a solution is in my pocket. There's a singer that has a song about quaaludes, which says fuck the cops in it. I actually really like this song. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good song. The other one is uh, Punk, punk On Me, or what is it, Punk On My Face? Mm -hmm. That's also a good one. I want to listen to the quaalude song again. Take it on tape. My Spotify is broken. God damn it. So what are your plans for now? My Spotify just broke. Um, survive. <laughs> bunker? No, we can't go to bunkers. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's go survive. Go survive. Alright, I need to get my uniform on. Oh, I also got elected as a councilman. <laughs> I can't tell if that was a laugh of congratulations or a laugh of... Uh, can we help you? Yeah, how does this really work now? There's nobody ever manning the desk. How do we like get it? Get like help if if everyone's already back there. Oh, so you, you wait. Okay. Uh, I was wondering um, how long until I could get my car unseized. Ah, uh, when was your car seized? Uh, I can check one second. Oh, better question. What is your name? Yeah, it says uh, Lenny Russo. Uh, Lenny Russo. Reading through everything is fine. We've got a basic like overview from the district attorney's office, like a sort of guideline. And um, and as record was it? I can think it was eighteen. Commercial robbery and a shootout. Guilty. Yeah. I mean, if it isn't ready, it's fine. Just what are like time frame and stuff. The thing I shot at yes, no, eighteen. No, that's four days ago. Oh, this was inside the. Um, so for every two thousand dollars, it's fine. Okay, oh, let me have a look here. I don't see anything on your profile. Which vehicle was it? What uh, do we know? What the uh, uh the license plate Stratton. is? I want to say it's KJ. I'm not sure. It's it's a Stratton. Um, KJR. Yeah, I think it's KJ. Yeah, yeah, I got it. yeah. I mean, the photo shoot is fully compliant. I got no notes on it. All right, okay. Uh, it's been seized for currently four days. Okay. Yeah, second. Uh, speak to my other sergeant. What's up? Uh, see a bit. <laughs> um, so this vehicle was seized before our uh, SOPs came out. Uh, I have no notice on uh, the uh, 
on his vehicle or on his profile it's been seized for four days as per the new sops i put out it should be seized for five days but it, this was seized before and also and no no, no document back. yeah this is what i was thinking. that's it you can't yeah. we can't hold something with no documents here we go all right uh i'll go release it i'll just need to find out where and how Give me a moment and I'll come tell you. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. It, yeah, it's yeah, the no new PD. Like, Things have all moved around. Yeah. But I shouldn't <laughs> be too long. This way, this no way, this way. Oh, it's this way? Oh, yeah, the back door is gonna be fucked. Oh, oh yeah, that back door is fucked. Yeah. Backside. This is impound. Yeah. Hey, it's in here. Yeah. Isn't this just impound? Yeah, this is it is on the other side? No. Oh, 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 oh it's upstairs. It's, it's, oh, and it's not upstairs. It's, um, oh shit, I found it earlier. Downstairs, it's downstairs. This is. Yeah, uh. Was, I believe, over here. Is it here. this here? It's not there. It's here. It's this is it. Yeah, it's not there. That's that. I, I knew I found it down here earlier. This just says a yoga classic. Yeah, I don't I don't have anything else seized. We might be able to check the impound lot. It might already be there. I don't need it for uh, radios yet. No, this is uh, this is just an, this is exactly what. People... It's an actual representation. You want to come no, back here and about that. check if you can see it? Damn, yeah, bumping into me. Yeah, okay. Sorry, all right, it was unintentional. <laughs> What's this officer's name? Sorry, I know you're Ross yeah, Nichols. Nice. I'm Sergeant Stevie. Nice to meet you. Stevie, okay, nice to meet you. Appreciate cops that can talk to people. It's always good. <laughs> no, we're trying. Um, oh, shit. Try here to see if you can get it. If not, we have to have a look for it. I'm sure you guys are oh, already. Yep, I got it. You, know, you got it. Uh, perfect. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Uh, Hopefully, you saw that. Yep, I see it. Yeah, I wish right. you the best. You have a great day now. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Why don't you guys take care now? Okay. Uh. Right. I need to okay. change that thing on. Make sure everybody knows that they need to do the damn paperwork about it. Mm-hmm. What's up there? Thank you. What's up? Oh, sorry. When I do tours, can I get, give a tour to anyone or it has to be like no records or felonies? Oh, if they got felonies, they can they can owe one, two, one, bloody yeah. do one. Wait, what? If they've got felonies, He's saying no. if they've got felonies, no. Okay. Uh, government employees, probably yes, but uh, I also don't think we should just be giving tours to everyone of, oh, here is our armory. If you would wish to escape, this is the quickest way out of the prison. But, uh, well, almost every door is locked anyway. I'm not going to unlock it for that. Yeah, I know what you mean. But, but, yeah, uh, I, I, that's fine. To check, make sure just they have no weapons or anything on them. Uh, ensure that they have no felonies, and then, yeah, you can Don't actually take tour. them into the armory or into any evidence rooms. Oh so yeah, I tell them no one, no one, no one's allowed in the evidence room. No one's allowed in the armor room. So I usually tell yeah. people yeah. I give tours too. And, and offices, pro if they're being used, which they probably are, just just state, oh, these are the offices. Show them the hallway. Yeah, it's, they can imagine yeah, an office room. Everyone's just, just showing them gym. Gym. Everyone's gonna love the gym. Just, yeah. just show them that. Oh yeah, a lot of people love the gym. We should really. Oh, I think working, I give yeah. a tour to Francesca and uh, Ruby Montgomery, and they were jealous of the gym. Although I'm still, we're still there's, there's you know, we, I'm, we I'm still upset we don't have toilets. Well, yes, where's our restroom? Even the people in the cells have toilets. Where's our toilets? Stevie, have you seen our toilets? No. 
Look, look, look at this. Check it out. It's look lovely. Look it's lovely. Is, I'm, I'm outraged. It's to die for. Yeah, um, if they want a felony tour, they can go in through the back door, go to the right, go down the stairs into the cell. The uh, call for people with a shotgun. I found this commercial robbery. They have a shotgun. Uh, they have a shotgun. Yeah, I don't know if the officers uh, have a class suit to match that. Yeah, well, how that's do you, how not, do you, you should probably restaurant? get at least one with a shotgun for it, but the shotguns are terrible, so I'll just stick with the hey, pistol Roger, anyway. Do you yeah. want to join me in the bathroom? <laughs> wait, wait, what? This is so. Um. Uh, Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll lock the door, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. This is great for meetings. <laughs> you say that, but people are just peeing and pooing on the floor. Yeah, we should give them a bag when they come in here. Uh, well, no. I was going to hire a janitor to stand in the corner with a mop and a bucket uh, and a spade. Oh. And, and, oh. and they won't actually get to use, use the bucket. They'll just have to shovel the shit into the bucket after they have used the toilet. Yuck. Your so, own potty this is to work. not good for yeah. it's not good for a meeting room. I can hear you guys. Oh, That's well, fine. damn. It's great for a sneaky doinking such though. Who the hell is gonna doink in a? It, wait. Okay, I'm not gonna ask questions. A lot of people. You you'd be disgusted where people doink. Oh, but in a room where people are pooing. Apologies. Hey, give it a big, give it a bit of bleach on the floor. Who cares? Nah, kale. Also, I'm gonna go campaign hat. No, I'm not. Apparently, oh, there we go. Hey, where is one? Oh, there it is. Oh my God, it looks great. Oh, it moved around. Oh, I look great. No, I don't. It looks terrible. Yeah, hats don't work for me right now. Oh, I, I think it's all right. It looked terrible. It looked really terrible. Oh, Daisy. Hey. Howdy. Oh, I need my stuff. Hey, Daisy. Have you been to clubs in the UK? Yeah, but Washington hasn't. How you doing? I'm good. Dun dum dun dum dun dum dun dum dum. What's been going on? Uh, they got their first hold until trial. Yeah, but a dog trafficking. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, and apparently they fell into the, the the prison, and then there was a call for them, uh, for someone was stuck in the prison. Uh, they were then arrested for, well, breaking into the prison, and uh, they had a bunch of stuff on them, and then they admitted that they hated moving all their stuff from Polito, so a search and seizure was uh, enacted. And yeah, they're getting hit with drug trafficking. Jesus. Bring your uh. own towel? Oh, God. Are these handcuffs for style points? You actually need them. You actually need them. It's only Winston that has them for style points. Am I blind? Why am I not seeing my report? What's it under? Uh, I believe uh. it was made by Biggs or maybe O'Neill. Biggs, uh, 2032, Thomas Tom felony drug trafficking times one. There is an associated report, 2028, Thomas Tom felony manufacturing of a controlled substance by Ben Biggs, who has been hired all of two days. Jeez. Is 
In the best FTO poppy, yeah. Oh, nice. oh. I want to check this report, uh, the penal code. What kind of name is Thomas Tom anyway? Somebody's whose parents didn't like him. Oh, good shit. Uh, oh! What? It's now in the penal code. Uh, drinking underage consumption of alcohol infraction $75 fine no person under the age of 21 shall be permitted to consume or otherwise be in the possession of alcohol or intoxicating liquors nor shall any person knowingly furnish someone under the age of 21 with the same but if you buy it and I and we and then you pour it into a coke bottle and I don't ask questions uh, well, aiding and abetting is a large charge. But if I don't know you've bought it and I know you've poured it into a, into like a soda bottle, how would I? I'm I'm curious how much. How many of those infractions do you think I can incur before my job is at risk? <laughs> well, I own a, a bar, so. Oh, yeah, you own. I don't think you're legally allowed to own that bar no more, Daisy. Hey, how old are you, Daisy? She's, I think, a little older than me, but not by much. I'm 20. The majority of our command is about 20 years old. Yeah, I've got to talk to. Wait, you're City Hall. Wait, who do I talk to you about? Um,. Uh, my alcohol my license. Oh, <laughs> uh, Sal yeah. Dukakis would probably be the best person to speak to. Is he does the licensing? Who? Sal Dukakis. Who? Oh, uh, he he's got ginger curly hair. He's usually at City Hall. Okay, I'll just go to City Hall and. I'm around for Dukakis. Yeah. I also have to ask if I have to ID everybody who comes in and drinks. I, th I think you will. I, I don't who's, think whose idea was this? It was Justice Power. It was a Supreme Court like ruling last year, but the, the power has uh, stated that because we aren't following it yet, we should now follow it. No, I don't like him anymore. Also, Flynn cannot even enter your premises for he is only eight. <laughs> he keeps claiming he's 48, but I had a look. He's only eight years old. I don't know if we're legally allowed to hire him. I've never seen any city ever enforce that rule. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be enforced. But I think it'd be one of those things. It'd be really good for like RP for like Ace. Does it have any alcohol in it? No, I bought it for Mop and Adam. My favorite eating establishment. Yeah, Did I said Adam is? Yeah, Mop and Adam is good old American burgers. Oh, it's not. Burgers. Diner yeah. has better burgers than Up and Adam. Oh, well, no, they have hot dogs. Oh, they I have Jenny burgers. Yeah, the junior burgers don't fill me up. I can eat half of this burger and I'm What? I'm... Yep. Are you kidding? They fill me up so much. No, up and Adam's filling me much more than um Pop is. Pop barely barely fills me at all, barely touches the sides. I feel like I'm getting the wrong burgers for everyone else because those burgers fill me up so much. He's gonna go nuts with it. Yeah, he'll be fantastic. It'll be such good RP for him. Um, and there's a lot of like really petty laws that we could add, which would be fantastic in enabling Penta to do crazy shit with Bishop. Which for uh, otherwise, like the anti-mask law is fucking phenomenal. <clears throat> when were you last here? Uh. Uh, well, last time you were here, we spoke about how Command needed to have a meeting with Enzo and Cobb to 
discuss what happened and figure out a way forward. Uh, I managed to have a meeting with Enzo, uh, with myself and Gray. I have not managed to have a meeting with Cobb. And I don't think I'll be able to. I don't think he's coming back. Uh, I did talk to Muffy. She said that she quit, so. Yeah, I heard the, heard the same. Not, not just from Muffy. I physically heard it. Oh, no. It was, it was the old PD, so everybody could hear everything. Oh no. It did go into yeah, a room. Yeah, make her case. She told me that she wasn't coming back no matter what. Yeah. That was Saturday. <sighs> I feel like I just need like persistent, serious music. Here we go. It's so sad. Is the presence of Birolin enough to... It's an infraction, so no. It wouldn't be enough to... It's a rough... It'd be enough to detain, but not, like... You just give him a fine. PD can go European concept illegal drink age, not my problem moving oh, yeah, on. It's 85 time. as well. Most people probably won't enforce it. On to bigger and better things for Muffy. I know. But you just... What? Well... It was like three bites. Yeah. And, and without much more than just a a, a, a growl. It's delicious. I think it's been in my pocket for a while. Uh. Uh, anything else? Ah, uh, people are being onboarded now and the academy on Saturday. Uh, Gray has been helping me with writing down what we should be doing uh the plan is will you be attending uh that's the plan okay we will see how that goes today oh shit nope i will oh, yeah i know you wouldn't be steve you told us you were going right. on holiday yep i leave in about <clears throat> an hour and 45 minutes uh Ooh. do you know if cults will be coming uh, if I'm coming, he's most likely coming. But uh, nah, if that's... one of us is coming, <laughs> probably isn't. Okay, because uh, I currently we'll have be in Texas. five FTOs. Mm -hmm. I mean, that might be able to be okay. Might, that might be all right. If both you and Colt go, there's three FTOs. Wait. Oh, so if Colt and I go, that's five. If yep. you don't go this, oh, yep. then you will not have enough. Uh, uh, okay. I've, we'll, I've we'll try included to... Trick Will as uh, someone being trained because whilst he is an FDO and a senior, I do think it'll be he good for him. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pop is also going to be receiving training. Um, Enzo obviously is not coming. Right. Okay, who is trying to be there? It does say, yeah, it does say uh, purchasing. Wait, time? Uh, let me find, where is it? Uh, it was in the uh, bulletin board somewhere. Uh, there we go. Saturday, June 24th, 5 p.m. Eastern, LSPD Academy. Okay. Is Academy spelled wrong? It's meant to be a... It's not three A's, is it? The third one's meant to be an E. Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, I, I still need to speak to... Commander Rocket's brother... I think it's is it just also Rocket. It might be Sergeant Rocket. I don't know. Uh, about setting up that Tron game for us. Although I did learn yesterday, uh, y you know, um, how people aren't allowed to go into the, uh, 
the or Sanguto. Yeah. Our offices are. Yeah. I, I thought it was just a blanket. No one was it allowed what? in there. The military would shoot anybody who would go in. No, the um, only people who are allowed in there are PD, and they're allowed to use it for training exercises. Yes. That has that is how I was trained. I do not know if that has changed since the change of command. Uh, yeah. Well, no, the, I, the first change of command, rather. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a look at the, the, the federal laws. It, uh, no, it specifically states we're allowed to go in there for training exercises. Yes. Yes. So, if we don't get to do the, uh, the whole, what's it called, uh, we could just train up there, uh, I'll right. get an EMS to come join us, which would also help, because then they could also practice how to stage and get onto channel 1, 10, 12 for a shooting scene, wait for the code 4, uh, yeah. and whilst we do our live training. Um, anyone I've that was already 18 to 20 with grandfathered? To yeah. The, uh commercial robbery area and try and think of the best way for us to set up and respond to that because that's one of our biggest problems. Well, not one of our biggest problems, but one of the problems that we face is that a lot of people do not know how to position for the commercial robberies. So instead of going over there and kind of going over some positioning and stuff. The worst thing was, uh, Cobb was going to be the one that I was going to get to do all the live fire uh, training exercises. Was, was he not going? Have, uh, well, Cobb was fired by Enzo. He was rehired, but will not be returning back to the PD from what he said to me. And so, oh, sorry, I, that last part, I didn't understand. Uh, Enzo fired Cobb. Right. I was there for that. Yeah. Uh, Cobb was rehired. Uh, as a cadet, uh, but I think that was just because that is... He just got rehired. Yeah, he just got rehired. Yeah. Um, I had a word with him the following day. He basically uh, doesn't feel welcome in the PD. doesn't matter what changes uh, or what we say. Uh, he probably will not return regardless. Will they allow DMS in the area or will they get shot down? Emails should be fine, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's we, an we, assumption. We, we, we'll let them know that they won't not shoot the EMS. I also think that uh, Enzo might be joining the, the marshal. Oh. Well, good for him. I mean, I'm... While well, he's doing something. I need to run down to the armory before. Or, what do you actually, think? Sorry, my locker. Resner, you dead? No, not yet. Oh. Let's go. Oh, are we, are we meant, are meant to be helping with this onboarding? Oh shit, yeah. Where, where is it? It's upstairs. Let's go then. Alright, we'll go on one day. An issue that every time I open a door, it wants me to change outfits, so I'm not going to be able to open doors for now. They win. I know that's what I don't want to go to the south side that's anymore. They're crazy. Uh, interesting. I'm still going to the south side. And I've discovered how to destroy something like usual. Yeah, I'll try to make sure to open the doors for you so you don't start getting changed in the middle of the hallway. Thanks. <laughs> what is this happening? I don't know. I could just hear Poppy talking. No, that's not her. Uh, 204 to Poppy. Maybe they're downstairs. She was shouting, she was talking about her, uh, Simon. rest. I had a question for you guys. Oh, before you... I go to Harper, I yeah. think it's best to go to you guys. Um, those two people in the lower room, the prosecutors, I was wondering if they could stay in the lower cells area or 
Yeah, they're supposed no to be there, aren't they? For uh, felonies. Oh. Uh, I think they're meant to uh, come up and be in one of the offices here. Well, couldn't you put well, an office down there? Cause, to go. Because wouldn't it be more of a hassle to have to run up two flights of stairs to grab them to pull them all the way back down? Yeah. yeah uh, that is a fair point. I'm trying to think where there is an office down there. Oh, the... the Next to the evidence, yeah. Uh, it's the open floor. The oh, there's the open floor, but then there's also the one almost like directly opposite the cells uh, where the... Let's put them there. Where the, where there's an actual okay. office room in there. Yeah, put I them in there. This is one confirmation from Harper, just in case. Uh, uh, no, no. I see yeah. otherwise. It should be fine. I mean, we'll, we'll show you as we go oh, down. No. And we'll talk. We'll tell Harper and she'll be cool, I'm sure. Okay. She doesn't like it. We'll change it. No, I know you have, and I understand. Ah, you two come with How me. How many you do the prosecutor, prosecutors? Okay, I put on the intense music because everything just seems to always be falling into shit, but I can't actually be bothered. Excellent. Oh, thank you very much. God, it's hard again. I hope today. the day's been going fine for y'all. Thank you. I'm sure. So there is this room they could go in. It's an office here. There's a mugshot room though. We'll be coming out here and disturbing them. Well, yeah, I'm thinking if someone's coming in here for a mugshot, they're probably then also hiring or using the uh, prosecutors as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, not, we're not prosecutors. No, I don't. Wait, what are you then? You are your defense team. We defend oh, every single officer. We're the, yeah, we're the, the police that defense yes. team. So if, you know, if someone wants to sue an officer, we're the one who defends that officer. When, 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 when the officer has some questions about... Well, you know, like when the when the public defenders come down... Yeah. And they're talking it's about the things to the officers. Like we're the ones Civil that cases, so on, yeah. Uh, Alright, uh, in which case... So going to be locked wherever you go, uh, All FTOs are going to be dealing with the onboarding. Our, um, all of our rooms are currently uh, behind locked doors, unfortunately. Actually, where's a cadet? Mine. Do we have a cadet? Uh, all cadets are currently being onboarded, I believe. Well, I need one of them. Uh, Sylvia's got to do pepper, sp sp pepper spray training, but, you know, she burned her bra in 68, so um, we're pepper spraying a cadet. Oh, okay. We have one right here, Mr. Adley. Oh, no, he's uh, also he yet. just no, he just got shot in the throat. Oh, no, no. Are you okay, sir? Hey, yeah, it's only some minor gunshot wounds. Who's coming in and out? And put him in there for now. I'm leaving this door open just yeah. because I don't think there's anything up here that anyone can really do with the, if this door is open. Yeah, no, this, 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 this should be good. There you go. And the door is open, so you should be good. I need a cadet. One of the actually, can you get me all of the cadets that are being onboarded, please, and have us meet in the uh, car park? We're going yep, down absolutely. to the parking lot. All right, we'll go there. I'm just removing all these name tags. In the ass. Okay, that wasn't actually a name tag, but. Oh, that was somebody talking about their lunch. Spoke with the chief. There's like 20 discs in total. Mm -hmm. oh, we, we cannot be claiming discs for our own personal use when we're on duty for four hours a day. Yeah, no, no chance. And they include sergeants, unfortunately, and above. The only person who needs an office is the chief of police. Yeah. That's it. Apparently all the FTOs are not Oh, which cop? Uh, they're probably going PD one, right? Yeah. You know, one day I'll get to patrol. No, you won't. I go by to patrol and you're a command member. Yeah, but I'm a sergeant, which means... You don't. Doesn't matter. Oh, I meant to be a field training officer and everything. Mm 
I'm gonna handcuff him in a minute. Yes, I would handcuff him now. All right, let's just close all yours. Yep. Well, mine then. You got well, this. I, I want you to drink my salsa. Lipschitz, can you I'm speak Dr. up? I'm Dr. Please don't do this to us. I beg you. Okay, you, you need to be silent. Uh, These are the only two that turned this, off. I need concentration, so I don't yeah. actually poke the but nozzle in your else? eye and fill your eyeball no, no. up with pepper Please. spray. For someone send letters to everyone. What did I tell you? I told okay. you to be yes. silent. Okay, do we know what the letter said? You're not complying. I'm afraid I'm going to have to pepper spray you for your non-compliance. Do I make myself clear? Because... Stop crying. Freddy Price said Your he was coming for sure. Yeah. Toughen up. Uh, and Daryl, Darren or whatever said that he'd be coming. You're going to be shot at. People are going to try to murder you one. every second of your waking life. Okay, did he give them a specific time in which to that? come? There's a lot of criminals who will know. do anything, who will murder over. each other know. just to get a chance to get your I pinky so finger tired. off. They're ruthless out there. Ruthless. They're gonna tear into your flesh. Do you understand? What? What's? Uh, what's your name with the hair? Uh, Don't uh, you be silent. Okay. No. No, I don't like this. How do I release it? How do I fucking release See it? See the, you. Is your pepper spray good? I don't know. Do you, might have, do you have a faulty canister? I don't know. All right. Do you have a sp spray bottle? Give me yours. Thank you. All right, Lipschitz, do you mind just passing me your one? We'll give you a new one. That one, yep. Yeah, is it not working or am I doing something wrong? Do I need to, uh, de-pin it? To... All right. Is it full? You should, you should just mm -hmm. be aiming and squeezing. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> the safety on? There no, should not I be a safety. Uh... It's perfect. <laughs> Is mine work? Oh, uh, it's fine. Fuck, Mine's fine. She's uh... fine. Oh! Oh, oh there, there it is. There we go. Can't do it again. There it is. And I was just for this suspension. <laughs> I knew what you want to do for another one. one. <laughs> Maybe use another I'll one. Stop crying. Oh, let's just can you do it again. Oh, brilliant. Oh, well. Savage. Now you can see the effects of pepper spray. Savage. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I couldn't capture the moment. Oh, Incapacitated. Love to see it. Oh. Oh, I feel so much better. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Have a look. Have a look. Is your eyes okay. red? Huh? Oh, fuck! We have a photo of them. I have a photo of them. Of course, Shang. This was an event. This was very oh. eventful. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. Oh, I love that. It's a good group of bonding experience, I think. I agree. Oh, yeah. uh, I have another one. Just that felt you. mean. That felt good job. Mean. You're now all oh, clear to the pepper spray. Who are these two? McMahon and what? I swear to fucking God, you did Chuck not. Simon, you fucker. Chuck Swissy's hired. Simon, I love you, man. I really do. Can I keep this? Can I, can I keep this photo? Hey, don't you fucking. Nick Jackson's been hired. Sorry, sorry. It's, right, so it's Oisin, right? I'm sorry, sir. Is it Ison McMahon or the other McMahon? Music oh, you're Mac McAdam. That's yes, right. Sorry. Sorry. So, sorry. Oh, pardon? Yeah, you can have the photo. Oh, Ben Ben Biggs has also been hired. 
I I'm sorry. Come here. So we need Buck Haggard, Paulie, I'm I'm Porgini, Daryl Doe, Laurie Hatchet. Oh, Laurie was. Oh, Maisie Metro was hired last night. Well, can we line the bald one? Who's the bald one? I need uh, to stand Maisie right Metro here. was hired last night, was she not? Yes, it was. My favorite part of the exercise. Okay, so we still need to hire Katie Storm, Oisin, Logan, Kyle Cox, Daryl Doe, Laurie, Freddy. Buckhart, Haggard, and Pauly Borghini. Pauly was here last night. There was just nobody to be giving him peace. Alright. <laughs> okay. Alright. We are. Frenchman. How it? I have nothing to disclose. <laughs> You're okay, Bob. So oh. I was just trying to hug her and you just bull sure. bulldozed her. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah no public go. relations. <laughs> what did Poppy do? Um, uh, on board lady. No physical contact. <laughs> I'm not allowed to oh. hug my sister. I'm sorry. Yes, you, so when you are, uh, you want to run. Yeah, it's fine. Sprint? She's fine. And, uh, you, just, right. you just tackled her into my car. Yeah, I broke your window. Sorry about that. You can take it from the PD budget. <laughs> I want to go home. Why are you injured? Say, say what again? Why are you injured? Oh, I was shot. Oh, shit. You, did you survive? No. I am dead. Am. Damn. Damn it. Luckily. Rough. Come on, Poppy. No, I want your... to go home. I want to go home. Oh, Poppy. Come on, Poppy. What, what's going on? Poppy, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you can't go home. You got to do onboarding. Come on, oh. hey, look, you're missing them tackling each other. Come on. My hand hurts. I think that actually really hurt. <laughs> Oh, you need an aspirin. I can go get you one. Yeah. All right, let me go get you one. No, I have aspirin. Oh, you have aspirin. Yeah, it's hurt. It has the hearts. She broke my window. With your head. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, my spoppy, uh... You, you okay? No. Oh, what, what the hell? What happened, man? Have we both managed to tackle each other yet? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Okay. Uh, Miss Poppy, are you okay? What happened, ma'am? I'm fine. I'm busy. Why? Well, um, is, is everything all right? Like, is something wrong? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay, I'm going to impair my this... car quickly. What the hell? Are you okay? I am okay. Who's on the roof? <clears throat> Miss Population, I know you can't drink because you're 20. Away from her, right? Say you on the roof. Ah. Oh, I heard someone on the ladder. I thought someone was trying to graffiti our rooftop again. Uh, where's Harper? Or uh, inside talking about the conference room. I'm going to be an organ donor, and when I die from drunk driving, you can have my drunk organs. No, you will not die from drunk driving. I'll be waiting. 
Ah, time for patrol. Oh, I'm, I'm getting it. Taking care of a kid you don't know is hard, man. Okay, you're not wrong. Can I help you? Nah. Alright, well, what are you doing? Just taking some pictures. Taking some pictures of what? Just the premises. Steenery. Photographers, man. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit 77s at the front. Ah, uh, you guys both stay here for me a second. You're taking premises. Uh, You're man. taking pictures of the premises. Yeah. And you're running around the inside and taking pictures. Up. Not no, inside. not inside, not inside, man. Just the outside, man. Just the outside and taking pictures off yeah, the inside. Yeah, man, yeah. No, just the outside, man. Just the outside. Okay, uh, why were you seen running inside with a gun? No clue. No clue. Do you have weapons on you? Yeah. And do, all right. I'm going to be frisking you down, all right, and patting you down to see that you have weapon. Why well, is he using the weapon? Right. I'm just risking you and taking the weapon off you, okay? I'm right, taking that Ruger off you and I didn't see nothing That's else. Fine. You as well. You, you, you got yeah, a weapon. Yeah, I got on. a Ruger on me as well, man, but I got All a right. gun license, man. Don't worry about it. It's issue. fine. I'm just taking the weapon off you. I'm not seizing it. Just, just, just taking the gun off you. All right, so I got both of your guns. So. And quickly read your rants. Do you have the right to remain silent and think you do or say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney present during questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, one provided to you if one is so available by the state. Why are we getting arrested? You tell no, us. No, I'm just reading your rights. It doesn't necessarily uh, mean you're being arrested. You understand your rights, though? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. All right, okay. Uh, I patted you down. I could only feel the gun. I'm taking the guns off you. I didn't feel nothing else. You. You're saying you're, you're taking pictures? Yeah. And you're jumping on the walls. Hey, hey, you taking pictures? Photographic memory pictures. And why are you taking pictures with your mind? So, if I'm ever in need of help, I can come here. That's pretty much it, man. Now, what are your names? I'm Tyrone Black. I'm Tyrese Black. Tyrone and Tyrese Black. Black. What? That's just my surname. Oh. Oh, uh, Lena, are you able to get a, a check on them? Check their record. So you're running around. On top of the walls of the PD, running around claiming you're taking photos without a camera and just claiming it's your mental imager. Yeah, we're just getting a frisk for the. What the fuck? Um, whoa, okay, whoa, 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 we really uh, need to get more soundproofing on that. That scared the hell out of me. I thought we were in shot. Yeah, for real. Sorry, man. I thought my enemies were good at me. Okay, you cannot be jumping on the walls of the PD. I don't know what your actual I'm sorry about that. is here, but if I catch you doing it again, you'll get hit with uh, trespassing on a government property, which, uh, just so you know, is $5,000 fine. Wow, that's Jesus. terrible. You don't seem the least bit bothered. No, I am. I'm being serious. I'm just a very serious guy with very serious principles. Uh, they're clear. They're all clear. 
Nah. Like we're innocent people, man. We never commit a crime in our life. Yeah. Yeah, we are. I don't know what you were doing running around. Perhaps might have been running around. I heard around they were giving weapon. out donuts, sir. No. no. I didn't realize I had the weapon out. I'm not going to lie to you. I see you did have a weapon out. If I did, then yeah, but I don't think I did. If, if you're saying I did, then I must have. You ain't going to make anything up, are you, now, officer? I mean, actually, it was this man here in brown that was suspected of running around with a gun. Yeah, I wasn't oh, what? All right. All right, let me put this gun back on you. All uh, right. You guys are free to oh, leave the man. area, but don't go doing nothing like this uh, again. I guess Sorry we're going about that, Sorry about that, man. Sorry about that, man. Is it all right to walk through here now? On, yeah, you're good. Come on through. Hmm. We really need to change that uh, uh, shooting range. Well, that was interesting. 12-4-10-8. That was very interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, it doesn't really make any sense, but there's not really much I can do about it. Seems like they were just being nosy. Yeah. Oh, we came up with an idea potentially for mm -hmm. the Simon. You heard that stuff keeps going missing from the evidence locker. Yes. Uh, we were thinking of a sort of like uh, the equivalent of a, a desk sergeant role. Somebody who would mm -hmm. catalog and be in charge of giving uh, weapons from the armory and also uh, documenting uh, and entering items into the evidence locker. So we had a specific individual that was trusted and was given uh kind of the purview Access, of the evidence yeah. locker. That'd be interesting. But and not also uh it'd be interesting then if we have to would we'd have to give back our PD equipment at the like the BD gun at the end of the day, that'd be interesting. Yeah. And it'd all just be a... we'd probably need at least three or four individuals or just command members able to do it as well mm -hmm. uh, just because make sure we have uh, enough to cover all shifts but saying that issue you have the only issue you have with that is me being a cynic right what about if the person you entrust is the one selling the weapons no, they just don't write they just don't record them and Gotta make sure we do a damn good job of finding out uh, who we trust to do it. Mm -hmm. The other issue I have, though, is uh, by the sounds of it, what I'm gathering, Pazamon has told people that they are going to get onboarded today, but didn't tell them the time. So only two people have turned up to the onboarding. Wait, 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 wait. They didn't put a time with the onboarding? Uh, that's what I'm guessing i have not confirmed that but i've spoken to a number of the individuals who did get their acceptance letters i asked them oh did you get your acceptance letter and they said yes and i said you'll be coming to the onboard and they said yes and i said okay great uh so everyone who i've seen who has received an acceptance letter is aware that the onboarding is today and they said they were coming and none of them would come at the time that we had allocated with uh you know, within the pd Anyone try to like contact one of them and see who sent out the acceptance letters with the time on it? Simon. And if we ask Simon if he put the time on it? Uh -huh, no, Pop Papa was had not had the time to ask him because she's still doing the onboarding. Uh, I was gonna ask him in a little bit, but I want to see where the other other people are first. This now mm -hmm. means that the whole point was obviously that we just do one big onboarding. One and yeah. And now it sounds like we're going to need a lot.
<laughs> Did you look at Tyrone Black's uh, profile? No, let me. He is so young. The eight-year-old, yeah. No, uh, yeah, yeah. no, no. That that's uh, that's that's Flynn Ryder, our cadet. No, one of the ones that we just spoke to outside the front of the PD. What's his name? Uh, Tyrone Black. Whispers Hymo made aware of the time? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, they were born in 1999. Hmm. So, uh, we'll see him in, uh, just over a decade then? Yeah, I guess so. And what's the bet if we ask him how old he is, he'll say 24. I bet. Very much. What year were you born? Ah, uh, 60. Five. Nice. On 1st of April. Six. Can we have a look? Vehicle, Academy onboarding Thursday, June twenty second, shift one and shift two. Okay, where's the Actually I'm looking at this. I'm not even sure Poppy gave the time. This actually might be on Poppy for the time. Oof. Oof. It's fine. It is what it is pain but it is what it is daddy rosner could be my actual daddy oh god wait if somebody i think we could uh charge that man with impersonation yes because we he's, technically could he doesn't exist yeah, he's trying to impersonate a person who who cannot exist. And it's a savage way to RP check someone, send them to jail for the, having <sighs> the wrong. That's petty. It's funny though. So, How are you feeling? Uh, mostly stressed, but not decent. I'm just mm -hmm. constantly dealing with small fires. Oh, you know, someone died in the sales the other day. I think I was told, yes. The, the, the baller. Yeah. 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 Uh, and also, we might have a civil case in coming. Uh, luckily, this, this death of the baller might sell, save that situation because the one who died was the one who was going to make the complaint. Um but those same ballers were fed alcohol in the cells by Andy uh, before giving their guilty or not guilty plea mm -hmm. oh what yep Andy was unsure if he was allowed to do such a thing so he asked senior officer O'Neill who said yeah sure I don't see a problem with that and then when I brought him into the captain's office to ask what the hell he was thinking, uh, he, he said, well, I didn't know that there would be a problem. I asked him if he knew that you can't get married if you are drunk, and he, he did not know that. Did he know that you can't give a guilty plea if you're drunk? Nope, he did not know that. I asked him if, uh, if he knew that you can't read someone or you should not be reading someone their Miranda rights until they are conscious and have been treated by medical staff. He he was also surprised to learn that. Oh, I do that all the time, though. No, oh, I, I... If, they're if they're responding to me on the floor, 
no, and they can say I yes, bleed. then I take yeah. No, I just think that is if they're if they're not speaking to me and they're bleeding out or something like that, definitely not. But if they're down on the floor and let's say they've been hit in the head and they're conscious and they're talking to me and they're able to call me useless, then I can read them their rights. Oh yeah, if they're being belligerent and a pain in the ass, hell yeah. 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 Also, I looked at reports and it looks like McLean, who doesn't seem to fully understand RS and PC, has about six investigations going on. And, uh, I spoke to the chief and chief basically said, if I catch him going up there up to, uh, where he believes the drug lab is on, uh, on the oil fields, uh, without backup, without doing radio stuff, I can, t I can just order him to stop doing it completely. Because uh, I've already spoken to him once and said that if he is to do such a thing, he needs a backup unit on radio and also dispatch doing welfare checks on him. And if he's foregoing both of those, well, he's just trying to get himself killed. Eleven forty five in the morning. Just an officer, um, Poppy. Oh, God. And left me a really weird message. Oh. Dan Marino. He's gone away for a little bit. What? Yeah. Let me put it this way. He ended it with, I hope we could become closer once I put down the badge, but I didn't want to put anyone else in danger after what happened to Joe. Wish I had the courage to, uh, to have, I wish I had the courage I n have now back when we were hitting it off and I should have just asked you out. But the line before it says, I have feelings for Goldie. Fucking guy, man. What a guy, right? You attract the worst. You don't deserve that. <laughs> you don't even know what I dealt with the other day. So, okay, I'm with Riggs, Ace, and the AG at the courthouse. Um, yeah. Riggs and the AG are having an argument because all Riggs is going on about is the PD. And AG's like, I feel like you're uh, trying, you feel like my boyfriend, but you're always talking about your ex. You want to get back with them. I shit you not, Rig turns and turns and starts looking at me. And I just just didn't <clears throat> I just didn't acknowledge it. Yeah, how did that make you feel though? Like he hasn't changed. I don't think really anybody changes massively, they just alter their ways. I can't tell you the number of individuals I have attempted to persuade away from their life of crime and yet I see them just a couple of days later doing the same thing. Yeah. I mean, that's the issue with, jo with Dan as well. He just... Oh, he had a pretty good take on Dan to be honest. He said he's a player. What, uh, what, is, what is that? What does he play? Women. Plays women? Yeah. But women should be respected. They're not no game. <laughs> uh, two or four, seventy-six. He's just stringing you Robert. along. If only you were ten years older, Rosner. What? I feel 10 years older. 20. You're no way near ready to be old. I've never really had a chance to be young. 
As you get older, you start to do more dumb shit and you feel like you're younger. So I'm going to Benjamin Button my way. No. I saw I say again. Marks of on the So, so as I get older, I'm going to slowly get to do all the things that I was meant to do as a kid. Um. Yeah, because you'll, you, you'll find a partner uh, or some, or not even a partner, maybe a girlfriend or something you feel comfortable with. And one day you'll be like, do you want to eat ice cream for dinner and nothing else? And they're like, yeah, let's do it. Or you go on vacation and you're like, do we skinny dip? And they're like, let's do it. You just suddenly, all those things that like you wanted to do as a teenager, you're suddenly able to do. Um, but you've got someone else to do it with you. Oh, I went skinny dipping with the doctor, Rosaline, the other day. Yeah, but the, the why are you ask, uh, you know what? Never mind. What? Why am I asking what? In the living my life. Well, clearly you are. If you went skinny dipping last week. Yeah, I mean, we were very drunk. It was just we just went swimming. Uh huh. What? Twenty-year-olds. Pretending that they their life is over. Well, I don't think my life is over. Also, is that the French doctor? Yeah, Rosaline Lafleur. So you're encroaching on the person Bunny's trying to date? We're oh, sorry, ten nine. I think that was someone shooting from their vehicle. Yeah, I, I couldn't see anything around there. Uh, no, I think she's dating somebody else. I can't remember her name. Four is twenty-three. No visual. Uh, two oh four twenty-three. Two oh four is gonna scout around the back. Ship it is clear in the front. Back is clear. I'm gonna reach with Shepard. No one's responding. All right, I got left side. You take right side. Okay. And right, LSPD, make yourself known if you're inside. This is the police. Make yourself known if you're inside. Hands in the air. Surrender. Uh, ready, I got left, you got right. Yeah. One, yep. two, three. Hi, right, anybody inside right make yourself here. known. Lock is clear. Anybody inside, make yourself known. All clear. Alright. Getting dip. Yeah. for uh robbery atm robbery at uh utall is code for no suspects Two four ten eight. yeah i can't legally drink anymore so you can't have drunk cross now um yeah i don't think my life is over i just said i was stressed all the things you just said you want to be able to do all the things you couldn't do but tell me you went skinny dipping Oh, no, I just, I, I just asked if, as I get older, I do all the things that I couldn't really do as a kid because I, I yes, never really had the chance legally. to be a kid. 
Yeah, doing the true. things that you were to do as a kid. Well, I'm not allowed to drink no more. Yeah, but you already did. I did, but I'd like to drink more. Okay, and how long's your birthday? A year. When's your birthday? First of April. Yeah, why did you join when you were 19? What's wrong with you? Well, I didn't. I joined when I just turned 20. Oh, do you sound like me? You're never going to have a life. You're going to end up sleeping with your boss. What, at Harper? I mean, whichever boss you want to sleep with. I, I think sleeping with Harper would cause so many issues. It would be a yeah. terrible idea. It would also be sinful. And I, 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 I would it be sinful? It's sex before marriage. Oh my god, not this again. Yo, everyone is having sex before marriage. Just say sorry after. See, I always heard if you cried and said sorry after, that was a bad thing. Well, you don't do it immediately after. <laughs> What, you like send you're them like, a letter a week later saying sorry? No, no, that you that don't happened. apologize to them. Oh. You don't apologize. No, not to them. You go to church the following Sunday and you repent. And you ask the Lord for forgiveness. You gave in to your the temptation of the flesh. And then God forgives you. Oh, and speaking then, of which, I have Mass this Sunday. Ooh, excited. Oh, I'm nervous. Yeah, the part stands. Just confess, apologize, and then get on with life. Mostly nervous because the Bahama Mama girls are really interested in coming and they all want to get baptized. I bet they do. I can guarantee they're all going to turn up in goddamn bikinis. You have to have your shoulders covered in church. Oh, also, I am ordained now. Oh, yeah, I, I thought you were supposed to go to church with your shoulders covered. Oh, uh, it's a sign of respect. Yeah. Might be a little hard to enforce that. My dad me, used to make us go to church on a Sunday. Did you not enjoy it? I, my dad used to say that we had to go because we enforce the law, but who enforced us? And he would say that God was our only judge, uh, was, um, well, we judged other people, God judged us. And it was kind of his thing to kind of make us be respectful of the power we had as officers. Smart. I like, I like that. But I don't know if I can believe in a guy who tells me that I have all these rules to follow and that I should follow them in his way. To, to worship him correctly. However, in the next breath tells me that I should be able to worship him however I see fit. Is it not the same as our, our law, a legal system? Uh, we tell people we can live however they want, but also give them restrictions mm -hmm. on how they may live. No, because we tell them they have to follow a set of rules in order to behave in this in this world. The Bible doesn't. The Bible says you have to believe in a certain way or you are not behaving as a good Christian. But then it also says in the other way that actually you don't have to be like it says go to church every Sunday. It also says you don't have to go to church every Sunday. But it says if you want to be a good Christian, you should go to church every Sunday. You don't have to and that doesn't make you a bad Christian. I mean, it's, it's an old book. Oh, I see it as more of a guidance. This is the house I'm buying, by the way. Oh, wow. I love it. Right by the church. Exactly. I have a view of the hills down south and then the mountains. Even the cars, too? Uh, yeah, I don't think I can get rid of those. Uh, pop okay, so if it's a guideline. Go on. Why can't you have sex before marriage? The guidelines state that it, it's sinful. It's a guideline. Doesn't mean you have to follow it. But I choose to. Okay, so it's not that you have to. You choose not to have sex for a marriage. Because I believe it's sinful, sinful because... because that's what the Bible says. Okay, but that's a guideline, right? Yeah. The guideline, it goes back to my same thing. 
it goes right back to the same thing that they say that to be a good christian i have to do it a certain way but then they also but you just said it's it's a guideline so technically it's a guideline right well it i mean the mean constitution is technically a guideline that is meant to be amended as we we traverse through the, so uh, the bible is time. never amended i mean it was amended once was it the new testament i guess is a technically an amendment to the old testament Typically a separate Bible too. That it is. And the Pope, they decide new new rulings and ideas at all times. No, they don't. Well, they come out and say that we should be more like this or more like that, depending on they which They reinterpret type of Pope. the already written laws. Anyway. Food for thought. I have so much food for thought. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, uh, Dan called me exhausting. I don't think you're exhausting. I just think he lacks the intelligence to be able to deal with your critical thinking. That's exact. I just said to him, some people can't handle me. I left it at that. So we can use this for training exercises. Mm -hmm. Um. So if we do not get the access to the uh the computer game thing, mm -hmm. uh, I mean there's plenty of place for pursuits. I, I would prefer the city for pursuits if possible, pursuit training, so that people can practice their comms. Uh Oh, Jesus. That's a jet. Yep. That, that is a jet. That's a chopper. Those three more jets. That's a lot of missiles. Well, I don't know if we should do tra any practice up here. This seems like a massive hazard. I was thinking maybe we could use this as a breach practice, but... Um, the doors do open good. Gotta protect ourselves from the commies, right? Right. I just mean if we have police officers running around shooting at each other in here for, for live fire practice. Missiles. Yeah, that, that my, and, and doing pursuit training and high speeds and hitting each other. And next thing you know, there's going to be an explosion and eight officers have died in, in, in practice. A military plane yeah I, i'm I, I think we should really try and reinforce the idea of practicing elsewhere dispatch 270 that's a secondary military plane 1041 10 oh god is that murdoch it is obviously gonna have a meltdown why she's not the biggest fan of him uh not many of us are lsia uh, I did practice at LSIA the other day. It was it was good practice. Um, yeah, Murdoch is legally sound, morally bankrupt. Yes. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, he makes questionable choice in the field. Yeah, and the problem is, is I can't actually question any of them because, well, they're all legally sound. He shot someone first because uh, he believed his life was in danger and enacted Tennessee mm -hmm. v. Garner to the T, but in doing so got eight officers, including himself, shot. Three of which yep. went into ICU. He performed a felony stop on somebody who had a felony warrant for fleeing and eluding. In their turf. Technically correct. Personally, a terrible decision. But the point is, but the thing is, is that you have to have people like that who are going to follow letters to the T or it becomes gray. True. People don't like it, but you have to have those types of people because while he's doing is reinforcing what people, what is correct. Because people get scared and they just won't do it. 
I think our talk with him was good. He was suspended for... It was originally going to be seven, but I have to have myself and Chief spoke to him. Uh, the Chief reduced it to three, and he was allowed to do dispatch during those. And then after two days, mm -hmm. he was released from his suspension. Good. Pop. We're talking about Pop here as potential senior, and we both agree, or all of us seem to agree, that she needs more on the field training. She, she is good. At, she has the potential to be a good leader. She doesn't have it, the knowledge to back it yet. Yes. Uh, or the we all agree. practicality. And I think that she is a bit too... She's a bit too much sugar and not enough spice yet. Yeah. She came to me with a complaint about Murdoch because uh, essentially they had a call from Tina or Tuna, the dispatcher, that her boyfriend, who is not her boyfriend, it's his ex, or her ex, sorry, had been kidnapped by three individuals. Mm -hmm. um, the officers found the vehicle, and as they drove past it, the boyfriend, Eddie Godby, otherwise known as Red, screamed from the vehicle, help, help, help. The vehicle was pulled over, Vera fell in a stop, uh, all individuals were detained, and the three were arrested whilst Poppy was getting the story from Eddie. While she was getting the story, it turned out that actually he hadn't been kidnapped at all. They were all his friends. Uh, but mm -hmm. before Poppy had got that information, Murdoch had already searched the other individuals and found marijuana on them. Mm -hmm. uh, she said that it was a violation of rights because it was an illegal search. And I, I had to correct her and tell her that no, that they were under arrest. Eddie Godby fucked over his friends by shouting help, and they had probable cause that uh, he'd been kidnapped. At that point, they are under arrest, uh, but further investigation found it was a mix-up, and then they can be released yeah. without charge. But they had illegal items on them, so... Did the right thing there. This is the thing, as I said, she's far too... She is always... I've seen quite a bit with Poppy where she seems to assume that she knows what's going on before hearing the entire story and thinks she knows the answers when actually she's still not in that position yet where she understands completely the 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 formulaic that comes with being an officer and i think she's great and i think she's getting there but i i do think she needs more time to just kind of get to that point where where she is actually right yeah. she's got the foundation she just needs that 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 structure to it now Two seven two direct. I send it for two o four. Two o four. Do you have time for a uh, brief twenty five? Oh uh, yeah, I'm just getting gas up at uh, North Rock. But you want a twenty five with me over here? Yeah, I'm in the area. I'll be right there. Ten four. Uh, two o four. Briefly off radio for gas. Glad to hear that she's going through the train as well. Yeah, she is very discouraged by it. Uh, I think she mm -hmm. recognizes she's being held to a higher standard, but after a conversation with her last night where she admitted she was feeling like she might drop FTO, I basically informed her that uh, myself and Harper kind of see her as a protege uh, who might be able to one day fill a lieutenant position with ease. Mm -hmm. But we want to ensure that she is reaching that standard. She has got, yeah, she's got to be top notch. And unfortunately, to become top march, it takes time. Yeah. You're going to say we might as well reposition our vehicles in case we got to get out of here in a hurry. Oh, yeah, you're not wrong. Oh. It's gonna be a great conversation. I'm sure. I was just gonna line up behind you, but alright. Yeah, howdy, how we're doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. I'm I'm just looking for some 
I don't know, feedback, probably the best word. No, I... <laughs> because, because there's two situations that popped up last night that, that I just want to make sure that I'm not crazy. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, um, which ones? Uh, uh, give me, give me, let, let me explain the first one first. So, um, I, and I'm just gonna throw it out there. Uh, so the first situation was, uh, the arrest of, I believe his name was Chris Nixon. Um, the arrest would have been probably made. Oh, um, I see it. Chris Nixon, yeah. Route 68 Panorama by Ace Bishop and Blakely McKenna. Yeah. So, um. Oh, Blakely, uh, I fucking love this report. Maybe this comes from also being on, mostly on the night shift. Uh, but, uh. Ace Bishop went and tried to serve, well, ended up arresting this individual with his cadet partner um, at Yellow Jack in front of a half dozen lost men. I was there on scene. My name is not in the report. Yeah, I'm reading that now. Yeah, and I'm just wondering based upon the situation is that something we should or we shouldn't be doing um generally Cause, no cause but it is... depends on the scenario chris nixon is not a member of the lost is he uh, i'm not sure i mean he was he was at the bar so but you know it's still gang turf yeah, but they're not arresting a gang, like one of the gang members of that gang from their turf. It's all, it's also a bar. Uh, if it was, uh, what's but it also, called? also usually groups like the laws don't like when cops are coming to the bar making arrests because it dissuades people from coming there. True. Uh, if this was Stab City, I can imagine it being a different affair. But Yellow Jack, uh, having a conversation. Fortunately, it is a public place. Yeah. It's 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 rough. It's tough. But if they are, if criminals come to the establishment, we can't like. It puts us in a really difficult position. Is like because the other thing we do is that we then set up things outside to wait for them to leave, which is worse. Because then at that point you are creating animosity by sitting out there waiting for something, and that makes stress and anxiety versus just going in there because they know they're there, getting them and getting out of there. Because cause I'm getting like different, you know, mixed messages. Some people saying no, you shouldn't have done that. You're saying yes, that's fine. So I'm just trying to again so Ace figure Bishop, out where. In general, is uh, one of the best individuals at towing the line. So you're always mm -hmm. in whatever action he does, you're going to get differing views on whether he should or should not have done what he did. Uh, generally speaking, if he does something, he's usually doing a pretty good job of it. Um, but it is risky, uh, but he pays out that risk. Sometimes it will not go in his favor, and he'll probably get punished if he did something like that, but usually he's fine. Looking at this, again, I wasn't on scene. I'm just going off a, a vague reading of it very quickly. Uh, main thing I've noticed is Blakely McKenna's uh, report writing is phenomenal. Um, yeah, she does a good job. She's with a little bit more experience, I, I mean... Her documentation skills are fantastic. So, yeah. uh, so but I would the advice, forget that I was there. <laughs> the advice I would give is no! it is a judgment call, because if so, let's the 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 reality is it's a judgment call. If it is an aggravated situation, where at that point putting yourself in danger by going in there and crazy and ruckus, it is just not worth it. Then don't do it. But if it is a case of it's not, it's just you know it's an average day. No one's really stressed. Nothing. There's no disagreement there in there and going in and saying look dudes we just want to do this and we'll be out of your hair i don't see the issue with that because unfortunately it comes with the turf of owning the public bar yep 
if, if Ace was to sit out there every single day and continuously do this to the point where the Lost lost their shit, yeah, that could be a problem. If he does it once every now and then, the Lost are just going to have to suck it up. Uh, it's yeah. the same issue you had with the idea that, uh, you know, gangs shouldn't have turf that we shouldn't go in because we're essentially losing that battle. Uh, we, we just need to recognize where places are. We need heightened police response to individuals, you know, minimum if you're going to go into Grove Street or something like that. Uh, yeah. It's a case and of just deciding if the if it is the opportune time and if it is worth the investment you're about to put in by going in there. And that's and that is a judgment call that is made by the person doing it. And if you make their own judgment call, I'm sure you'll get a slap on the wrist for it. Like that's that's what happens. You'll get hurt and then people in question what you did and if it was the right call. But it's still, it's still a judgment call that needs to be made. It doesn't always work in your favor, but that's... You can't say yes or no to stuff like that because it's so circumstantial, especially... Like, can you imagine if we were looking for a murderer and they walked in the Yellow Jack and then we were like, Oh no, you can't arrest from the Yellow Jack! Like, it'd be such a, a, a dumb thing to have to, like... To follow in that time, because you're like, Oh my god, we're losing the chance of catching someone. Versus, I, totally, hey, I yeah. totally agree with what you're saying. I, I'm yeah. just trying to figure out in the future so i can make judgment calls that aren't going to you know make get people hurt or make people yeah. upset you know what i mean so that, that's all i'm asking yeah. now the second situation from last night i am much more concerned about and mm -hmm. i'm bringing it to you guys because i i'm hoping i don't want you i'm going to ask that you don't approach it directly but maybe you should maybe in meetings so mm -hmm. last night and you can reference the report of uh i filed a report last night called atm something atm robbery the maybe. jane doe one right the jane doe one uh, did you read that oh uh, i had to look at it uh, uh earlier today briefly uh because i was confused whether jane doe existed or not um you know how we have a John Doe, which, and then I saw that you yeah, had I, John I Doe. It, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, um, I wish we had a Jane Doe. But that, anyway. that would be nice. Uh, I do have an issue, though. I cannot now look at the report because I'm viewing an attached image. Uh, did you try to open up your files again? Yep. Uh, ooh. It seems uh, to happen to you a lot. And yeah. then you should be able to... Yeah, if you open it, file folders up again, you should be able to get out of there. No, I just, I can't close nothing. Uh, well, um, I guess, uh, I guess we'll wait for you to get back to us. Oh, no, <laughs> it's fine. We, could, we can have the discussion, then I'll nap afterwards and <sighs> get rid of it that way. So again, I, I, please, please don't approach it with it directly. Mm -hmm. Um, but... And hopefully it's something we can bring up in meetings, because I've seen it happen more than once, but I actually put it on paper this time. So, ATM robbery down Little Soul, just a couple blocks south of here, I guess. <clears throat> and uh, I show up on scene first, and Barbara shows up on scene pretty soon after. And there's a woman at the ATM with a skateboard and a backpack and a baseball bat. As we're trying to get her, you know, coax her into, you know, just surrendering and, and, you know, there's no guns out or anything like that. Just talking to her, saying, hey, man, we got to come over here. You know, what are you doing here? You know, you know normal questioning, just trying to establish what, what's going on. Um, another call comes in for a drug sale in progress. And Barbara leaves me alone with the woman. Now, I get that sometimes we got to respond respond to stuff alone oh, he was, uh, can we help you hey, hey, hey sir, can i talk to you a little later when you're done oh uh, yeah I'm, sure. done I'm gonna have to have a nap after this because i'm viewing an attached image but uh yeah I'll, I'll, I'll radio once i'm back all right thank you joe and i mean i get on shift three that we often respond to calls alone and you know play things out but she left me on the scene with a woman who had a weapon on her who later pulled out that weapon and then I mean she ran for me which was fine but 
No, she left me alone right. to understand. go respond to a drug sale. Yeah. No, you're completely in the right. She should not be leaving an inactive uh, scene to go to what is essentially a very low priority call. Uh, drug sales, I know now, we have a war on drugs, but uh, if the you're... Drug sale was, the drug sale call ended up being an arrest, and it ended up bringing in 40 bags of meth off of Eastside Bala, which is great. I'm not, I'm not complaining about the results. Uh, I don't care about 40 bags of meth if you have a bullet in your head. Yes, and like I said, on the night shift, I get it. We often respond to scenes alone. We've got to use our judgment. And, I mean, uh, we're, we're lucky if we have more than two units on the road certain hours. And that's the conditions that I'm used to working in, so I get it. I get being very cautious and not jumping, you know, into situations the and, and breaking podcast. off the like, whole thing. But, huh. you know, and, and maybe if she didn't have a baseball bat on her, I would have felt a little bit differently, although we kind of have to presume everyone's armed in this city. But... At least in my mind, as soon as she left, the female in that situation could have... Because she wasn't in cuffs. I didn't have the opportunity to get her in cuffs. Barbara left as I was trying to get her in cuffs. And she was verbally, you know, resisting me and blah, blah, blah. And so Barbara was clearly leaving me alone with a um, somewhat uncooperative individual. Not aggressive, but uncooperative. And... Like I said, I, I like Barbara a lot, and I would trust Barbara with my life. But this situation just made me say, maybe we shouldn't be doing that. And I get she's a senior officer now, so she we can pull rank and, and clear the scene on me. But no, it should be happening. You shouldn't be left alone on scenes. Um, Barbara's a senior nobody officer? should be leaving until it's called cold for, and everyone is uh, is safe and everything is accounted for so no that shouldn't be happening and yes it will be brought up i don't i don't really have a call you are to stay through and see through until he's called code for unless a priority call comes in yeah that, and that's, in how case, I, that's how still i believe in one person yeah yeah and you know like i said night shift things happen you know a call comes in i already have someone in cuffs you know doc says do you want me to clear it and go to the next call i say okay and there's some communication around it but in this situation it just from what i remember barbara saying it was just you'll be okay here and then she and then she left and when i eventually got back to my car after giving chase to the individual on foot who fled she was already in an active 80 so i broke off my chase to go back her up because i didn't want her being alone that's what so, we should be doing yeah uh, i don't know it just like i said i i don't want this to come back on barbara directly but I mean, but it's, I, it's a normally... general issue within the PD. I have seen it happen before. Somebody, I was responding to a drug sale, and then a commercial robbery came up, and people wanted to stick on the drug sale. I had to inform them very firmly that no, uh, commercial robbery has an active hostage whose life's in danger. That is a high priority call, and everyone should respond to that instead. Yeah. So, it's, uh, That's all. That's all it was. Like I said, I, I like Barbara a lot, and I don't hey, want her to make it seem like, you know, I'm, I'm throwing her under the bus. And normally in these situations, most officers wouldn't file a report about it, but I just had to document it for the sake of being able to reference it in the future as something that I hope can be corrected. And like I said, you know, people have bad judgment calls. Clearly, I've made made bad judgment calls. I'm sure we've all made bad judgment calls, but. Yeah, leaving me alone with someone who's clearly armed was a, uh, even a baseball bat was just made me, gave me the heebie-jeebies, so. That's fair. No, it is noted. Uh, we will do what we can to get so that this stops happening or it decreases significantly. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Again, if you don't bring it up to us, we don't, we don't always see everything, so we can't always correct it. So thank you for bringing it to us. Uh, Barbara yeah. won't. We won't specifically out Barbara, as we said. This is a PD. This is an incident that keeps happening across the entirety of the PD, which means that we need to step in and have a look at how things can change. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Yeah, and I'll be honest with you. I'm going against advice that I was given to shut up and not say anything about it, because you know I've recently been in the spotlight, and I'm not. I don't like to be in the spotlight. I just like to do my job and try to do it well. Um, so thank you for hearing me out 
Of course. As we said, we, we don't see everything. We don't know everything. We need to be Let informed if to... things are happening that could potentially put our offices in danger. Thank what are you, you saying? Control W? Right, well, I'll, uh... No, Control W doesn't work. Get back to it then, and, uh... Hopefully we have a, a safe rest of our ship. All right, I'm gonna go nap. Get rid of this attached image. Uh -huh. Thank okay. you very much. Thank uh, you, Mardok. How are you doing, Stevie? I'm okay. God damn it! How can I not spell quit? It's like struggling to play Wordle. I got back into playing Wordle. I don't know what's wrong with me. I know. Witty, my favorite. I love people who are witty. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. If there was somebody on that shift who I would endorse, who I think was a great candidate, it would probably be Doc Shipman. He's mm -hmm. he served in the department longer than you and I combined, <laughs> basically, mm -hmm. as, as, at least as I'm aware. You, you got probably hired on around the same time, a mm -hmm. little, little bit before me, I think, when it was still the sheriff's office, right? Mm -hmm. um, but he might be a great candidate. To, to, he's very level-headed. He knows his ins and outs. He's... Uh, I trust him with my life, and he's always mm. been very proactive in making sure everyone was taken care of, so. For sure. Mm. I will put his name forward. Thank you very much for the suggestion. All right. Okay. I Y'all appreciate good... that. Thank you. Mm. Have a lovely time with you. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. You in the car. How did that happen? No, no. You all right? Oh uh, yeah, I'm good, good, good. Um. What the fuck it way, fool? Oh, hey, Rada. Um, other meeting with other person. Joe, yeah, I need to sign on duty. Oh, uh, Joe got hired by a Harper, by the way. He was not one of the. Actually, he was one of the people interviewed. He was interviewed on the. Uh, you know how we did. Oh, Tuesday and Thursday interviews. Mm -hmm. There's also a round of interviews on Wednesday for selected individuals, uh, mm -hmm. which I was not aware of. Uh, so I did not attend until too late. Oh, I did not attend at all. Sorry, I only found out too late after it already happened. Joe was one of the individuals who attended and was not asked a single question related to policing, uh, so was declined. And then uh, Harper spoke to him and five years of experience fantastic officer knows all of his stuff and somebody that we have interacted with previously and know is a good character already so she instantly had him Ooh. joe ferraro uh he used to be a captain of the ems here uh worked security there uh and then was working as an investigator for the attorney general's office after he quit the oh, ems oh yeah 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Um, so he basically just spoke to me about uh, leadership in his shift, graveyard shift. Right. And said that there isn't any, and I explained that we were getting more boots on the ground before we looked at anyone else to move up. But he said he would like to put forward the, um, Doc Shipman as a potential. Yeah, I believe, uh, 
I think we had a small issue with Doc. Uh, I know he was one of the only FTOs and people who was patrolling his shift. Uh, and then he just started promoting people. He was the one that started promoting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Ah, uh, which I'm, I'm, he's already a senior, but I'm sure that caused issues. Monkey's ship, Joe? Huh? Now, the question is, can I sign on duty here? I think so, yeah. I actually really like this exterior. Cannot. Oh, well, never mind. Down to the other PD it is. Uh, I'm trying to think. So we have Bonnie, myself, you, uh, and Daisy, and Colt. We have five sergeants mm -hmm. already. Uh, two captains, although one's potentially. No, three captains, one's potentially leaving. Um. I think that speaks for the second captain when I keep forgetting he exists. Ah, uh, so we have Nolan and then lieutenants. We have Tex. Mm-hmm. And you know, we're really at the point where we but need I to But I might be gone soon. Might be four sergeants. You upset me greatly. They're over overlapping. Did they? Was that on purpose? What? Was that on purpose? Was that was those two like could combining on purpose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you? That's on purpose, fool. Gangster shit, this shit. Okay. They don't want to bond the shit. They say they don't want to bond the shit, fool. Fair enough. Hey, you like what you see, man? You like what you see, man? I definitely don't. What? I should have just said that to Daisy. Do you like what you see, Chica? Oh. My reply would have been 100% no. Uh, 204 to Joe. Yeah, 203, go ahead. Aw, uh, what do you want at 25? Uh, I'm at Benny's right now, but I can meet you uh, anywhere, Sarge. Alright, I'll, I'll 25 with you at, uh, at Benny's. Alright, that far. I don't know. Is, is Red a Vargo or Meryl Bunter? I thought he was Vargo. No idea. I had the audacity to put a ship in my mouth yesterday. I think you wanted, I think you wanted the two of them together. Send for PD. A bunch of people want. Uh, that. right. Be advised, there is a 1047 up on Great Ocean Highway that was running from officers earlier on. We have just got a local call, and EM EMTs are on scene. I've confirmed that this is the same person. This individual is armed and dangerous, and may have evidence on them. We need a PD officer up by Great Ocean Highway 
just past the military base on the beach. Need us. Need. I'll uh, see who no, I No, I wasn't saying we need to. I was just saying need because he Where? said he Four. need. I'm glad that nobody is a 204, obviously, on a CX. Go ahead. Hello there. Hello. Hey. Oh. Hell, there you go. Uh, let me search this individual. I can't carry the scooby gear as well. Grab it. I ship Rosna with the god crop top. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. I uh, would have been tagged in SPD discussion. In the trunk. All right, sure. Um. We just have confirmation. We're gonna take him back to the box. Are you guys gonna pick him up from there? Yeah, yeah, we'll escort you. Uh, do you know what this was in relation to? Um, I know that Shepard was down here before with another gentleman. I don't know the officer's name though. Um, I don't exactly know, but I just know that the, the uh, 95 ran into the water, uh, and then the police were chasing him. So, yeah. Uh, if I was to guess, it might be a commercial. I don't really know my job. Mm. 
That shit rostered with detective work? Oh my god. Amy and Joe are a cute yeah, we, couple. we stalled as long as we could until you got here, so... Oh, you're all good. I'll, I'll contact Shepard and find out what happened. I realize I got the wrong hat on. God damn it, I like the other hat. Alright, okay, thank we'll, you. Uh, we'll get to go back. No worries. Uh, 204 to Shepard. Uh, Sarge, uh, I believe he just went off duty maybe five minutes ago. Or, um, you know, considering time. Yeah, considering the time. Uh, do we know if anybody else responded to the commercial robbery? Uh, 283 negative, I didn't go. And this is uh, some freak. 211 did attend, but I was uh, a boat unit, so uh, it was after the fact. Okay, so so it was a commercial robbery that uh, somebody went into the waterfall, because I have one of the suspects here on the beach. Uh, yeah, that's confirmed. Uh, basically, there was four suspects. Three of them fled in a vehicle. One of them jumped into the water. I was already uh, on marine patrol. Uh, myself and uh, Shepard apprehended him with uh, the help of EMS, and then uh, he had a bit of a headache. Oh, okay. uh, as far uh, as as, yeah, far as as far as I'm aware, he he was carrying a shotgun as well at the time. Oh, in which case I have a second one of your 95s. Maybe I'm not sure. I, I'm, EMS told me that they got a confirmed person that was being chased by the police. He's turned up on the shore just near Zancudo. Uh, he's been apprehended. He's been taken to pillbox now. Uh, ten four. I'll uh, roll down to pillbox. Ten four. I'll see you there. Um. <clears throat> Logan got into PD, right? Uh, he's on a higher list. Okay. Yeah, Logan Monroe, HP471, awaiting higher rank for EU. Okay, thank you. Those TV are knowing your luck. It sounds like it might go bad. What do you mean? I don't know. All I know so far of your love life is Riggs and, and Dan. In both scenarios, it sounded like you deserve much better. Whilst originally charming individuals, it did not go well. What do you mean? What does that have anything to do with this? I'm just saying, uh, track record is, has not gone in your favor. Because I like his accent, uh, I must want to dunk him and date him? Uh, I didn't say that. I, I uh, said that if that was the path attack. you were considering, uh, especially considering... What's that the path I'm considering? Okay, yeah, I, I want to get a guy... You. I heard you. Why? Because I like his voice? You I think really it's... like his voice. Uh, I, I, yeah, that doesn't mean Ignore. that I'm not gonna keep it professional, and I don't, I don't think the guy will make a great color. officer. I, I, I never, is. never suggested otherwise. You just said that if you go that route, it may go bad. Uh, I'm well, he could still be a great officer. It would still be professional, especially if you're a marshal. I'm gonna rig to marry me just to fuck you all off. I mean, that wouldn't. Why would that fuck me off? Because you want to sit there and quote my dating life? At least I get laid. Okay, ow. But also a choice. And secondly, uh, I, I no, honestly don't mind who you marry. Just as long as it makes you happy. And also we uh, always discuss uh, each other's dating lives. That is like a number one thing we discuss apart from command duties. <laughs> Yeah, and? Well, the part of... Okay, look. Um, I can privately comment on it in, in, in your presence yes, you can. only. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, you can. And uh, I understand. I, I I agree with your assessment. My track of luck record of men hasn't been the best. However, let me put it out there. A, I didn't sleep with Dan. And Dan is still chasing after me, not the other way around. 
second, be a third of all, uh, Riggs happened many years ago. And while, yes, he is very keen on starting it again, I have not made any definitive uh, decisions. And, and, and first of all, just because I want him to read every single book that I can find, I want him to like read PD reports to me, doesn't mean I'm going to then invite him to doink. But you thought about it. I'm not answering that. Yeah, I see on. <laughs> not a sin. Words are not sins. Only actions are. Well, I think in and of itself is an action, but there's a whole nother discussion. And anyway, I was not commenting that you were chasing after Dan or Riggs, just that a track record was was not in your favor. Then, just because look just because okay you know what it is nice people attract bad people because bad people want to corrupt them yeah, ain't there the truth and also you should be happy that i want him to read every book to me because that book includes the bible a little bit for us uh, i just got told to... are you able to move Rather the, move the car, a bit? they've got oh. another emergency coming in oh god okay thank you thank you so much And it would be a very holy experience. This has right now, but I'm a Davis. Uh, can you run a plate for me? Yeah. All right. He had a pistol on him, I some scuba gear, a little bit of money, and a crowbar. Two, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry, just let me turn my radio off. It's so loud. That plate is not registered in our database. Okay, thank you. Okay, so. All I, so all I'm aware of is uh, there was a commercial robbery call. There was uh, four units on it. Um, at the time, I was down by the Marine, so I uh, jumped on a boat and I started scanning the coastline. Um, and then we picked up this gentleman. Uh, he was in full scuba gear. He passed out underneath. Uh, then uh, Shepard and myself kind of circled him, found him. EMS revived him, got him back to the beach. When they got him back to the beach, uh, he was scuffed. That That's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, well, who else was on the scene of the commercial? Uh, both Norway and Sweden. No, who are off duty? And I don't know who Shepherd. the fourth was. I think it was uh, 09 George, who's also not on G. God. Okay. Uh, I guess just the usual blanket charges, fleeing and eluding possession of a firearm if it's illegal. Uh, robbery A and uh, hostage taken. Yeah, uh, I don't know who, who got the statement from the hostages. As I say, I was uh, late to the party. I apologize for interrupting, but the patient yeah. is currently back there being treated by Jeanette. I think best well, thank you. probably be back there with him. Yeah, no worries. We'll get back there. All right. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hello. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, it was a pretty consistent affair. Uh, they just kept fucking every time that they went on stakeouts together was the, was what I, what he was told. Thank you. How are you doing, Jenny? Good. How about yourself? I need. I need slipped over the wet floor sign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No. Oh God. Good. Yeah, you might want to try and stand up there. There we go. All right. Yeah, how we doing, sir? You feeling better? Oh, all right, lay. 
Oh, hello. No, well, you have the right to amend silence and your door say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney present during questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, are you trying to flick my nuts, heck? What are you doing with your hands? <laughs> 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 all right okay we'll, we'll get you into the sales it should be fairly the basic we'll be charges there, uh, shortly dim, dim. Ah, what's your head all right we'll see you there I did it again. What's your head, sir? I'm just gonna reach over and put that belt on for you too. Reach back there. There you go. Two. Oh, two oh four seven six Davis PD one ninety five. Nine, were you part of the commercial robbery? Give me a s oh, wow. Give me a second. That way, sir. Let's go this way. God, that, that annoys me so much. Two oh nine plus one is going to be entering at ten thirty eight with a grey in colour SUV. One time's occupied. We're going to be eastbound Cabinet Boulevard. I get one seventy seven, please. Actually, two times occupied. Nine seven out. Listen, are you good? Oh, yeah, sorry. I just, uh, Shepard just sent me a fax. Alright, I'll come to the bars there, so uh, I'll unlock off you. Uh, removing your cuffs now. Uh, sorry, I just got a message from the, uh, the other officer, so I understand the situation now. Resnick, can I borrow you for a second? Uh, yeah. Give me one second. Alright. You're going on, yeah. Ma'am? I'll see you like in a week or so. 
Nope, because when you get back, I'll already be gone for a week. So I'll see you in about two weeks. <laughs> I'll see you in two weeks then. Please be, but please still be in this uniform when I get back. 209 dispatch. No promises, but I'll send you a fax. Okay, no Happy promises. Up. I'll I'll uh, be in no, this uniform either. You never know what's going to happen. We don't. Specifically any prize for traffic do you not. Yep, be safe. Don't get shot and don't die, okay? I'll do my best there. Yeah. You have a nice okay. time. I'll see you soon. God damn it, Nikki always leaving me. All right, sorry. I'll get this done as quickly as possible. Um. Uh, two eleven two nine. Go ahead. What's the uh, cause? No, no record, no mugshot, no nothing. Uh, Zancudo. Uh, uh, tunnel. And no vehicles registered to her. If that helps. Ah, uh, well, that does help indeed. All right, two nine seven zero. This commercial robbery. 06-22-85 Ah, uh, charges, robbery Ah uh, Ah, uh, fleeing Hostage And then quick search When is Not illegal for him to have that. This is here. Nice dog. Two three is gonna be seventy six bill bucks. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't have any felonies on your record, violent felonies. So uh, it's just robbery, a fleeing and eluding, hostage taking, nine hundred dollars in fines, one hundred and twenty five months in jail, and you plead guilty to all of those. Is that a yes? Okay, all right, we'll do it. We'll give you a 20% reduction on both uh, for the guilty plea. It will be five days to pay the fine. This will be 100 months in jail, 720 month, uh, $720 fine, five days. Uh, guilty to all. Uh, he's got a problem with his, uh, his microphone. That's why he's not talking. He's not being rude, he just he physically cannot talk. What? 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 Oh, there we are. It's good to hear you. Ah, nice to hear your voice. I can't believe uh, we're see visiting each other. Hey, you're not. I can't believe we're visiting each other for Well, I would say weeks. that it's all that water in your throat. We were abandoned. I said it's gentle. What? Say again. Oh, I'll miss you too. Are you going anywhere nice? I mean, I'm with my girlfriend and going to the island. So I'll be gone for a week there. She's gone forever. <laughs> no, what? She's, she's leaving us and then she's, then she's joining the marshals. We're orphans. Well, I mean, you, you, you say that, but. If only I knew sign language. Ha, uh, Raphael, uh, I know you're having issues. I've reduced your time by 20%. Uh, I'm going to send you up now. It's going to be fairly quick. I do hope you, that you can get that seaweed dislodged from your throat. No, the best. At least we caught one of them. Yeah, at least we caught one. Yeah, yeah now the minute, they, the minute they called for uh, the, the fact that it was a, constru a um, commercial robbery, I uh, jumped jumped on the boat because normally they ditch it in the water anyway. Yeah, I'm thinking about what well, I've been trying to speak to someone about letting us use our batons in the water. We need like a rubber grip on them because we can't do anything about it. If they're just going to run in there, we should just beat the shit out of them. Well, they're doing it more and more. So that's why li literally whenever we get a big call, I'm, if I'm free, I'm straight down to the marina. Yeah, we need a better boat, I think. We do because uh, the Imagine top speed the rest of the it's on a flat is like sounds 60. Amazing. Uh, I'm nine jealous. times out of ten, you're doing like 40, 42 I'll miss riding you over the waves. I, hopefully, I can get Winston something. But we got him. That's amazing. It's it's demotivating to even be on Winston, so it's difficult to roleplay on him. 
Uh, do you uh, need anything else from me? No, it's good. I'll just write up the report now. Thank you. Uh, well, hopefully I can get something on him before you're back. Uh, Joe Rosner, Cheek, the Haraldson, Haraldson, Leaf Haraldson, and then Elena was probably there, and then Shepard was there. Uh, 204, Joe Rosner. Has uh, responded to a suspect. Uh, who had a large issue with uh, the water after fleeing from a commercial robbery uh, where one hostage had uh, been held. Uh, this fact was struggling to talk, produced sign language to admit uh, all of his crimes. Uh, the fleeing, uh, and deluding, and the hostage taking and robbery. He had no prior felonies uh, that were violent, was not charged with the possession of a weapon. Oh, well, if you guys don't know me, I'm Diody. I play Winston Walker. I also play Joe Rosner. And I also play Sid Walker, who I do need to get onto. Maybe I'll play Sid Walker. Interpretive dance. That would be the better one. Uh, seize possessions. I can't believe that we're both going on holiday one after each other. Uh, now I need to throw away this stuff. Gonna approach from the other direction. Can't wait for my trip to, Island, Island, to Island, Island in August. Ooh, Island. where are you going in Island? No visual, Especially if the weather stays like this. The weather's too fucking hot. Why would you want it to be like this? West Co uh, County called Clare. Ooh. Has anybody else just got any big holidays? Cabin in July. Ooh. Why? Uh, I got a suspect here sitting on the bench on the left. Oh, and he's. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess he was feeling a bit drowsy. He was wearing blue jeans, uh, grey in colour sweatshirt, green in colour cap. Uh, Where's the campaign? In front of the Binko here. 211 is 23 at the uh, one on the clipboard of the left. Hey, You're covering everybody's summer holidays? No! Just a weekend camping trip? That sounds great! Why are you Sedge? No Sedge! If it isn't Joe, hey. How are you doing? Oh, hey, oh, hey Washington. Joe, sorry. sorry. What's, what seems to be the matter? Uh. Uh, first off, congrats. I don't think I've spoken to you, but spoken to you, but congrats on on council. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, yeah. congrats. I voted. Well, oh, thank you. I, I, wait, I, I don't know if you voted for me, but thank you for voting and demonstrating. I only democratic. voted for you. You only voted for me. You were the only name I knew on the ballot. So. Oh. How the hell did that? Apparently, a lot of people uh, voted for me just because they knew who I was, but everybody knows me as Washington. And that's because no one I'm else knows who those people are. I mean, fair. You know, if I was on that, I would have won alongside you, but the, the communists took me off, as you know. So. Oh. Yeah. Um, what was I here for, Robin? SOPs. Oh, yeah. Um... You guys have you guys have like written down SOPs, right? Yep. Are those public? Nope. Fuck. Can they be? Nope. Fuck. Can I see them? Nope. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Uh, fuck. 
that mean I have to get an expert witness every time I want to talk to someone about SOPs? Yep. Oh, like why aren't they public? Do you know? Oh, uh, well, because I tell you, tell you why. One, it's basically just an internal training document uh, and advising yeah. us on how to act. Uh, two, uh, I guarantee you exactly what will happen is every single call case will be dragging officers in the front and being like, well, uh, okay, look, SOPs. Oh yeah, they should follow the SOPs. Well, yeah. they stand stand for standard operating procedures. That is, if everything was in an absolute perfect world in a perfect condition, that is how you should act. But the reality is every single scenario is not perfect and it's kind of a general guideline on what you should do. If we start using it well, as a yeah. legal document, then it's going to become a letter of the law kind of thing with standard operating procedures. It's going to be a fucking mindfuck. And on top of that, every single criminal will be like, why are you tackling me, bro? It's too early as per your SOPs. And fuck that noise I as well. That. Uh, an expert witness is right. your best bet because they can come in and go, look, okay, maybe in a perfect scenario it wouldn't be this, but a reasonable officer in this scenario would or would not do such a case. All right, you want to be my expert witness in a case? Sure, I can be an expert witness. That's that's my job. All right, perfect. Uh, I think I have your details. Uh, it's Kingdom of Heaven 728. There you go. Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah. Yep. Go, go Jesus and all that. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. All right. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. But just, you know, just wondering because I think someone broke, uh, not in, not only your SOPs, but I think in an unreasonable manner. So yeah, that's, that's fair. And bring me in and speak about it on the, on the stand. Cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, either me or, or, uh, maybe my parody or, or my assistant might be in touch. You know, so what? we'll see. I guess this is a general question. What time roughly did the event occur, the, the incident? Because I'm uh, going to assume that the court case is going to be scheduled for roughly a similar time. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be about, uh, maybe like, uh, maybe like two, three, four hours from now. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, that's, that's right towards the, well, it's the end of the day and into the morning for me but i can do that yeah same same for me um yeah. and on top of that uh no bullets, i no very one. much assume that this is gonna be happening soon so i will tell uh, you yeah. my availability uh well yeah uh, so essentially once we um once i actually fight it because it's not filed just yet um We'll get handed a pay, uh, like a scheduling slip, and what I'll do is I'll pass it along to you, and okay. then you can uh, fill that out. So between the 28th and the 9th, I will be unavailable. Okay. It probably will happen after the 9th, to be fair. I so. imagine so as well, but just so you're aware, in case it gets scheduled super early, I wouldn't be available before then, and you could use any other command as an expert witness as well. Yeah, I guess. I could probably put in like Enzo or something. He's the only other command I know, I'll be honest. Oh, uh, well, uh, Stevie Hale's gonna be away for a week. Maybe you can get her after that. Daisy Castile, Colt McCoy, uh, Chief Harper's obviously gonna be busy. There's also Malcolm Nolan. Uh, Malcolm Nolan's more in Enzo's time zone. Uh, he might be, if it would be like the first thing he could do if, uh, actually, who, who would, if the Chief Justice is taking the case, for some reason, Nolan will be unavailable. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting, then. Yeah. Uh, Enzo right, yeah. might not be available. He's usually later. Daisy and Colt are more around that time zone uh, was what would be the end of our day. But I, I would be available, yes. Uh, Stevie, All right. Do you, have a, um, do you guys have a... time zone. Do you guys have, like, a, a mailbox? Uh, yeah, police. Like a PD ma police? Okay, great. Yeah, all so capitals. If, if, for whatever reason, you're not available, yeah. um, I'll just send a letter there and see if they... You know, see if any member of command volunteers for it, and if not, I'll um, I'll get the court to pick one. Yeah, uh, it will just cool. be a case of uh, that we'll be told, I presume, and they'll be like, one of you have to go. Who is the most available? Do it. You don't have a yeah. choice, which is fair. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Especially if they're not public, then then it's the only way to, for me to get information about SOPs. You know. Yep. 
Cool. So All right. Smart, Perfect. Thanks so much for the, for the chat. Uh -huh. It was a pleasure. You have a good day now. God All bless. Right. Yeah. And also, I was robbed from my council seat, and I'm very angry about it. I don't get to choose there. Communists. Uh, communists. Yeah. communists. Communists are a I problem. I swear to God, they're communists. Okay, Poppy, why aren't you in bed? This is my life. Do you, do, you, do you want me to give you a, a, an order to go off duty? No. I can suspend you. No. I, I can do it. No. I no. will do it. Don't do it. Okay, mm. I will never force an individual to do it, but I do highly recommend you go get some rest. I'm, I'm not... I'm not tired. That sounds like a problem. Yep. I'm not sure. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Alright, thanks for the help. Uh, you should be fine. Uh, can you open the door? Because I'm going to check the post. No, I'm not. I'm in the wrong spot. What? There we go. You're not in the city sometimes you can find me. I'm just happy to leave. I was going through the application for to join the department. I don't know how to go there. Maybe behind this place. It's not here. I'm in a city that I wish to pick up where I was at, but I have no issues. Because even though you're standing right here, you can open. You can lock the. Yeah, I'm I'm well aware. Uh, I'm coming back to find out the department. Do you manage it now? 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, it's essentially the same as me. Just a few dollars in the account. I'm dreaming of making my life. The people of the city being kind to me, and I wish to return the paper by giving them um, join the SPD. In my construction work, by trade in Ireland, so I'm no stranger to hard work. Sam, but Sam, man. Uh, just don't know anything. I just wanted the people to be involved. Huh? I'm running this during the first and Mexico investigation to take. Oh God! Uh, I'm capable of driving even experience a horseback. Twenty years of cadet phase of deputizing some deputy for five years doing regular police work. Just wanted to call. Even investigate. Fourth one is my family going back three generations. Miguel Antonio Manuel Manola Diaz became a deputy in the country before migrating back to Mexico, restructuring the entire police department in Oaxa. Oaxa? After he learned here in the States. I am aware that there are differences in the laws and the customs of both countries. I'm also aware that there is much to learn. As the old Ava of France once said, the merit in all things. I was screwed. Baby was. Howdy. Yeah. Uh, I believe my experience. I, I, you know, we just uh, be out here outstanding members of society and shit. Just thought I had a question, bro. You got sure. any higher ups around, man? What's your rank, baby? Oh, uh, sergeant. I perfect, bro. Perfect. I quick question, bro. I let's say hypothetically, right? Let's say hypothetically, I got a fat fucking fine in the thousands, man. I'm talking like big, big fucking fine. We're talking right? like just throwing a number out there, seven thousand six hundred dollars, for example. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hypothetically, bro. Hey, hey, what, what happens if I don't pay that shit, bro? Uh, I will send you into jail for forty months per one thousand. So uh, if you have not paid it and you're now in the seven thousand, you, that's what. Uh, it's like two hundred eighty months. Uh, yes. Alright, I'll tell you uh, what no, we're doing, no, boys. I'll tell you what we're doing, boys. Now, what happened to the wait, fine, on, bro? Uh, on, uh, on top of that, you would also get an additional fine and time for contempt of court. So you'd probably hey, be up there for what, an, uh, What's the additional another... fine, bro? Oh, so they'd give you another fine for not paying a fine? Like, is, does that even make no, sense? Does that add no. to the fine, or...? Uh, uh, no, your, your fine would be exempt. Oh, so, that, I, yeah, fuck that. Let's go. I'm going back, baby. Fuck that. Oh, contempt. Small vacation, two weeks. 
Came to court with a sixty months and five hundred dollar fine. So your seven thousand would go. well your seven thousand would be eradicated, but then you would have a five hundred dollar fine to pay and you would be up there oh, for three hundred and thirty no. months. Hundred damn oh, I, 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 How many I, months? I five hundred thirty? I hey, Sergeant, bro, can you call Bowling Brook man tell him to get a bed warm nice for me, bro? I'll be fucking up there killing it for fucking oh, 200 dude, minutes. Let's go. Fuck that. I'm going back, baby. Hey, we going back, right? Shit. Yeah. Uh, you, right. I mean, shit, I, we might have. Hey, look, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me look at my little paperwork right here, right? So, so we got. How long we got? How long we got? How, how long is my freedom going to be? Two weeks. All right. We got two weeks. I got two weeks of freedom before I'm going back. Shit. I, try, I, I tried to check my fines and I have half a page. Yeah. You have half a page of fines? What, and they've no, not no, been just, paid? Oh. No, I, I don't even have anything. Oh, just no. money on top. Oh. oh, well, then you're good, man. You, yeah, you're an outstanding yeah, member of society. You know what I'm saying? Very well done to you, man. Uh, I, will, I will take your feedback and I, I will relay it to the Chief Justice so he is aware. Aware of what? Uh, that you don't think that the time is enough per thousand dollars, so we, we can see if we can get that increased. No, no, it was just, Thank um, you for uh, your no, what it is. No, I'll tell you what it was, right? <laughs> I don't have no money, dog. Hey, where you going? Hey, where you going, man? I'm talking to you. How dare you? Hey, 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 hey yo, man, I'm talking to you, homie. Where you going? <laughs> I'm just being a dick. It's, just, it's it's funny, but I'm just being a dick. Bless you, thank you. Okay, I am kind of hungry, so I'm just gonna quickly order. God bless you. I want a milkshake. Wait, it's 9 p.m.? Shit! Is it too late? No, I have half an hour. Okay, good. Uh, what do I get? Gujang chicken or Angus beef? I think I can go chicken. Get a large one of those. Uh, I'm not going to order a bow bun. His milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Can I get milkshake here? No, I can get shake. It's not like a milkshake milkshake. It's more of a smoothie. Chicken, yeah, that's what I said. Well, that's not what I said. Are they going to run around with that attitude? I can see it changing really quickly. Yeah. Um. I mean, they got seven thousand dollars in fines. Let me have a look. Notebook, what? Oh, God. G Wagon? Wait. Oh! Oh, okay. G Wagon came out in 1979. Um. Sasha Lenkov. 
Demetrius Diggs. Charlie New. Look, this is. The post codes. Devontae Jackson, 1,300. It's got to be some sort of sh OIS. I have 14 days left to pay it, so it was some time ago. Oh, shit, oh, you okay? Joe, yeah, Washington? You, yeah, you wanted to speak to me. Sorry, I, I've been running about. I completely forgot. Sorry, My apologies. Uh, no, you're good. I had, we had a bunch of incidents, and then we, uh, we had someone in the cells waiting for another two. Uh, the only question I had is, uh, well, earlier this morning, uh, Bonnie came on duty and promoted me. Uh, she said she was going to talk to somebody. I just want to make sure that's correct. Oh, uh, I have no way. You're a full officer now? Yeah. Oh, uh, I... And when I spoke to Harper, she was a little, uh, not, not suspicious or anything, but, uh, I guess surprised, which I kind of was too when it happened, but I just want to make sure everything, uh, like, I, I'm pretty sure she bought well, me to officer. We were well, uh, uh, solo cadet before. Yeah. Oh, understood. Uh, I will consult with Harper. Uh, I have no knowledge of Hi, that. Murdoch. Okay. Oh, wait, is that is that who I think it is? Is that Tyrone? Yo. You got damn right it is. Uh, you might also want to hit him with impersonation for his ID says he was born in 1999. So, uh he is faking uh, who he is. I would hit him with impersonation. Hey, you got a piece of shit in there? Yeah, I just I just I love you, Casket. What the hell was that? That that uh, I just want to. I just want to make sure that's all. No, you're all good. Uh, look, I I am not gonna overrank another 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 officer. Well, I just I just didn't. I mean, I, I know she told yeah, me not to tell that I got promoted to someone. Um, but like, I'm pretty sure she referred to me as officer. I just wanted to make sure she didn't think I was like just like a cadet before trying to promote me to solo cadet. You know what I mean? I, I think a uh, question do you know how yeah. much you're being paid 30 30 which i think is still a cadet that's officer. level no that's officer that's officer god damn we yeah. all getting the short end of the stick um well yeah i mean harper well bonnie said that uh she was going to um tell someone so when she said uh, i told i talked to harper after and uh about what bonnie said and harper promoted me to officer i, I just want to make sure uh, if Hopper's going you know to I mean? officer, that she outranks me massively. Uh, d d listen to your chief. You're promoted to officer. Okay, but she didn't. Okay. All right. If she didn't know that it had happened or didn't know that, you know, uh, I also a surprise to me. But uh, if you've spoken to the chief, there's nothing that I, I can do about it. Oh, okay. Congratulations on your new rank. Oh, yeah. Congrats. Uh, all thank you. That's awesome. I was just surprised. That's all. Uh, okay, I gotta go get this guy food. All right. Oh, so the statement. Two thirty-two 
Okay. Uh. Copy that. Two thirty showing you ten eight. I think they might need one more seventy seven at the ATM probably by Barbarina Road, Chumash. Roshan Highway. Ten four awesome did success. I think it's just a black stratum. You got mail about thirty minutes late for onboarding. Oh, why is the door locked? Uh I haven't been told about it. If if that is the case. What's the status of the units at the uh, Chumash? Got IRL work. You'll be fine. How are you doing? Oh, uh, sir. Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right, sir. It's uh, it's lovely seeing you right about now, sir. I, I honestly, I didn't expect that I'll, I'll get to accept this letter so soon, sir. Oh, yeah, you're all good. Why is this addressed to me? Yeah, well, I said, why'd you leave them anyway? Why did I work? What? Huh? Oh, the people that were talking to you earlier. Oh, uh, I, I was bored of the, the discussion. Uh, they essentially came Fair in enough. here and told me, or well, they asked, uh, how much the, what happens if they don't pay their fines? I informed them that, uh, you know, you get 40 months for $1,000. And they said, oh, so I'd only serve 280 months for a $7,000 fine. And I said, yes. And they said, oh, hot damn, we're going back, boys. I will enjoy my freedom for two weeks and then I will go back. And I said, okay, great. I will refer, I will give your feedback to the chief justice. And I walked away and they, they weren't too happy about that, but I didn't think any more needed to be said. Dispatch from 220. Uh, send it. Say Tyrese Black shows up at the front office. He was under arrest, but had a head pop. The radio yeah, for me. Do I want ice cream? I do want ice cream. Do I get ice cream? I don't get ice cream. It is a Mexican restaurant all the way there by occupation, but it's not open at all. I thought maybe someone could purchase it, but I guess not. Wait, Academy, where's the, where's my LSPD hiring list? Your NA, what the hell is your character's I name again? I'm gonna go right now, I'm gonna go back to my motel, get some rest. You Maisie Metro? No, Maisie Metro has been hired. You're Laurie, Laurie Hatchet. Simon, it's weird seeing you here now. Well, it's weird now seeing me here. Why is it weird if seeing me here? you want to go out, I'm always here. Because every time I came in here, I was on the opposite side with civilian uniform. And I, well, and if I, you want to go to the opposite side of this door, it makes you feel better. Yeah, and you can strip down into civilian clothing and stand there if you, if you prefer. Possibly buttery Simon, man. Oh, no, god damn it. Is that Miss Muffy? Oh, Miss Muffy and Mr. Greco. Oh, that looks looks like them, yeah. Oh, that is definitely them, yeah. Oh, and Eric. God damn it. Who the hell's Eric? Oh, my old friend. Wait, who's Joel Crawford anyway? I don't want to see Crawford as much. Who? Crawford. Joel, orange, uh, kind of like uh, Ginger. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't really see, I barely see my... I gotta go 10-7. That's something ringing my ear. All right. They told me, and then uh, we, we, Miss Muffy over here, she arranged it, and then Mr. Washington here uh, made it happen. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, hey. good, good, good luck, and I hope you're having fun. I'm scared. I've already been punished 20 times. Do you have? No. Yeah. <laughs> For what? I don't know. They made me run a lot of laps. I was, uh, I was on board <laughs> with another cadet, and, uh, Every time the cadet said something stupid, I got punished for it as oh, well. Oh, you got punished. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> well, hey, at least you're going to have really strong legs. <laughs> well. I guess so, yeah. At least I didn't mention the cockroach situation like I did to Mr. Washington. Oh, I mentioned that to everyone. Don't worry. They all know. <sighs> hey, well, why are you guys oh, here? You guys do Muffy, you, you don't work here no more. Uh, no, I work uh, for the attorney general now. What the hell happened? I was expecting to come in here and see you, but... No, I'm no, I'm working, working for the AG now. Okay. Yup, yup. Decided to, to, to leave this place before I came up. Let's see how it is, Buffy. Um, I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but, you know, sometimes you just need to change the scenery. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Keep an eye on my pal Eric here, okay? He's watching the car. Oh, Eric. Oh, what? Uh, howdy, yeah, I Eric. What's I your definitely name? know Hello. Mr. Eric. 
Eric, okay. what? <laughs> to come bother you. Oh, hey, what, sure, what was your you last name, you... sir? Bell. Uh, it's gonna be Eric Bell. Last name is Bell. Bell. Huh. Pleasure to meet you there, Mr. Bell. Mr. Sure. Bell, do you have any drugs, guns, or alcohol uh, before you enter this establishment? If you do, I'd ask you to leave it in your car and lock it up, please. I mean, I, I have uh, pepper sprays. I can... There's a ladies. hostage robbery situation going on in the gas station just down the street. Oh, oh god damn. I, um, I presume the gas station, was it? McDonald's? If you turn left on this road and go straight down the one that's on the corner they just had me hostage and traded me in for another one. Oh lord all right they're driving around in a green sedan with the windows all busted out green sedan windows busted all right green sedan windows all busted hostage situation i don't get time to re i was gonna go 42 i was considering on 42 and going on sit Dispatch, we've just had a report. There we go. Of a store robbery. Uh, there's a hostage involved. Reports says there's going to be a green incoming. 20476. 20476. Talking with the one at Grove Street or what? Yeah, that'll yeah, probably exactly. be it. 0923. They're leaving now. It's going to be uh, three suspects all blacked out and black. Be entering an active 80 here, my cadets gonna take off. 211 seconds. Right, we're gonna be heading southeast, Bounty. We're saving you right about now. I don't see the hostage. Oh, there's the uh, hostage here. Hi. Ah, hey, out there. Is there anybody else hey, in here? How you doing? It's alright. Just keep your hands up. Is there anybody else in here? No, you're alright. Are right. you robbing me too? No, I'm not robbing you. I'm just making sure you don't pull a gun on me or anything. It's alright. I'm the police. I'm not gonna rob you. Is there anybody else inside? Alright. There's no one else inside. Okay. No, 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 yeah, yeah. no, we're not gonna she, shoot you. Yeah, yeah. Not, we're not gonna shoot you. Hey, guns away. She, he's saying okay, yes, guns she's are saying away. No. We're not putting. We're not oh, gonna okay. shoot you. Okay, you can put your hands yeah. down. All right. Did they? Did, oh. did they put anything on you? Put anything? No, I think they. I think they were failures of the most uh, egregious variety. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly pat you down, make sure they didn't oh. give you anything, right? Okay. Well, I got no shirt on. Do you have to? Oh, oh, you're, yeah. You're I'm very gonna brisk. have to pat you down. Very All right. brisk, please. Oh, All okay. Right. Okay, All here right. we go. The very strong hands. All right, all right. Okay, I just see. Did they take anything from you? What's your name? My name's Cork. Cork Cobb. Cork Cobb. No, 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 no. Cork Cobb. You know, Cork sounds like Cork. Sounds like uh, rhymes with Cork. Do you have an ID bottle? on you? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's exactly it. Listen, I'm a little, I'm a little bit, uh, uh, I'm a little bit. Uh, uh, okay, okay. How, I'll, how I'll, would I call. go about handing you my identification? Oh, uh, I uh, keep yeah. it here in my waistband. Okay, you keep it here on your yeah. waistband. It's, let's have a look. Maybe just see, you want to just hand it to me like this? What? Okay. Oh, okay. I see it. Yeah, there oh, we all go. Right. All right, Cork. What, what, what happened? Well, you see, well, here's here's this whole story. I was down under the bridge. Okay. There was there was old Joe, and there was me, and there was Sammy Lee, and old Joe he got a bottle and he bat smashed it over Sammy Lee's head. Okay. And I and he wasn't waking up. He was not waking up. It was bad. It was blood everywhere and everything. And and I just I just decided I gotta get out of New York. So I left. You know, I I hid in a in a in a suitcase, actually. That's how I got here. I just got off the plane, technically speaking. How did you end up being a hostage? Cork. Oh, that's what oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, I walked in here to buy myself a pack of cigarettes. All right, all right. And and then they walked in with another woman who they had over their shoulder. There were, I think, three, maybe 10 of them. I couldn't see. I was kind of seeing things at the time. Still, I am a little, a little too many mushrooms. And then 
they they put her on the ground and then all of a sudden they were like you can go and then they said don't go and then they said we'll shoot you in the foot and then they said we'll shoot you in the hand and then i said please don't do that oh wait i said that a couple of times and then they didn't shoot me and then the woman said hey you got a different guy can i go now and they were like yeah and she was like can i have my gun back and they were like no and i was like can i go now and they were like no and i was really confused i was kind of scared too All right, could you describe any of the individuals? They were wearing black with like masks over their faces and sunglasses. How were they male or female? It was one female, I think. I could not tell. And then there were maybe three men. One of them asked me if I was from Ireland. Are you from Where's Ireland? Where's Ireland? Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. I am an American. That's right. I was I was either born here or Canada. So I'm American. Uh, yeah, North sure. American, yep. yeah. Yeah, okay, North American, right. No, I'm mo I'm kind of I'm, you know, I lived in Tennessee for a while, so I wouldn't really call that North American. I'd say that's mostly just American American. Oh, uh, I presume okay. I only speak American, too. Oh, thank you. No, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, they got away, I'm afraid. I did manage to get a uh, look at the plate as it was going off. It comes back to a DeAndre Washington. I'm going to put a bolo out for the uh, the Stratton. Oh, were any of them wearing purple? Uh, negative. Fully blacked out. Oh, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> all right. We are, uh, cock, we'll, we'll try and catch these individuals. Do you but... think I could perhaps get a, uh, a ride to anywhere else i don't have a car yeah, and jump in. yeah i'll give you a ride sometime. oh you give him a ride okay yeah it's over. yeah come on what? yeah i also need to speak to the chief justice yeah you can buy all of them there's we got one vehicle on scene here a an alarm going off on the inside i'm gonna be off my bike 10 for one and a half like that yeah, I need to speak to the Chief Justice because I believe that DeAndre Washington, as well as a number number of other members of the ballers, just came in. Uh, they walked in. They asked me about the law when it came to you know, uh, time in jail for not paying fines, and then they said allegedly I have seven thousand dollars in fines and two weeks to pay it. What happens if I don't mm -hmm. pay it? I said, well, you'd go to jail for two hundred eighty months, and he said, oh hell yeah. I'm going back, boys. Uh, huh. I informed yeah, I him he would also get a $500 fine and another six months for the, uh, the what's it called? Uh, obstruction of justice the, no, uh, contempt, contempt of court, court. contempt yeah. of court uh, and he, he was like so how much would that be and I was like $500 fine and a total of um what's it called 330 yeah. months in jail and he said yeah I'm, I'm going back yeah it's uh And, um, I believe you have to be, I don't know if this is correct. You have to be actively serving your sentence. Yeah, you, you don't. Yeah. You don't just get to, you know. Yes, yes, I, I know. Sleep it off. It, yes. I have heard, though, that if you have relatives, that's, that kind of helps. That's, Sorry, 10-9. Uh, Oh, I was talking about the ATM robbery at Grove Street. I have a statement from a person. Uh, no, I, I, I'm, I've just spoken to the hostage. It was not an ATM, it was a stall robbery. Uh, I'm, I'll write a report now. Is it the statement from okay. the, uh, the witness that saw them being taken? Yeah, he's from... Two and a half to dispatch. Oh, no. It's from someone else. 
so I wasn't gonna get No, it's the same one. It's the same one. It's the same. It's the same incident. I'm saying. I'm saying it's a different person that got kidnapped. The question was, is it the same incident? It is the same incident. Yes. Whatever. Two eleven dispatch. All right, two eleven send it. Uh, can I have a uh, cruiser unit up to Sonora Freeway? We've got 195 in custody, uh, two MODO units. 204, I'll be sending a CFT. Okay. Doing it to three out of service. Have a nice one, guys. Take it easy. Run out of the uh, Tantum for like Mike's one of that, I had to demote Shepard to solo earlier. Why? Uh, were you there when we were all in the range, firing off the M16s and stuff and practicing with those? Uh, n no. Oh, he did. Oh, oh, the kind of. Uh, he, 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 he used that as an opportunity to crawl in front of everybody. Uh, whilst oh. they were using the range so that he could collect the pen. To which I told everybody to hold fire, started shouting, and I said, what the dumb fuck are you doing? Uh, I have half a mind to demote you to solo cadet, and he said, uh, all right, uh, do it, I don't care. So I spoke to Captain Wait, Nolan. Wait, he, he what? Yeah, he said, do it, I, I don't care. I missed that part. Yeah, I said it to him afterwards, uh, so I spoke to Nolan, uh, and he's been demoted to solo cadet. Yeah, I was wondering that today. Uh, I was a little frustrated, but Norway got on shift and... Uh... Oh Hello. my god, that is this one swanky looking guy. Uh, yeah, this guy this guy is adamant that he cannot hear what I'm trying to tell him. So, when you get him down to the cells, you might have to, uh, you know, try to fix that salute problem. Mm -hmm. but we'll be able to deal with it. I still cannot hear anything. All right. I Mirandize oh, no. him, he claims he can't hear I'm me, but he's still pleading innocent as I don't believe I've done anything wrong. I think you guys are just okay. crazy, you know? Alright. Okay. Alright. Was this his car? Uh, we believe so, yes. Alright. Uh, we'll okay. get him to the sales, we'll see you there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys pretty please take 76. me through a cell, I still can't hear anything. Uh, we'll I need to take a little nappy 195, David. Mm -hmm. I'm retired. Mm -hmm. I'm working as an ATM repairman, you know? Lord. Um. Yeah, so I had a problem with Noriel earlier. The Shepard was trying to. It was also look at that on a chase. And, um. Two plus two and he was, and uh. Going. The they were asking for permission to pet. Custody, uh, yeah. And, and now yeah. I believe in Shepard because even though you demoted him I believe that he knows when to be pending right yeah uh, uh Norway was senior officer uh and they were asking for highest on duty for permission to pet even though he was not on chase and I said you know if he if they have been on this chase for how long they're asking for permission to pet Norway this is they're asking you and Norway kept saying if whoever's primary on chase should be they should know when to pet I yeah. said I know this but they're asking you, uh, and the comms are getting messy. Oh, I fixed and... myself. I can hear you people now. Oh, well, how, how to? Hi. I unplugged my ears. I guess there's a lot of water in my ears or something. Hello. Oh, all right. Well, how oh, you have oh. the right to remain silent. Oh, okay. Yeah, the right to remain silent. The door say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney present jury questioning. If you can't afford one, one will be pointed to you if one is so available by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights is operate them to you. Yes, now it's a lot of okay. words, but I think I do. Uh, essentially, uh, you can shut up if you want to shut up. If you don't want to shut up, but you don't know what to say, you can get a lawyer. Uh, if one is available, we'll get you one. If there's not one available, we'll... Cheer. <laughs> Who do you think is smarter, the lawyer or me? Uh, I don't know. I don't know you. I don't even know what your name is. What is your name? Uh, it's 
Will, I think. That's Will. a weird okay, name. Did, did you think Will, the name is Will? Uh, from that answer, okay, I'm, I'm going to say the go, lawyer. I'm going to go with the lawyer. <laughs> yeah, you don't know your name. The lawyer might yep, be smarter there. Yeah, I'm going there. with the lawyer. <laughs> well, people call me Will, but I'm, I think my birth name is William, or it's Will. I okay, the fact that you Still keep going saying with Will... The, Look, yep, it's similar. Going with the lawyer. Ah, shit. Uh, my, my, my head is... I got tinnitus. You're able to take over. Yep. See, like, his name might be John, or it might be John well, Edson, definitely. you know? You have, he's a very nice hat. He does have a very nice hat. What is it like? That messes up my hair. Oh. Well, I think the hats do look nice. Anyway. Well, yep, that one's nice too. Oh, I don't know if it's nice anymore, but it's still nice. It, it was nice. Uh, I can't explain what just happened there. I mean, I can't either. Oh, it's... look at that. Yeah. That was cool. Nice. Up. Yep, you're coming on too. Okay. Uh. Well. Are you gonna pull me out? Is she gonna pull me out? N no. Uh. Fuck. What's happening? You don't look so good, man. Okay, we're gonna do something different. Because his ear is right. Wait, what happens if I... Okay, you're good. <laughs> I... Hey. Out of... I just leapt into your arms. Yeah, but... Gosh, <laughs> I'm real strong. Now I'm gonna... You, know, you can follow yeah, me. So. Very strong. Yep. Another person while you're doing it. That's a multitasking thing right there. Yep. You still just want to get out right that tired. You didn't get much sleep last night. Guys get like yeah, some sleep in here, something like that. I don't know. It's yeah, you, you really didn't get that much sleep, huh, Washington? <laughs> You're, I, so, I, tired. I, You're I, so tired. I, I You're so tired. You're so tired. You're so tired, Washington. Help. You got two hours of sleep. Uh, two oh nine. Can we get some more of down to the taxi place? Sleepy and, and lively. It's the exact same time. It's like a paradox. He should be studied. Jacket on the roof, firing shots at the taxi drivers. Oh, there. Can you drop me? Yeah. Uh, Put your arms up and down, Washington. Am I going now? Uh, I don't think I'm too. Wait, 211, you're not taking this 95. I got him. Okay. Uh, uh, no, 272's got it. Yeah, 272's got it. Never mind. Uh, okay, I'll be 76. No, Can he has now, been sure? read his rights and he can't hear yes. now. Yes. Okay, well. Where are we going now? We're going into process. Oh, uh, okay. I can't because somebody's covered the spot. Wait, there's a bit seven. What is this? Huh? What is this? What is what? Okay, I'm impounded. Oh, yeah, something, a 
weird, a weird bubble happened. Uh, just rolling up on the, uh, earlier. Going away from your 77s. There is also an invisible bush in valet. What? There's an invisible bush in valet. What is it's just ethereal foliage? Yeah. That's what I say, an invisible bush. 220th all PD. Sound it. Uh, join me in uh, congratulating 283 Joe Ferrero on his promotion to officer from uh, Solo Cadet. Congrats. Hey. Congratulations, hey, congratulations. Joe. Uh, we've, we've, congratulations. We've currently got one suspect uh, on the roof of the taxi rank with binoculars, Temple. red hair, black shirt, white t shirt. Hey, fam. Just around the corner. You need additional. Uh, I'll be the third or fourth unit should attach. This is potentially someone shooting at people. I think no, no, that was such a speed run. Oh, Joe. Uh, yep. Yeah, he was promoted uh, this morning by Barney and nobody knows why. The taxi roof. Uh, the yeah, chief was uh, surprised the as well. The one with the, uh, the lower one with the numbers. Uh, no. Yes, yeah, from going on hold to officer. Yeah. He just dropped um, down the back. And when he, he approached me and he was like this is sudden i don't know why i don't know why this is happening where exactly uh he was on the roof the lower roof now he's jumped off down the back all right Uh, 209, I've got the suspect over here. It's going to be Billy Banter. Uh, I'm going to be stepping out to question him. Yeah. Who was that? It was George. Yeah, I think I'm going for uh, Washington, this might be a bit more of a two-sided situation. You mind just getting a statement from those guys over there? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. He woke up and immediately got taken fucking hostage today, so I'm I'm getting really goddamn irritated. Hi. Right. Around the back. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Uh, which ones of you would? I think I just saw you walk in here. Were you all here for this incident? I just walked into here. Yeah, yeah. I okay. just woke up here. All right, the brown jacket. You been here? No, I just pulled in. I'll, I'll just quickly get statements from you guys anyway, just just in case you did see anything. All right, uh, Brown Jack, you come with me quickly. All right, I'll make sure you're just uh, speaking to me directly. Uh, will you hit? Okay, can you just? What is your name? Tommy. Tommy. Tommy Kalino. Kalino, okay. Could you describe yeah. to me the events that just occurred here? To be honest with you, I have no idea. Other than what that other guy said, that somebody slashed his tires, uh, I don't know. Did you hear any shots at any time? No. And how long have you been here? Like maybe uh, about five minutes now. All right, and what's your postal code? VB301. All right, anything else you'd like to add? No. Oh, all right. Okay, then you're all free to go. Well, let me speak to the other individual. All right, ma'am. I know you've just had to give uh, a statement no, of the right PD right for the, the previous you thing. You mind uh mind giving me a quick statement about what happened here if you Hold know. Hold on, anything. I can I can barely hear you. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm whispering. Uh all right. Uh, I know you just had to give a statement down to the PD because you were just taken hostage. Uh, and I do apologize for that. Um uh, you mind giving me I your mean, name? It's not your fault. My name's Aaron Love. Alright, then your postal? Uh KY as in killer Yoda. Yeah. 789 all right and can you describe to me what just occurred in here um i walked in here i asked one of my drivers if they if the if this bus behind us was parked in front of the 
the parking lot because Wolfpack for some reason has something against us. Um, he said, yeah, or I don't know. We started talking about it a little bit, and then he said there's a couple of guys in the hearse across the street who've been, like, eyeballing this place for some reason. And then I go over there to take a look, see the cops pull up, and then I see one of my employees jump off the roof saying that those guys in the hearse were slashing his tires. And I said, well, there's a cop over there. Let's go talk to him. And then you guys pulled up. Never at any point you heard any shots. No. All right. And how long have you been here? Um. Before you guys showed up, maybe two minutes, maybe three. Less than five minutes. But I mean, Billy's one of my drivers. I'm the CEO of this company, by the way. Billy's one of my drivers. Um. As far as I know, he's got a good head on his shoulders. I don't know. I don't see why he would lie about them slashing his tires. And I don't know. I mean, I don't see him sitting on top of the roof shooting at people. So I don't know. It just seems very unlike him. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? No. All right, we are. Yeah, uh, y'all you... free to go then. Uh, I appreciate it. Else. No, do you know if those guys that took me hostage were ever caught? Uh, they were not, but we have suspects. Mm. All right. Pretty firm suspects as well. All right. Damn. Yeah, I gave a statement. I just. Yeah. Because they took my gun. I'm also upset that I was not able to join the chase. I had to go tend to the other hostage. It's okay. Uh, what the fuck? Why is he being arrested? That I do not know. I will find out. Alright. What the hell is... I did it and I enjoyed doing it. And I'll do it again. What the hell is happening? Come on. I'm, so, I'm surprised he caught me. Thought I'd get away with it. What the fuck? Okay, we got, we got one new hire back to PD. Oh God! What all right, fuck? he's been there. He's been to have an interview. Uh, well, onboarding, right? Yep. Okay, so he's um, not. He's not actually under arrest. He's, he's not actually. Okay, under he's arrest, just taking no. the piss. All right. Yes, I'm taking. He's taking the piss. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. I mean to do it, dear. Hours, fucking, on fucking jumped up charges truck. He didn't get the letter. His PO is wrong. God damn it. Did you say you hate to do it to me? I hate to, you know, uh. <laughs> make it act like I'm, uh, getting arrested. Motherfucker, I'm already having a really bad fucking day. I asked, I asked. But you should be happy. Is it a relief? It's, it's, he's not getting arrested? Yeah, I'm relieved, but I'm still having a really bad fucking day. Yeah, like today yeah. is not the day to mess with me. Okay, but it wasn't like it was like a. Me apologies, you know, Amy, apologies. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it was only a light hearted joke. Yeah, did you bad. want a cola? Uh, no, I'm fine. Yeah. I can't open the smoothie because if, if I squeeze it. Why? So, did that go to you? What? What, what do you mean? Yeah, what? it did. Sorry. Okay. What do you mean it's Billy? PD. What, why are the cops here, Aaron? Because apparently oh, there was him, reports uh, of someone firing shots uh, off our roof. We have two people in the lobby who uh, were just arrested before by, um, and Come here. We have uh, two people 20. in the lobby. Coming up. Yeah. Thank you. Also, um, Oof. they're punching each other and, um, saying it's 1980s, so they can, uh, sexually harass people they want. Uh, a lovely punch. Oh. People from before, from the helicopter. Are they at pillbox? 
Yeah, they're running out now. Uh, ten four. Yes, and hopefully you like me because I uh, might be getting sacked from yeah, this. they're wearing the same clothes as before. Well, I mean, you got you got tired. Oh. Eight three seventy six. Fantastic. Yeah, Cheers, uh, two or four. Appreciate I'll come it. assist with that. Uh, I might need to send you off there, Poppy. Were you listening to the radio? Yes, I was. Nah, in which case, I'll get somebody else to give me a lift. I don't want you to... Mm-hmm. Uh, two of four, it's uh, Tyrone and Tyree Black are the brothers. You're probably pretty aware of them. The guy's born in 1999. Oh, God Correct. damn it. Tyrone Tyree is Black. One's born in 99. A black muscle car speeding that cell down by a strawberry. I'm gonna go check with them. A3's out of the car. 20's out of the car. Where'd I they go? do not see him in the lobby. Was it an ingot? The black muscle car? Or black muscle car last seen uh, southbound by Strawberry Clothing Store. Two male occupants, both uh, white males. Uh, it sounds like them. <coughs> Ten four, it's gonna be <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Safety person on that. Yeah, yeah. Dispatch 272, I'm going to be off radio. Just finish up some paperwork down here on 95. And four. Yeah, I haven't even seen this new place. 20, step off radio for a start. Okay. Yeah, this is a smoothie. Uh, they're gonna be inside Davis PD. Huh? They're inside Davis? Yeah. Oh. Uh. You're right now. Shut up, I'm in a stolen vehicle. Stolen vehicle as well. Stolen vehicle. Stolen right, vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Right. Out of the vehicle. Stolen vehicle. Fuck nope. Me, nope. Cobb, it's good to see you. Uh, huh? They spat on the lawyers there. Uh, oh, they're nice. They're going about yeah. 200 miles an hour. I'll go grab a vehicle. All right. I need to watch my sounds for that eight. Yeah, ten eighty. Gonna be inside of a uh, like a construction yard and oil derricks over here. Alright, they want a gun, point a gun at me. Shoot him. We need 78s. Yeah, 78s open fire. 20. 78 to Dutch London Street. More on the south side. They both get back into the car now. Back to Dutch London. Alright, it's gonna be a red muscle car, Sabre Turbo, northbound, Dutch London Street, eastbound now, towards the docks. So fast, I can't even keep up with him. He just vanished in thin air. Uh, blast all directions. Snow position was in El Rancho, and now they are gone. Like, as in. In thin air, been looking for a red muscle car, last thing going eastbound El Rancho. Well, they back to the future, dip. They back to the future, dip. Yep. I, I see him, I see him, I see him. Northbound Orchardville. Yeah, what's the problem? Out of the car right now! Out of the car, hands up! Out of the car with your hands in the air right now! Two. Oh, out! Ah, yeah, no. Alright, they're going westbound, westbound, sure. westbound. They're going southbound on, uh, popular. TV left on southbound popular. Ah, 
Uh, did they back to the future again or you just lost them? Um, I thought I saw a car that disappeared, but... Amos PD. I send yeah. you. Those guys who were in the hospital um, assaulted someone and now that person is in critical condition. Hey, uh, we're, we're currently dealing with them already. They, they have pointed weapons at officers and spat on lawyers. Uh, we, we'll do our best. Uh, if you could get a statement in, uh, I yeah, do apologize. Yeah, he's not conscious right now. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, all good. Okay, go and get ready. I'm looking around the dark area. Yeah, 10-4. This is the 78, so don't give up. Uh, I'll be code 6 around Signal Street and going westbound. Uh, if you see them, uh, they have pointed guns at officers. I did try to shoot out tires, but don't open fire on them specifically unless they're pointing weapons at you again. Two twenty is back on radio. Been looking for reference to call the seven eight situations. I'm provided two times with the same people wearing black and brown jacket. They pointed a gun at an officer. Where at? Uh, uh, they, yeah, they point a gun down here by, uh, the docks. Or VCB. They are going, yeah, they're going extremely fast and, uh, doing Back to the Future stuff. I am, uh, 76 area. What's the last, what was the last, uh, what's the car they were in? Uh, it's in, uh, it looks like a Sabre GT. Kind of a turbo version. Hmm. I started with southbound El Rancho. So popular. I'll try to keep it up. Any vehicles are stolen along the area, but nothing's going so fast. I don't know if you guys will catch up. Alright, I'll be on the corner of uh, Buccaneer Way and Chum Street uh, observing. Uh <sighs> yeah, near La Puerta and Innocent. I'm looking around in Buccaneer. Right. Uh, I caught up with a ticket. Oh, uh, yeah, two oh four seventy six. I'll start bumping your way all the way at the top. Yeah, it's more than likely them. Twenty seventy-six. Good on, good on me. Seventy-eight, Alright, get, get back out of there as soon as you got back up. We'll, we'll shoot them. Is it the same individuals? Yes, an unconscious person there in a tan gray two-door sports vehicle, hot wiring. Uh, they're going out to the area now. Active AT. Uh, oh, they're super fast going west Buccaneer Way. Gray, if you can get the end of Buccaneer Way, get out there and open fire on them. That far. Let's this guy the vehicle there. again? I'm going to that I spotted they're yeah. heading, uh, heading northbound, Popular Street. I mean, 130 miles per hour. They're fucking gone. I, I didn't see him. Okay, Papa. Yeah. I was here like 10 seconds before you guys didn't even see him. The last spotted heading northbound on Popular. They have an unconscious person who was carrying him on his shoulder. Do they shoot each other? Possible. Uh, dispatch, you get to EMS and inform them that they might have a, those two individuals coming back. 
uh, with an unconscious individual. Dude, I, I need a pickup. Okay, location. Sorry. I see you. I, I'm coming. Dispatch, we're going to be code for the uh, taxi rank situation. Going to be back uh, tonight. 10-4, uh, 2-11. Respond to the Buccaneer situation. There's a 47 by the 71 earlier. Yeah, line. yeah. That was that was them. They, they sound like they either shot each other or shot a third person. They have now picked them up and they might be returning to pillbox. You need to inform, uh, inform pillbox of that. 211 is not too far away from the pillbox, I'll uh, roll and wait. 10 4. It's the two individuals from before Tyrone and Tyreek Black. Oh, there's CMS going now. Uh, Tyrone and Tyreek Black, uh, they're just running around causing all kinds of problems. 10 4, I'll uh, 76 pillbox. They pointed a gun at me, counted down, told me to back away. Ah, uh, Brit. Yes, what? Please go on channel one if there's uh, an individual down next to 71 to so make sure we can come in with you or at least Just clear it with I go us. Box, we got a description of the also, two uh, the yeah, it's Tyreek and Tyrone Black. Uh, one has a brown leather jacket. The other one is wearing mostly all black. Uh, both one born in sunglasses. Oh uh, yeah, sunglasses. Uh, yeah, they, they've, they've, it, they've, they've shot each other and, and they've Ten stolen four, two, and they're going to be coming to pillboxes. The right two nine, individuals you don't want to interact with. Oh, um. So there's no one down okay. there. All right, uh, so do we go to pillbox then? Uh, you're free to go 10-8. Yeah, they're not down there. There's nothing you can do. All right, that's absolutely fine. Thank you. All right. Yeah, some locals, the cars are fucking ridiculous. Um, very rarely they come around. Your general ruling is if they are absurd and ridiculous, uh, you just write a ticket and be like, oh, yeah. Um, 220 plus 230, 76 in Sandy, we're going to just go to this area. I'll just report it and then go burn it or something, get rid of it. Hey, she wasn't joking about the bush. Holy shit. Oh, that's why I can't open a ticket. I already have one open. God damn it. If you want to uh, scout that closing store as well, they Probably going to be changing clothes as well. Uh, if you're on high alert, I wouldn't run into a store alone. Uh, Dispatch, this 211 uh, pillbox is clear of those individuals. Uh, 23, I'm not entirely sure if those two individuals are smart enough to change their clothes. Ten four. Have an individual on the roof of uh, pill, uh PD one woman in off radio. You said there's one on top of the roof of Davis PD. Hey, from. Can we get more units to come back from Davis PD? That's okay. Before, Wearing uh, a white shirt. There. Might have been a female. Two and nine. I'm a uh, random profile. Two eleven seventy six. Uh, individual with the white shirt just went into the back of Mission Row and towards the impound bound. Didn't see anybody up there. So. So. I feel like every so, time when I talk to Winston, it's the worst day of his life so far. Yes. Alright. Hands behind your back. For what? I saw you on the roof of uh, MRPD. I oh, saw Davis PD. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. And yeah, I got 195. 
Yeah, the right to remain silent. I don't think your dossier can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney present during questioning. If you can't afford one, one will be afforded to you if one is so available by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights as I've read them to you? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna be searching you at this time. What's your name? This 211 uh, looks all clear outside Davis PD down the compound in the back alleys. Ah, can't be that. How many... And how many notebook pages, Lord? They all empty. <clears throat> it's Romeo, isn't it? Oh, is it? Oh, and this is just a mixtape. All right. All right. Uh, can you be advised? Is that Let's security you in the city hall? Just call me. They said Tyrone Biggs is winning the property of City Hall. He has the Tyrone. warrant. Yeah, he has a very large warrant. Thank you so much for uh, giving us. Uh, Thank you, thank you so well. 20 plus 230 stepping out at the hospital up in Sandy for about two minutes. Well, it's just any, we need some units at City Hall to find Tyrone Biggums. Uh, 211's on his way. Yeah, 283's same traffic. Like, uh, check to see if he's got any friends outside. Uh... Oh. You alright, Dale? going on ah oh, there we go right, i'm gonna check your wallet here for uh for an id Uh, I'm also going to have a look at these little, uh, your hands here and check the spray paint. You're going to do what? Check it to see if you got any spray paint residue on, on your fingers. 211 is nearly there. 220 back on radio. Plus one, 76 at the pillbox. Just, uh, Come on, buddy. Stops by. All right, two or three. Let me get a 77s down here. Yeah. 10 9, you need 77s. Yeah, City Hall. Got Tyrone Biggums here, and that looks like there's a bunch of his friends now. 10 4 on the 76. Oh. How many are there? Do you need, how many units do you need? Uh, I'd say three or four. I don't know how dangerous they are. Actually, this yeah, is Yeah, if we just have one additional, it looks like he's running out. Yeah. <clears throat> 220 plus one is, uh, is currently 76 on mic out. I'm gonna write up a warrant for uh, Tyrone and Tyrese Black after this. There we go. He probably just didn't see. All right. Now I'll come to the bars if you can, and I'll uh, I'll loosen these cuffs for you. Oh, there you go. There we go. Try it again. Oh! Oh, Lord! Well, that was unexpected. Oh, what are you doing here? Latest yeah, I can't watch it. Just at the 
yeah. ammunition. Mm -hmm. That's fine. There we go. Two eight three two eleven. We're still the vehicle going inside city. It's uh, possibly just him. So if I was over, you could have a seventy seven as well. There we go. That was a all kinds of a kerfuffle. All right, well, uh, you requesting a lawyer there? Three two eleven will be up right here. All right, what am I being charged with? Uh it'd be vandalism and also uh, trespassing on government property. Trespassing on government property? What is yeah. that? Like a five thousand dollar fine? That it is. Yes. <laughs> How many months in jail is that? 50. Uh, vandalism and trespassing government property. Total of $5,250 fine. 10 days to pay said fine and 50 months in jail. Actually, I need to check if you are a violent felon. I, I don't believe you are, no, but I'm not. I didn't think so, but I, I'll check anyway. Uh, in which case, you'd be able to get your 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 firearm back. Well, I want everything back. I want my knife back. I want my firearm back. Uh. Graffiti, intention road with GTA. I want my spray cans back. Oh, that you're definitely not getting back. I'm not getting my spray cans back. Those aren't nope. illegal. Oh, well, they've been used in a crime. I used one. Well, I'm taking all of them. What's the date? 06, 22, 85. Oh, you also have unpaid fines. Oh. I reread the legislation. Uh, let me see. Public library. Oh no, just copy DOJ. One count per overdue. Do was 19. Okay, so. So it would be two counts. Two thirty was off radio for a second. What's the situation? Ah. Uh, uh, Delta 20, you're going to be 10 7 for a few mic. Okay, you also have two fines that you have not paid, which are over one thousand uh, dollars. So your fines will become five thousand two hundred and fifty-two dollars, and your total month in jail will be a hundred and thirty months. Oh, uh, Mr. Fairfield, a uh, fair child, even sorry. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? I was whispering. Uh, and you also have two fines, which are over one thousand uh, dollars, which have not been paid. So those. Yeah, I, I got a one thousand dollar ticket, and then Bishop pulled me over, and then it doubled it because that first one was overdue. And then the next day, you guys stopped doing that. You stopped doubling the fines. So that's where that second one thousand dollar. That's the same exact one as the first one comes from. Oh, well, if that was was what it was at the time, that still means it's legal. 
Yeah. However, uh, since neither of them have been paid, you'd get two counts of failure to pay overdue fine, which will mean your total time in jail will be risen to 130 months. <laughs> okay, dude. All right, uh, how do you plead to your charges? What's your name? Uh, Joe Rosner, Sergeant Washington. Badge number 204. Yeah. It, is, is that a guilty plea or? Uh, I'm thinking. All right. So if I get a lawyer, what a lawyer comes down and what? Uh, he will try and argue the charges or she will try and argue the charges. Uh, see if there is any way that you can get off these charges, uh, which I can assure you probably would be difficult on um, due to the fact that you essentially caught red handed. Um, you have yeah, a I don't really care. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I don't really care about the graffiti stuff, but putting me up for those extra <laughs> that extra time over the unpaid fines when I'm in the process of trying to pay these fines off when I, you know I got these fines in a bogus way in the first place like yeah the first thousand dollars was my fault the second one is just I was literally days away from paying it and then Bishop decided to double it and then I tried to come back the next day and get my gun and knife. And then he told me to leave and then maced me and then put me in jail. And that's where that $600 and 50 whatever dollar fine comes from. So, yeah, I'm in the process of paying him. But these, like, charges in the first place are bullshit. I'm not going to cry and complain about it. I'll pay him. But it's like I need time to pay him. You know, it's not like a $300 fine. This is like $1,600 he gave me within 20 24 hours you know what i mean it's not like you know i don't sell meth you know so it's not like i can just like flip that in a night you know i need time to pay these fines off so um right so i'm looking at this the your first count the one thousand and fifty dollars has nothing right. to do with Ace Bishop. Ace Bishop was right. not involved nothing in any with right. Yeah, you know. that one has nothing to do with anything, and that's the one that I admit I told you uh, that yeah. one. So there's a guilty plea on that. Yeah, and then the yeah. next one is from nearly a yeah. month later. It yeah. is and to do with Bishop. Yep, yeah. um, I'm doubling it. Doubled my fine, right? I I don't see a doubling in fine. Oh, well, where'd that one thousand dollars come from? Uh, I see Grand Theft Auto possession of controlled dangerous uh, controlled substance, the first degree, sale of a controlled substance, and negligent driving. Or, uh, uh, you pled guilty to all charges, and you have misdemeanor failure to pay a fine on that one. Now, if I remember correctly, the previous failure to pay a fine was not an extra incursion on fines; it was just uh an increase in, in time um then the third one the 650 dollars that's not coming into this at all i'm not including that you're not getting extra charges because of that non-paid okay. fine that is okay. still going to stay on your record that still needs to be paid but uh, i'm not yeah. including it in this uh so it's just the two fines that you currently have from the 12th okay. of last month and the first of this month which uh currently over a thousand each well once us bang on a thousand the other one's 1050 those are the two you're getting charged for they will both then be exempt and you will not be charged for them further okay so they're off my record i don't even yep. have to pay them don't even have to pay them oh wow that's how you guys are doing it now okay so do i get any can you work with me on any time off uh i could do a little time off sure 30%. yes 30% is a lot. Oh, is that a lot? Okay, what's what's some? I'll do... I, 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 you know, I'll do 20%, which is 104, but I'll just call it an even one, uh, 100 months uh, for a guilty plea. Oh, man, dude, that's 
so long. Okay. It's, it's still 30 months off in total. Yeah. A and you're then saving yourself $2,000. How am I saving myself two thousand dollars? Uh because the two two fines that are a thousand dollars each are no longer paying. Right. And I have a new one of a five thousand dollars, right? <laughs> uh that's for this charge, yes. Yeah. Okay, dude. I Can you uh, make sure to put in the report that I have a firearm on me so I don't have any problems getting that back when I come back? Oh, yeah, no, I'll tell the dispatcher. The dispatcher should either contact me specifically or they'll already have it on their person to be able to hand it over. Okay, I've heard that before, though, and it took uh, a day to get it. I imagine uh, I will still it's, be it was around. Bishop. It was Bishop. It was just Bishop just being Bishop. I, I should be around for the next Here's couple of email, hours. Uh, update on the Black uh, Brothers, correct? If I do go to sleep, then uh, I will make sure somebody has it. Uh, if you don't, if you still can't get it, uh, we can at least reimburse you. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Chief Harper owes me a favor, so I'm sure she'll get it, if anything. All right, no. Uh, is there anything you would like to add, but, uh, or are you pleading guilty? At 2.30, I'm going to check out lower pillbox. Um, where is Chief Harper? Is she here? <laughs> uh, I believe she is in uh, stuck in a meeting currently. She is uh, hella busy. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could pull my favor and get some more time off, but it's fine. 100 months, it's fine, I guess. Let's uh, I I'm guilty, I guess. And I do thank you. I will uh, admit this. All right. Uh, two oh four nine. Um. And then his number is four six and he's got a hundred months. Oh, that's actually easy. The last person I sent up had a hundred months as well. All right, anything you would like to say before I send you up there, Skylar? Nope. All right. Uh, well, I hope you rehabilitate and please stop spray painting the whole goddamn city. <laughs> okay. Huh. Can't help you there, bud. Oh, I'm the biggest well. graffiti artist. I'm the biggest graffiti artist in Los Santos. That's what I do, man. Well, I mean, you're physically impressive, yeah, but that doesn't mean that you, you get to spray paint everywhere. I know, I know. All right. I'll, uh, I'll send you up. Please rehabilitate, right. and uh, if not, at least seek forgiveness from the Lord. Okay. God bless. Uh. White shirts, individual, and into the back of uh, the PD at impound. Uh, Asna ran inside and saw the same suspect place them in cuffs. When that person was six uh, cans of spray paint and a uh, photo of themselves on Davis PD throwing throwing up a gang tag a gang uh, sign next to the tag from you uh, go on uh, two or three, it's going to be a uh, issue 
with the DA's office. Uh, they're going to be down to PD to notify uh, command about it. Fair child, uh... The short answer is uh, no, he wasn't apprehended. 10 4. Uh, Susan, did the PD, the CIA has come in and uh, arrested those black brothers? Oh, that will not be an issue. Why, thank you. I guess you see whatever you've gotten. Well, we got the Thompson. Oh. That's not too bad. Um, but yeah, just letting you know, cast Ooh. trail. Uh, fair child, yeah. child. Oh, uh, let's see, do we even have hunting grounds anywhere? Where can we hunt actually? Like paint anywhere? paint on his I mean, fingers. Plenty, and plenty of And two, um, El Gordo, Castanjo, Mount Chiliad. Uh, finds, yeah, yeah. which yeah. he had Alamo not made. Or I don't know. Well, that, that, yeah, we're not going there. That fucking fort on page. I don't, I am not, I'm not going. Little forest, maybe, in the wilderness. Yeah, a lot of areas. Something like that. I think I think we're gonna go Can down this way. I got a couple of uh, yeah. places there. All right. You guys have one there. Yep. Just letting you know if you get shot sight, it's most likely us. Uh, but you know, I know you need to check on that anyways. Yeah, yeah. Although the <sighs> guys are up there, I'll say that we're gonna be on the Cassie trail. Yeah. It just doesn't have to be prioritized. Hey, be careful. Watch yeah, out for mountain lions. Yep, 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 oh, yeah. yep. They're, yeah. They're going across the trailer to go hunting in case, you know, if everyone's there. Yeah, make Thank sure you. there's... Seriously, watch out for There's no hunting those rifle guys. at all. Oh, I know. They're, trying to, find hun they're trying to find hunting rifles. There's not store ammunition anymore. No, no more hunting rifles at ammunition. I'm going to check the, uh, maybe, hunting store up north, but we'll see. What hunting store are you talking about? I saw one next to some cabin. Oh, okay. So there, there should. Okay, I know where it is. It's probably okay, and, uh, across uh, from the fishing uh, All right. Photo so on. Go there then. Person okay. one. Ah, fun. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Watch out for those uh, mountain lions. Yeah, Murder yeah. kitties. Yep. Have a good one. Um, this cougar hey, maybe we can train them. Uh, no, 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 trust me, that shit don't work. I uh, tried and, to uh, throw one down. Uh, on oh, my God. Yeah, man. You went down or the, or the line went down? Um, No, I didn't go down. Madison didn't. I shot the thing. Ooh. How's she looking? Yeah. Uh, all right. Not bad, Okay, I guess. But, uh, uh, photo. Those fucking mountain lines, man, is something else, I tell you. Um, I've noticed a lot of new signs of bears or other things. Dispatch 211 is going to nope. be. Uh, no bears, no nothing, nothing like that. Thank you, 211. Have, have a good night. Thank you for your service, Doc. We appreciate you. Oh, oh you're up there. I, I, I didn't even see where you were. <laughs> oh, wait, Chief. Howdy, yeah, Chief. Hi. How we doing? Yeah, we're good. Actually, honestly, I feel weight has been lifted off my shoulders things are good i'm glad to hear yeah all the people that came in from boarding show up uh yeah i think a large number of them had the wrong hostel apparently uh also there was not a set time uh, we just yep. told them shift one and two so six hours yeah uh, upset with that Oh, uh, we did find yep. a couple of the mail on the streets and they said, no, we'd never received a letter and that their postal was wrong. God damn. It's okay. I can't... This Lee Harlow case is being brought up again. Who the hell's Lee Harlow? Um, it was the, uh, case in which Riggs was accused of hitting said subject. Uh, I need a uh, drive a brace hill, marijuana, and numerous things. Oh, 
well. Sounds like a headache. Yep. It's, uh, it's been 45 days. It's a very old case. The civil suit was dropped. The criminal appeal, one of the charges was dropped. Now they're opening up another civil suit. What grounds? I have no fucking clue. Oh, I also had defense attorneys, in, uh, specifically Paul, come in here earlier uh, and state that they wanted our SOPs. I tell them to do one. And they were like, does this mean that every time I, I need a, a, to question SOPs, I need to bring in an expert witness? And I said, yes. They were very unhappy with that, but I mean, I'm not having our SOPs used as a letter of the law situation. Mm-hmm. This court will not accept conclusory statements or testimonies as to whether the statement was threatening for the only statement recalled by other officer was so vague and non-specific that this court must find the defendant not guilty of this charge. This court finds that the officers were behaving as reasonable. That's... I don't understand why we're being called again. There's nothing here. It's just it's open to... They wanted to set. They, they wanted to settle, right? And I've just said, no. Not doing that. Fuck him. It's been forty-five fucking days. They're fighting a two hundred dollar fine. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Rest hello. Easy. I have an investigation, Please but I can't tell anyone about it. Here. I I've did. I've been the waiting report. here for the last six what? hours. What? what? Please, thank you so much for the raid. What? What? How are you doing? What? How are you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. No, the statute of limitation is thirty, but if the appeal starts before that, then it's fine. Oh, we just had to deal with. Uh, I, I arrested this guy to bring him here. You can go today, Gallo. Oh. I'm sorry for all the crimes I committed. I truly am. Okay. His crime was that he didn't fucking give us the right postal address. Yeah. There might have been a mix up or something. I, I understand what happened because the two letters uh, that were in the beginning of his postal were PO. So I understand how maybe a transcribing error may have occurred. Oh. Yep. What's your name? What's your name? Oh. Uh, Oshin. Oshin McMahon. Oshin. Oh, if we got P, P zero and okay. Yep. Is he coming? Come on, there, Oshin. Am I even listening? Oh, you locked him out. I, I know. Come on, Sorry, Oshin. Who uh, here? Okay, how do I spell that? O I S I N, MacMan. Oh, you were the one that Hale was speaking about. Hello. Uh, are we? No, no, How's it's it not. No. No. This is the Logan. other one. That's Logan Monroe, who also has not showed up. And now I, I need to so go much. figure we out how to you. check so uh, all the videos. If you guys don't know me, I'm Dodi. I play Sid Walker. I also I play I Joe Rosner, that. Lieutenant soon, Captain oh, soon, God. maybe. Um, so your, is your PO PO? No. It's Yeah. It's what? 505. Shame it wasn't L-E-0. You know, L-E-0. Like L-E-O. <laughs> oh, state state your, your PO again. N-E-505. Oh, N-E. N-E. Okay. Oh, God. Lieutenant Soon, Captain Sooner. 
Oh, all right. Well, whilst you're here, I need you to repeat after me. Oshin? Is that right? Yeah, that's it. All Oshin. Right. Uh, I state your name. I, Oshin McMahon. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the constitution of the state of San Andreas. I will support and defend the constitution of the state of San Andreas. Against all enemies, foreign and dis domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the constitution of the state of San Andreas. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the state of San Andreas. Uh, that I took this obligation freely. That I took this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Say it again, sir. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. Upon which I am about to enter. About which I am about to enter. Welcome to the force. Welcome aboard. Thank you Welcome. very much. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure. Ah, oh, Poppy, right. you need assistance. <laughs> no, I got it. You sure you have not slept a lot? Correct. Oh, God. All right, you treat her badly and I'll beat you, boy. <laughs> I don't have to worry about me, lad. All right. Thanks again. The other cadets need to do that because I definitely have not done that because it's, it's not in my pamphlet. That's fine. It's fine. It's mostly ceremonial. I right, need anything from me, Chief. Uh, no, I think that is everything. Um, I just what what time, what time are we gonna be doing academy? Uh five p.m. Eastern, if I remember correctly. It's in our bulletin. I fucking hate that jacket. Yeah, that is what? ugly. What, why is it baby sick? Uh, What's wrong with the jacket? It's just not the not great color. 5 p.m. Eastern this Saturday. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's in our bulletin board. What about what's uh, for, you know, the tea goblins? The, uh, the, the tea goblins? Yeah, what time for the tea goblins? Oh, well, they can tea goblin my nuts. I don't, I don't know. You mean two hours before the FTOs? Yeah. When, yeah. when, when are we getting together? We'll, we'll go at 3 p.m. Um, we should have Daisy and Thank Colt, you. but um, they're not 100% certain. If they're not there, that leaves us two and Nolan. How is... You say tea go goblin these nuts? Rosna, what the fuck happened to you? It's awfully lewd. I couldn't resist, ma'am. <laughs> I, I. You should probably flog yourself next door. Yes, ma'am. 27723. Uh, ladies and guys, just call. I, I don't know if they've left. How does this one sound? No, I'm just flogging myself. Okay, I was saying this was a therapy room. Uh, therapy room. Yeah, I'm committing already. therapy by flogging myself. Yeah. Is there penis no. Like, no, is he's fine. No, oh, I'm fine. This is where I go insane anyway. So I'm working a day job till night. Other than that, I'm doing good. So we'll let you flog around. Yeah, can I, can I go back to flogging myself, please? 
You can go back to plaza. Yeah, don't worry about it. I don't know if she can even hear that. I think she left the room. <laughs> She left, god damn it! The whole bit's ruined. Let me show with everyone else anyway. Not just me. It looks oh. like I Help. And then you can come back here. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Oh, is this oh. book? Time it to give him my, my keys. All right, go. Alright, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. I'll be back. I'll be okay, back. you go. You go do your thing. Uh, hey, wait, one sec. I'll come back later. Mug. Thank you so much, Simon. Hiring. Yeah, we got another person to hire. Book Haggard. All right, just bring him upstairs. Four, four, three, four. Go Simon. He has to go sign off. Yeah, he has to go sign off at Benny. Three, four. My flogging was interrupted. <laughs> Did you tell... Oh, wait. Oh, your flogging was? Yeah. What? Well, I was in there, shut off, just going at it, you know, full, full whack. And, uh, Poseidon and his girlfriend walk in. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. They were watching you? They just watched wait, me just flog myself. It's four three four, right? Well, that's what she said. Also meta? Nope. Yeah. You are just going to town. He's getting sweaty, grunting a little bit. Awfully straining. Was that like the spank room next to her? It's not no, it <laughs> No, it's not like that. He needs to punish himself. Yeah, I punish myself for my lord so that I can be holy, so I get a whip and I whip my back. You want to see the warts? What the fuck? Y'all. He's been letting the girls lick cream off his legs. That's not, that's an exaggeration that I included in the interview process. It was just the Sorry, one girl they, and they were shot with cream on the top and she just used her mouth to drink them off my knees. That's hot. I've also found out I'm no longer allowed to drink. They've included a charge. Oh, Chief, yeah. uh, how many times do I have to get an infraction for underage drinking before my job is at risk? I don't know. But li listen, okay? Don't you have, like, at your, your church, you can drink the blood of Christ or something? Maybe if your parents were around, you could have a glass at dinner. Yeah, I don't see that one happening. Maybe, you know. Also, I don't think whilst doing sermons where I give people the body and the blood of Christ, me down in seven bottles of wine would be particularly well advised. I might see if maybe what we could potentially do is... If we're all off duty and essentially acting like a legal guardian, we might be able to take you out to a restaurant and you might be able to partake in a glass or two of wine. As you'll be with an adult. How does that sound? If you just don't eat anything, I'll go straight to your head. I'm a sergeant within the PD who, who is on the council. I train individuals in, in legally being able to murder other individuals if the time so requires, but I'm not legally recognized as an adult. <laughs> Does that mean you're adopting me? Are you now mommy? <laughs> 
I could get white. <laughs> oh god. You could get what? I'll see if Wade can drop some paperwork. If the drinking thing is that much of an issue, we can just take you to a restaurant. You know the worst thing about becoming in a stressful position that requires you to be a functioning alcoholic? Yeah. Not being illegally allowed to drink. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I can't drink at the moment. My liver's fucked. <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm in the same boat, kind of. You saved a life. And you know what? You say it could be saving yourself. Yeah, that is right, Kat, but... You know how that would basically officers get drunk and get behind the wheel? The law would be completely irrelevant for two years or so. By not drinking, you... Are potentially We're not saving lives. So long. What are we doing up here? We're waiting for an interview. She's employing people. Yeah. I got the. I got those two. Is oh, there like okay. a lineup downstairs or something? I, I will. I will go look. Oh wait, is this? Uh... Up here. Yeah. Is Buck back? Yeah. Okay, because he needs to come do the oath of office. Thank you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Hi, Washington. Are you staring at the clock? Uh, no, I'm not staring at the clock. I'm just, uh, hmm, having a moment. What's the matter? Just having a moment in here to myself. Silence, nice and quiet. Oh. I do appreciate your presence. I'm sorry if my whipping disturbed you. It's okay. How's your day been? What have you been up to? Um. Despair? Mm. I think that was Despair. it. Despair. Yeah. Despair. Yeah. What level or layer of hell are we at currently? Have we gone down or up? I think personally, we're on, uh, sorry, as an institution, we're on the up. Personally, I'm on the down. Oh. I'm not oh. allowed to drink no more. You want a beer? Not legally allowed it. You would also be committing a felony. Wait, is that a felony now? No, it's an infraction, but I think that would mean you're aiding and abetting, which is a felony. Oh my god. Uh, tell you what, lock. I, I've heard there's, there's a desk in this room that's, uh, no person shall command, advise, furnish, or otherwise enable another person to commit a crime and, uh, un... that's an infraction of crime. Yeah. Underage consumption of alcohol. No person under the age of 21 shall be permitted to consume or otherwise be in the possession of alcohol or intoxicating liquors. No person shall, uh, no, nor shall any person knowingly furnish someone under the age of 21. Okay. Uh, actually, so you just get the infraction. Okay. $75 right. fine. So you want a beer? I'm on duty. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah. I'm a sergeant within the LSPD. You the are father. a sergeant. I'm ordained. Uh, teach people how to legally murder people when they are committing such heinous acts. But I'm not legally recognized as an adult despite serving as a councilman. That's correct. And, and we, in this country, we call that progress. Yep. Look, the, the war on drugs continues, Rosner. And, and the next drug, it's alcohol. Yep. We might be going back to prohibition. We'll see what 1986 brings. Huh. 
I'm off this joint the attorney general's office. Okay, that doesn't actually surprise me. Good for her, I suppose. And so we'll probably join. Mm -hmm. um, the attorney general's office is trying to run a whole secondary PD. Uh, like jointly with us or? No. In okay, all right. Well, I tell you what, if they want to do that, then they can train their own fucking people. Well, they're just going to poach the good ones. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. That was my whole concern with the uh, the sheriff's department possibly opening up was that, uh, you know, it's really easy to say that a place is dysfunctional and provide nothing to it and then go start your own and take a bunch of qualified people and claim that you know what you're doing. She's still here. Without actually putting in any of the real hard work to get those people trained up. Bobby. Ah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not going anywhere. You better not be going anywhere. Washington. What? You better not be going anywhere. I saw that bastard. I saw him. Oh, Jesus. I saw him. I saw him. Get him, Washington. I think there's someone on the roof again. Oh, my God. I'll be on radio. Oh, she may have had a headache. Roof is clear. Something. Something and then like the goddamn th same thing happened. <laughs> How are we? I'm all right. How are you two? You're looking a little rough there, Washington. What the hell happened? Oh, you know, just usual. They robbed a place and then they tried to flee and then they realized they couldn't escape the great offices of the city, so they decided to shoot them. And then realized uh. their mistake when they couldn't outshoot us either, and then complained bitterly about the high fine and times that they were receiving for shooting at us. Aye, aye, aye. Apparently, aye. you know, ten thousand or so dollars in fines is not very nice. Yeah, I don't think people realize an open firing on on officers is a not a wise decision. They're lucky they're getting fines, like you know, it could be a lot worse. Well, I'm glad, glad you're standing to tell the, tell the tale. Okay, Jack, pick a number. I'm going to read off numbers and you tell me which one you like, okay? True. Uh, tell me if, uh, okay, so, 235, Two five nine, two six one, two six three, two six seven, two seven three, two seven six, two eight one. I'll take two seven three, please. Two seven three, got it. How did it? How did I only? It just occurred to me. A uh, book. Miss him. Ah, uh, stand, please. Oh, face the flag. And salute. Uh, and now repeat after me. I enter your name. I, Buck Haggard. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Uh, that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. 
the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. The Constitution of the State of San Andreas. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. To the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. All purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Welcome to the force, there, Officer Haggard. Happy to be aboard. Thank you. Yay! Let's plug in. All right. Appreciate it, there, Washington. Anytime. Uh, Buck Haggard has been hired. We're waiting for Paulie. We're waiting for Lloyd Hatchet, Freddie Price, Daryl Doe, Logan Monroe, Kyle Fox, and KT Storm. I think things are looking up good. When did the, the guy, when the renovations happened? Uh, two days ago. Good lord, it's very big. See, I think that's why I like cops. Cop walked in here, put his uniform on, uh, and just got straight back to work. And now I need to demote him. Uh, 
You yeah, have a good day now. Promote him to officer? No, so he should still be a senior officer. He was uh, he was rehired, but when you're rehired, you're just automatically rehired as a cadet. Because this is obviously this is just how the system works. Um, but he wasn't actually demoted officially, so he technically should still be a senior. Um. I actually need to sit down and get his official account of events anyway before any of that even happens I'm still waiting for the moment we enter a room in the corner we see a paper on the floor as you approach it you see actually since it's supposed to the used version I've been I've been leaving those around occasionally I left them around especially Bahama Mamas and uh Sherry didn't like that she stated it was littering so I was like okay I'm not gonna like go overboard with it oh my god wolf pack such a pain in the ass I don't have the ability to go in there. New PD like he did with the anti-union shit. Smart idea. Leave it in corners occasionally. Welcome back. The used one sounds so gross. Okay, you're not wrong. It does sound objectively worse. So does the dirty one. Okay, they're both dirty though. So can I do... Can I do sound... Can I do whipping sound effects and then put it on my GoXLR? Uh, GoXLR add sound effects. Let me open up my GoXLR. I've never actually done any of this because there's never been a reason for me to have sound effects on my samples. Okay. First sound effects is vlogging. Yes. A, B, and C. Next to these buttons are four sets of buttons by clicking A, B, C. Okay. Hold down the button that you want to assign to set or, uh Choose the button you'd like to sample apply to. Oh, oh, okay. I need to expand the fucking GoXLR fucking window. Okay. Uh, 
Quit sound effect MP3. Should we listen to a couple of these? How loud is this going to be? Jump. Yeah, that's pretty loud. Jump. Oh. Oh, okay. I want that last one's. Yeah, flog. Let's go for a flog sound effect. That last one's savage. Okay, that's... I've just come to the weird realization that that's just somebody in the house. You can hear fucking cars in the background, bro. Whips, rope throw, swish, whip. Ah, oh, my ears. Leather strap, punch. Punch, punch 02, punch 04, leather strap, leather strap. Okay, no, I don't, I don't like... Vlog sounds. Vlog free sound Bible. Okay. Free whip sound effects. Vlog sound effects. Wetland spadefoot tow toad. These are all toads and frogs. This is frog sounds. Why are you giving me frog sounds? I don't want frog sounds. Not frog. Flog. Did you mean frog sound effect? No, I meant... Flog. Flogging. Sound effect. Free whip sounds. Whipping sound effects. Free sound... Okay, it might just have to be a whip sound. I mean, it's... Oh, that's loud. Can I turn down? Okay, there, I can turn down the volume here. I think that's probably the best one. Too snappy? How do I stop it? Oh my god. It is better if it's just the first three. Those are punches. Can you not hear the snap of it? You said the other one sounded better. Which one sounded better specifically? Uh, this one? Or this one. You want that whip noise? Okay. Add samples, uh, downloads, whip, open.
Okay, now the question is... I don't know if people will be able to hear that happen. I don't know if the sampler will come through. I'll have to test it. But we'll test that at another point. Dispatch 272. Show me roll. Go the extra mile and make my own soundbite? Maybe, maybe. Also, I have no idea what you're going to use it for. Uh, just any time that I'm like, I'm, I'm going to introduce the self-flogging a little bit more. 10-2. Sherry going to find out? I guess eventually. I'm fairly sure I've, when Washington's already mentioned in front of her that he self vlogs. I'm fairly sure that's been mentioned. No, I guess it wasn't to be a uh, flagellant when I first saw this character in another person's stream. I didn't, I didn't plan on it either. Well, I held it. Are there any judges around here? Yeah, like you said, oh, I like not as far as I know. No, sir. Hmm. My name is Candy. Hey, Washington. Hey, howdy. How we doing? Just trying to think, huh? Do, do we know if any justices will be around anytime soon? Uh, no. As in, no, I don't know. I, uh, I inquired if any justices would be available. Um, I, I was asked what time. I said in the next five hours, and I've had no response. So that was, uh, two hours ago. Hello, so, how can I, I have no information as to the justice's Hello, location or appearance. If uh, Brian was still awake, I'm not sure mm. if he sent me a letter. I wasn't sure when it was sent to me. Brian Smith? Mr. Brian Smith? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have not seen him in. Okay. Um, I just wanted to swing by and see if he was still in. All right. Wow. This is, yeah, yeah it's I great. It today. So I'm just trying to think time. if I can, I mean, it's something that can wait, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, who are you looking for exactly? A justice? Just or? a justice to discuss the latest uh, uh, failure to know, pay uh, charge. Been... The, the, the fine yeah. one. Oh, um, no, has no. that been implemented yet? It has, and uh, it, I thought it was mighty good. I thought it would be useful. And then I had about four or five members come into the PD today. And ask specifically, um, how, how much time they would get for not paying fines. Uh, I asked, they told me they had 7,000 in fines. I told them how much time and they said, oh my God, that's amazing. We're going back boys. We got two weeks of freedom and then we'll go back. I don't think that the, uh, the, the charge is having the intended effect. What do you mean? Right. Uh, everybody seems very happy that they can skip all of their fines and just do some jail time. Okay, that's enough verifiable evidence for me, and so I guess I'll bubble that up right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go take a, wa a, a walk outside, and I want to see if you can see a garage. Actually, oh, yeah, we... hallway here. See, I told, I knew it was immediately gonna fuck it. I feel like criminals fucking themselves. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's cost-benefit analysis, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the best thing is, is I, I immediately said to them, well, I think I should go raise that with the Chief Justice. And they went, wait, what? And then I walked away, and they're all very unhappy with that. <laughs> Great job, Washington. Yeah, all the best now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh.
Okay. What happened? Uh, we had a bunch of ballers come in earlier and ask um, how much time they would get if they didn't pay their seven thousand dollar fine. Told them it's three hundred and thirty months for the seven seven times failure to pay, and also the one times uh, contempt of court, uh, and all their fines would be exempt. Sonora towards the Great Ocean. Uh, and they they said. Uh, they said, we're going back, boys. Uh, we advised a little bit earlier, maybe five, ten minutes And ago, we're very happy with that outcome. Pink pickup truck known to be operated by Ms. Penelope Cruz in that area. And, uh, Enzo literally yeah, told him the same back. thing, like five minutes before. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking good. <laughs> uh, well, our job here is done. You know, the best thing about that is they're going to come back in 14 days and they're going to be like, I'm here to serve my 300 months. And we're going to be like, no, it's now 600. I think there is a fine line. There's about like, it's all a balancing act. Like we all, I don't want to give them a hundred months per thousand. I've not seen any traffic come from that way. Because 500 I'll, months uh, for a $5,000 fine is absurd. But 40 months is a bit low. So maybe up to 60? Let's see, for a $7,000 fine, which $7,000 fine is... 7,000 times 60. No, sorry, 7 times 60. What am I doing? 7 times 60 is 420 months. 420 months for. 277.23. No vehicles outside of the uh, code 60. Hmm. I'm about to Maybe 75? What's the situation? It's 525 about, months, about but that's a lot. That's nearly... That's nearly... 10 hours, right? 10 hours in jail, I think. It's like... 220, I'm going to be in a 38 across the street from you guys with a silver work truck. I got eyes on you. I'll come back up here in a second. And for up and off radio. I'm trying to think. I don't think many would mind doing 10 hours of jail. Bear in mind, you have to stay in jail the whole time. I think it's one of those things where you would be like, I don't mind uh, doing 10 hours of jail. And then you get in and you try and do the 10 hours of jail and you're like, I don't want to be here. Fucking help me. Oh my God. Dispatch 272, I am uh, attached myself to the traffic stop being conducted by 220. We've got a gray panel van, looks like it's only occupied one time. Uh, Sergeant Gray's out of the vehicle to speak to the individual right now. Is that a concern you have with Sid? You can no longer serve time on another character. I don't know if you can do that for sure. I have been told you can do that. Hey, howdy. It was, it was going on. How can we help you today? Oh, I was on. Is Vinny around? Uh, he is, but he's in the middle of an interview at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, you've got two oh. of your uh, officers or cadets over there waiting for him to. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, I've spent a good amount of time here. And, uh, yeah. Nice. Hey, uh, you cops need me to repair your uh, squad cars or anything like that? No, oh, I've just, I've literally just got it out. Much yeah, time. I believe my, ours is fresh off the lot here. Wash totally, all right. Appreciate that. Oh, though. what the hell happened to you, Ra? Ra, my uh, boy. My boy, Ra. I got, Ra, I got boy. turned into, I got turned into Swiss cheese, dude. By whom? By what? Uh, some fucking dork ass kid with a Greek accent that. Shot up Vespucci oh, last night. I know night. him. Yeah, uh, he. Sh 
He he shot the shit out of me, dude. Is what happened. Hey, man. Doing, Mr. Nico. Yeah, just uh. Just the one who asked me to help him sell drugs. The, uh, the data term. I don't know. I didn't even uh, see okay, him. Okay. I didn't even so, see him, no dude. Problem. Vinny to wrap up I just heard his voice. Right. That's that's the only description I had then, and they just, dude, it pissed me off because. Listen, I can't really talk about it, okay? But. The Billy gets shot nope. as well. Yeah, and Scotty. Okay. And sticks. Let me find the report. I'll add in my information. I know who it is. I hope that I hope that my description of the voice is enough for you, dude, because that's all I got. And, and what did he do to you? I'm sorry. I'm 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 uh I'm eavesdropping over here. He turned me into Swiss cheese, dude. He shot me like nine times. Jesus. I have bullet holes in both of my lungs and it fucking shredded my upper my upper digestive tract so I can't eat solid food. When this happened? Last night, dude. Dusty, how are we? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm, uh, I have to wrap up with, with Vinny. He's in an interview right now and there's some uh, MDT data terminal fuckery going on and getting onboarded today you guys want to oh, see something cool congrats. i think i overheard Vinny say that man yeah Vinny, Vinny and max oh let me yeah, let I me put this in a, a little while ago Some yeah, kid. no problem dude yeah thank you a bad big stop just to yep. hope you know i have respect for cops as long as i have respect for me so that's all i'm saying of course it'll uh yeah. just want to be treated like a human being that's all that's what it's all about at the end of the day you oh. got to give respect to get respect that's that's how i was raised Yep, exactly. As long as you're not going around tasing people for no goddamn good reason. That's an NF stick song. Yeah, Gotta give respect uh, to get I respect. Ain't looking uh, to, uh, you know, get uh, get pushy with people. Not bad. I mean, I have a couple of pairs of boxers I had to throw away after getting tased for no reason. Hell, if you know what I mean. Yep, yep. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you mean. You saying you know your shit and you're uh -oh. I hear you. Yeah, it's terrible, man. I don't want to ever have to go through that again. I understand if I'm hurting somebody or evading, but for no fucking reason, man, I just don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor box oh, those the boxers aren't cheap nowadays, man. They're not cheap. They're what expensive. Are they Dude, it's like two and a half bucks for a twelve pack. It's a lot. Oh Jesus. man. Two and a half dollars. Good lord. That's half a, a cigarette pack. Oh, just uh, here's the man I needed to speak right, with. Gentlemen. Yeah, wait to sign out of the MDT before you I did. Left, I man. did. No, I just I see you on the MDT. I'll right hang out in, uh, in the bay on, with my I girlfriend, Washington, three. and you can find me over there when you're done. We'll do there, Raw. God damn it. We need to get this clear. Pardon me, I, Dusty. I, I don't want to run you over I'm again. I'm making a fool of myself down in the department. Uh, Have you signed out of the MDT at, at all? Well, oh, all right. So I have to sign fully out not just going off like correct uh I, no you can just go off duty huh? i'm a lacquer that was a word damn it you've well, at me so i was I trying to think what it was here, went off duty on the mdt logged off over in the paperwork in the in the office over there went on over got onboarded next thing you know crisscrossing the data terminal and uh hell now i'm back here because uh yeah, he I, you gotta terminate me then I, I I just did. I was just in there terminating you. Fire, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I do you have any idea this guy I was told a hell of a story about what you got oh, up to you yesterday. Missed it. Honestly, and I, I, that I was the almost best. offered you like a bump in pay just to keep you from what I heard about that. Because that this this guy is going to be your best fucking pursuer in any chase ever. The lengths this man went to to get a twenty five dollar towing fee will go down in history. I appreciate the kind words, Vinny. It goes a long way. It it was incredible. Um. Anyways, I gotta I gotta show Justin here around. Um, you've been you've been terminated. Like you right. you are no longer on the roster, but all you're right. still on the MDT. Is the problem? All right, I need we'll to refuckulate with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, maybe yeah. or some refuckulate. Oh, uh, my understanding of the MDT. It doesn't matter if they're fired or not. They will always be on the MDT. We have dead people on our MDT. We One, cannot well, remove yes, them. Yes, you will always show up on the mdt but once you you know take a nap for the night or whatever uh you will be logged out of that okay right. but until Figured then it out. doesn't help you. 
Uh, All right, Vinny. Washington. I want to talk to you about something later. Uh, I sent the... That's literally why I'm here. I'm, I, I really? came uh, uh, on, you know, completely unrelated to these two. Oh, right on. Okay, let me let me make Justin stop waiting, and then we'll talk. All right. Till next time, fellas. So this whiteboard right here is where you're gonna sign in for the day. You're just gonna walk up to it, look at this alternative way. Alright, and when you do that, make sure you uh, follow the instructions on the side here about the MVC and whatnot. Uh, your call sign is PT7. It will be your 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 number will be on the uh, roster page right handed you with the pricing and whatnot. Yep. Gotcha. Pull it up like I'm about to do here. Like this. Hey, it's Tink Taco Salad, all fresh too. The tortilla bowl is always so good. Stream, I'm a superhero mode. They hurt my boy. They hurt my boy. Should I go on duty first? To fill that up? So that's what you're gonna do every day. Make sure when you sign out for the day, you sign out of the MVC first and then clock out. Okay. Um, so let me show you. Actually, you know what? You look very pretty, like a king sat upon his throne, Officer Washington. All right, thank Sergeant. you. This is the closest that I've gotten to a toilet since. Have you seen the toilets in our new PD? I have not, but I did go there for the first time today to get my gun back. It's an empty room. It's a small little cupboard. It's an empty room. So I tried to hire a janitor yesterday. I informed him that he must keep a mop and a bucket and a spade so that when people come into the room that he is standing on, shit on the floor, he is capable of spading up the poop, putting it in his bucket, and then mopping up the remains. Uh, he lasted 15 minutes before I never saw him again. I can't say I'm super surprised. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, Joe, let me ask you a question. Sure. Um, because I'm getting mixed reports. If you are the victim of a violent crime, right? Yeah. You're the victim of a violent crime. Do the cops, or do they not, have the right to search you? Because the cops that responded to us last night said they did. And then when I talked oh, to Chief well. Harper, when the, when I talked to Chief Harper, like, I was not, like... I, I, need, I, I, I need context regarding the whole scenario. Just being a victim, uh, okay. Uh, let me put it this way. If I arrive on a scene of a shots fired, there are multiple individuals down. I have no context as to what has actually occurred. So at which point everybody is currently under detainment. Whether they are shot, whether right. they are not shot, if they're standing around, everybody is detained. Uh, at right, that, that point, makes sense. I question everybody who is up. I will also GSR test them. If they come back GSR positive, I will then search them. Okay. If they come back, that's, a, that's an important note, okay? Because I came back GSR negative. For the second time that I have been shot, dude, you were there the first time. Yeah. Um, both times, right? GSR came back negative on me, uh, and both times I was searched and my weapons were removed from my person. Okay. And I told that to to, okay. to Chief uh... Harper today. I told that to Chief Harper today, and she said that that is not proper protocol and that slight half clarifying... the PD is misinformed. Yeah, slight clarifying moment there. 
uh were you frisked or were you searched because they feel the same uh but ultimately they are different uh <laughs> And it would be a I little was, weird if I started explaining. Did they just take a weapon off you and then return the weapon to you? Or did they rummage through all your pockets to start taking joints or whatever from you? Uh, they searched my pockets, took my weapon and my... Took my gun and my switchblade. Uh, and commented on the joints that I allegedly may or may not have had in my pockets. That's an um, illegal search. Yeah. And then I went to I'm the PD. This color. Okay. I went to the PD and got my gun back and she gave me the money to get a new switchblade and they did they forgot to take my joints but they were going to but the fact that they knew they were there sounded illegal search to me dude. That's an illegal search, yes. That should not be happening. Uh we okay. we are very firm that <sighs> when you are frisking an individual, you're searching for weapons, you're patting somebody down and uh you would only ever see the weapons. And if you right. you don't see nothing else and stop trying to right see and i did things. get my weapons back from the pd but i was under the impression i was supposed to get them back while i was there dude because i wasn't you, you, you charged really, with anything you really should have gotten them back there if they would uh, i will play benefit of the doubt there and say that the officers forgot that does happen and you know you got 20 things going on i once. asked i asked them about it and they said i had to come get them from pd who was the officer i don't remember dude it should be on the report there were three of them uh, I gotta go help my girlfriend with her bike, though. Oh, could you describe what they looked like? One of them looked kind of like you. Uh, Great with, hair? Like, 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 but a little older looking. Yeah. One of them was a woman with long, dark hair. And the other one was wearing a hat, but uh, that's so I don't know what he looked like, but he was a cadet. When did AJ get promoted? They took statements from me, Scotty, Billy, and Sticks, dude. So you should be able to find them. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, I got it. All right, thank you. Huh? When did I arrest myself? Oh, no, Robert Walker. Huh? No, it's Richard Walker. Okay. See, you see why I'm always stressed? Yeah. I, I I never didn't see why you were always stressed. Now, now I have a major fire to go put out because that is a huge civil lawsuit. Okay, uh, you, you want to go deal with that? No, uh, uh, mine's pretty casual. Yeah, we'll just have a casual conversation, and then it gives me oh. a moment of respite, and then I can go scream into the void. Oh, can you yeah. hear this? Yeah. Oh, did you just slap my ass? Okay, you can't hear that. All right. The fuck. Well, you know, I just sometimes I self flog. What? Well, you know, when I think sinful things, I, I go into the corner of an empty room, I take off my shirt, and I flog myself to let the sin seep out of my wounds. You just carry around a flogging whip for yeah. this purpose? Yeah. Do you use it for anything else? No, what else would I use it for? I just use it to self flog. I mean, flogging other people, one would assume. Well, what? Uh, how is that gonna get sin out? That's just assault and better. Well, I mean, if if they want to be if they want to be flogged, it's like a consensual flogging. What? Can you hear this? Vinny. Yeah, let's go ahead. What the hell was that? It's, it's your, it's your rectum, uh, uh, the goddamn Grand Canyon. Why was it so echoey? It sounded like you just set off a bomb in a cave. It's the acoustics in here, man. I don't, the acoustics that's... in your rectum. Y y your sphincter Look. must be flapping about like a, a goddamn uh, flag on, on July 4th. Like two large. I'm so things. happy that I sh I showed up for this part of that conversation specifically. He just fought it like uh, like a bomb in the Grand Canyon. It was echoey. It was. You know flexulent. how some people can throw their voice. I can I can throw my my tooth. You can throw you off shit. Is that what you're saying? You can fart throw across the room. I could, or rather, just make it sound echoier than it actually is. 
don't do that again and i think you might kill a small child in the county over i feel like you must yeah he's gonna rock it off <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you, Vinny. I might have popped the blood vessel. Where? In my eyeball. <laughs> my eye is my eye bleeding? Is my eye bleeding? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's bleeding, but it's, it's all over the. I you gotta go to the hospital. No, let's have this conversation. You'll be fine. Okay. Uh, You'll be fine. I promise. Right. Yeah, have, uh, we'll Take see it in a bit, bro. Which eye is it? Oh, uh, the third one. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Come out again. I want to hear about no, no Prince Elvis. I was there. He's not even in Is the camera. Is that Moxie on the wall? What the hell? What? Where? Oh, there? No, that's been up since before. Like. Is that before. Sherry? Maybe. I think no. The American ones were dope, dude. Nah. Maybe. No. Maybe. Specifically. Oh, God. We keep on getting distracted. No, what do you mean we? This is you just I keep back on getting and distracted. I keep on getting distracted. Oh, I'm sorry. Lord. That one that one just snuck out. I'm sorry about that. Look, listen. Alright. I think specifically on the wolf. Talking pack, to the city, right? I wanna hold a fourth of July uh car meet. But I had another idea, right? And this might be a separate event, this might be the same event, who knows? Um I think is there's those uh, import docks way down uh, south, right? With all the containers and whatnot. It's just one large strip. Yeah. And a after hours, when like nobody's working down there, it's it's pretty empty. Like there's not a whole lot of foot traffic or anything like that. So I was thinking that maybe we could organize a car meet down at the garage down there, and then. We could do like a whole like a whole bunch of things that's all Benny's related, but I wanted to do like a a PD cruiser versus civilian car race. Like anybody who wants to race, sort of like the whole wolf pack versus the PD thing. You just want to lose. I mean, not necessarily me. I just think it would be fun. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I think that could be agreeable. We'd have to speak to the DOJ about the legality of such a thing. Um, exactly. And I'm intentionally putting it way out of the way yeah. where like there's hardly any traffic just I to make sure nobody's in danger there is an argument to be made that since the area would be officially accepted by the pd it is not technically on a street the argument that it would be street racing would be rather redundant um if approved by the pd and by the doj yeah i see no problem in that being set up okay yeah i i've been trying to talk to harper about it for a month She's now, super busy. But yeah, I I know. I'm not like taking a dick. I'm just. Yeah, I understand I that will, shit gets fucking hectic. Uh, I will speak to the DOJ briefly about it. Uh, I need to speak to a judge anyway about an unrelated matter. Um, and okay. once I have heard from both of them, I can then go speak to the chief and see if she's fine with it uh, at which point uh, I will try and find somebody who can work with you on that. And since I will not be here for July Fourth. Um, okay. I mean. <clears throat> it, it, at the worst of it, if if the wheels of you know all this shit move too slowly and July Fourth comes and goes, it'll just be a car meet. Since all I really need to do is get an event permit for that, and mm -hmm. then we can do like a, a the legal racing event some other time. When I did tell Harper about it before, she did seem interested in it. So, but that was back when there were three captains leading it and no chief. So. I, I can't see any issue with the event going ahead. Um. I just need to make sure all my I's are dotted and my T's are lined. I, 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 
I think it's cross your T's and dot your I's. Yes, Instead of all I my I's are dotted and my T's are land. lines. Yeah, I'm land. It's not. It's that's, it that's, works. That's There's nothing a, wrong it, with well, what I said. I mean, it's grammatically correct, I guess, but it's not the same. Yes, but it it is correct. Okay, well, that was it. Uh, that, was, right. that was all I had to talk to you. All right, yeah, sounds fine. I'll, I'll speak to a justice, and then right. hopefully I can speak to the Harper. Yeah. And once that's all agreed, I'll speak to you and tell you uh, we're Gucci. We're good to go. We are Abercrombie and Fitch. Can I use the whip? No. Washington, dude, you're always Abercrombie and Fitch, dude. Why, thank you. You can't use my whip. That is my personal what? self-flogging whip. There is a yeah, holy item. I'm just asking if, and when if I you get need to be When I get bad, I just go into a corner, I take my shirt off, and you know, I just... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to... I'm asking if, if I could... I have a lot of sinful thoughts. If I, if I flog myself Get your own flog and then come see me on well, Sunday. I'm seeing a flog will, right will, in front of me. I don't see what's wrong with that. You're not I, taking my holy uh, black leather flog adorned with a golden cross. Black? That is actually a really sexy flog. I'm not going to lie. It's got all the little, like, leather flails on it. So it, it's oh, not kind of not take it, but I'll... I'll I'll take you are, it. You are such a whore, Washington. How you dare are you? Whore. You will be taking no whippings from Washington. Anymore. How you dare you? I am a, a holy whore. man. I am you are a, whore, a pure virgin. Man. I believe that, but you are the most betrayed. fucking... You are the most down and dirty virgin I have ever met. I'm not down, nor am I dirty. You are down and dirty. You I'm are. Even, I'm, this, get this, out of my this, office, I'm you flagellator. You, you dare, dare insult me flagellator. again there, boy. Flagellator. I'm 12 years older than you. I don't care. You're still a boy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Roy's girlfriend in the background being like, I want to get flogged by Rosner. What the hell? Can I get holy flogged? A black leather flogged? Can I get here by... Roy's like, no! No! You can't take him from me. You got defenses when Winnie, Vinny wanted it too. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ow! You will not be taking any flogging by Washington. <laughs> we must kill the one who switched cheesed him. I already kind of know who it is. Expanse 272, I'm on scene of City Hall along with a uh, 2 gun. Situation seems to be code 4. I'm going to get off my back and check that. Hello! Are you okay? Howdy! Yeah, I'm fine. Just, you know, an officer. Huh. So, if you want to take it to trial, uh, that's that's your prerogative. That's your right. What's up, Washington? Are you just eating a single piece of bread? Yeah. With a knot. Bread and butter. 
I don't see no butter. There's a carton of milk. Are you waiting for the oh. milk to turn to butter? Oh, that's not my milk. Yeah, sure. Butter's in the fridge. Oh, I forgot to close the fridge door. Uh, oh, there's sauce in there. Some eggs. Doesn't want to close. Uh, Theo, are you uh, available? I could use a 77. May on is. I left that sandwich in there. God damn it. I need to remove these damn signs. I don't think this is working anymore. An yeah, it's probably is, working uh, as intended. I think most officers are at City Hall right now, Gray. Uh, did you need me to break into the studio? Uh, you know what? Just the I marshal's know. uniform. On, on my own. No. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm what? Well, huh? Okay. Let me know if you need me. Uh, so the idea is I'm using this for the badge. Morning, Gray. There's just the badge. I'm gonna hit the clothing store in a second. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I wish they added a proper badge. Well, they do. I mean, this this one, this one can be put on and removed and all that. Use this yeah, badge, switch everything, and then. I just feel that it looks a little like a. Well, it looks like you got it out of a cereal box, and it upsets me greatly because we deserve better than that. Yeah, I know. But it, I, I mean, it works for its intended purpose. Yeah. All right. Well, let me uh, let me roll here. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, what's he rolling? Yeah, separate ways by uh, journey. We need more journey. Um, dispatch 272 situation at City Hall seems to be coastal, a little bit blown out of proportion. Uh, they're just concerned about someone well, apparently from the Wolf Bank who's been graffitiing the building. 272 is return at 10 8. Are there any active situations going on around there? Uh, the only active is uh, Gray's out of traffic stop that may involve somebody with weed. Looking for additionals, I don't know if she got any. That's 283, I'm Gray. Where's Poppy? Is Poppy still on duty? Oh, Rory Hatchet. Wait, Rory Hatchet got hired? Rory Hatchet wasn't even on our list. Two seven two, show me attached to the traffic stop as well. I'm clear out here. In a second. Oh, Rory Hatchet was on our list, apparently. Okay. I haven't actually been down to Vespucciolo today. Is it one of those food truck Greek guys talking about Vago? Yeah, it was him. That's the guy that they're talking about. I know exactly who it is.
ba 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 I'm actually getting kind of tired. You say all the time they go for another six hours. I know. Dispatch 272, uh, turn 10 from traffic stop, second Ow! accident ah uh, dude all right oh all right yeah all right let's just all right so just do me a favor sir what color is my uniform uh it's like a, a light blue and stuff okay and all right just listen to me here i'm gonna check your eyes just make sure they're not down there okay? yeah all right dude i think i'm concussed maybe so i'm just checking all right Fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Mm. Oh. Yeah, how do? Hey, where's your uh, car? Oh. Right. I crashed it. Yeah. All right. It's my bike. Oh. My you what? hit one of those crazy yeah, little metal poles and my, it, it my breaks. It's red done red. for. Okay. Yeah, I'm like sorry. Shoes, yeah. All right. Shoes. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just upset about my bike. Uh, Look a little wobbly, yeah, Washington. Thanks, bro. Oh, I got shot. What? For God's sake. Yeah, a while back. What are those Sony ones? Uh, oh, there's. Oh, they're, they're, it's in it's in the PD. Yeah, I'm going off to that uh, the, the new one that just came in up in the bloody damn area. All right, all right. You have a good time now. Uh, I got a lift. Think I can continue skating here, dude? Like a back to half rack with standby permission. Half rack because there were no wants, no warrants, one incident of speeding. That's all. That's all of the PD. How's your day, Washington? I'm tired. You're tired? Uh, yeah. And go to bed? Oh, well, I got meetings to have. I don't know.
You'd be up there a lot with the minions, huh? Yeah, I don't get much of a choice. That's true. Yeah. Command. Well, I went into the, the, the Benny's, right? And I was just going to mm -hmm. go into Benny's to have a meeting with Vinny. And whilst I was having a meeting with Vinny, someone else came up to me and uh, mentioned an incident that had happened. Uh, and they weren't sure if it was the correct procedure or not. Uh, and basically just revealed to me they had been illegally searched. What? Uh-huh. I don't know. So I now need to go speak to the chief about the matter. Um, figure out what's going on. I hope it wasn't... I uh, can't really say hope not. I you know, hope anything. Legal search is an illegal search. Yeah, and... Um, they had their weapons taken off them but were returned and they left the joints on them so oh, it was like interesting they illegally searched but they commented on the other items within their pockets and then that let is, them go uh, that's not good mm -hmm. all right there sarge We'll get the ride together some point, I promise. <laughs> yep. Stay safe now. Mask off there. Thank you. Oh, I think you just put it back on. There we go. Yo. Yeah. I got a question about this fine shit. Yeah. So, wait, hold on. Uh, essentially, uh, the way it works is per $1,000 in fines that you do not pay and you're overdue on, uh, you will get 40 months in jail. However, uh, a number of your friends in purple came in earlier. Uh, they asked the question about a $7,000 fine that they had, and they loudly exclaimed, Oh boy, it looks like we're going back. Hell yeah, I'm not uh, paying that fine. To, uh, so, a uh, discussion has started with the Attorney General, and the fine and time will be raised. Right. Well, my question was, if I don't pay the fine, um, does the fine keep going up, or no. will it stay as a stagnant rate the fine until will I be, pay it off? No, the fine will be removed. As it currently stands, uh, if you have $1,000 in fine and you are arrested, you will serve an extra 40 months in jail and that $1,000 in fine will be removed from your record. It'll be, it'll be exempted. Okay, so if I don't pay the fine by the date, pretty much the fine goes away and then I get a warrant? Uh, no, you won't get a warrant, but if you are found, uh, you know, just on a traffic stop or anything, you will be arrested and sent to jail. That's what it the fuck a warrant is. No, a warrant is we're actively searching for you and we're, you know, we have reason to pull you over just for knowing you're there. Uh, this is a probable cause for arrest. It's slightly different. It is similar, but like es essentially the difference is I'm not going to actively come out and hunt for you I, like, to arrest you. Can I like um, contest my fucking, my fine or something and like get it like yeah. know it? Uh, if How do you, I do that? Uh, so if you plead not guilty at the time, uh, because of, or a lawyer. The thing, when I got arrested, I never got asked that question. That sounds like something you need to speak to a lawyer about. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember. I think this dude's name was Ace. Ace Bishop or some shit. He arrested me, didn't ask me. He just said, you got Ace Bishop and sent me off. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with that information there. Sounds like you need to speak to an attorney, honestly. Right, right. Uh, I, I can't do anything about that. You'll speak to an attorney. The attorney will uh, come up with uh, file a, either a civil claims or a, some sort of rebuttal Is to that. Bishop do it around right now? No, not at this time. Uh, he might be around later, but this is a bit early for him. Yeah, 
right. I'm gonna have to come back around a little bit later. Ah, right, sounds good. I can't promise he'll be around later, but usually when he does come around, it's a little later than this. All right. No. Nah. Right, catch you later. Yeah, on a bit. Yeah, how did there? Is it my turn? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? How are you? How are you, sir? Mom, good. How are you? Um, uh, good. Uh, I'm from Weasel News. I just finished an article uh, on uh, the state attorney and the state general, whatever. The attorney, attorney general. general. There we go. <laughs> yes. I'm very tired. Uh, I just have a quick question. Uh, is maybe um, a Lieutenant Tex around? That he has not. No, he hasn't been around for a little bit. He's been off uh, viewing houses elsewhere. I think in Vietnam. I'm not 100% sure. Why? Well, I, I, I can take take a message. Um, sergeant. Uh, yeah, because because uh, I saw on the bulletin board that he's uh posting an event that he's gonna run called Texas Boot Camp, and it seems like an interesting thing to cover. So I was just gonna ask him if. I could, uh, on the part of Weasel News, cover that uh, boot camp, and if it's something that's like open to the public, or if it's something that you have to pay to get into or apply for it. Oh, uh, this so I just is wanted to ask if first I just I'm hearing like... about it myself. Um, I guess if it's on a bulletin board, uh, that it is public. Is there a postal address on the uh? On the poster uh not that i remember oh and then i don't know it might not the text hasn't been around so he can't have been the one who posted oh, it he hasn't oh okay <laughs> okay well thank you and anyway i understood all right well, well take care of uh, and you oh door it's locked Oh, sorry. It's yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It happens. Hey, how do you two? How are you doing? Uh, I'm alright. Uh, are you going? are you waiting for something? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm looking for a for a job. I wanted to ping, speak to someone. They told me to wait, and then they told me to wait some more. I'm just looking for like a janitor position of some kind, something sure, maybe like no, you know, maybe more like, like a flood cleaner. You know, I, I clean I clean flood really well. And I gotta like find huge spaces. I'm very narrow and nimble. Well, I would like to be a gate guard, and they told me I had to wait until a gate guard comes around, and then I would have to talk to them. This guy's been following me the whole time. So, we'll no, I have not. Oh, wait. Hold on. You got two new cadets there. Oh, great. I'm almost done with this one. We're at the last step. Oh, have they done their allegiance? No, they haven't. We have two people who have not done their allegiance. All right. When Where I said two new cadets, I mean the ones you got, not these two. I don't know who the fuck oh, these guys are. They, they, they oh, want to okay. clean cr cum or something. Oh. I don't know what he said. No, All right. No, the, oh, the two new cadets, uh, come on over here. Twins go. Actually, let's all let's all watch them. Yeah, I'll come on through. I thought you were talking about the people sitting in the chairs over no, there. No, no. What the fuck? All right. On, on, on the, stage, on twins. On stage. It would be so much better if this was the other way around. Now I have to stand on a chair, and it's kind of awkward. Uh, oh, Shane, I, I wish we we got the stage. I call All him right. Oyster. Okay, both of you face away from me uh, and look at the flags and salute. This is in England. You're English? Shut up! He's, he's we in fucking England! Yeah, actually, I didn't I get like... Oisin, Oisin to do it because. Wait, I made him do it, but I didn't do it. But never mind, it doesn't matter. Okay, both of you repeat after me. I name. I, Lori Hatchet. I, Rory Hatchet. All right, good. You both passed that first one. If you said I name, I would have fired you on the spot. Uh, do solemnly swear or affirm. Do you solemnly, do solemnly swear, swear or affirm? Swear. That I will support and defend. That I will, I will support, support and, and defend. defend. Uh, the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. The Constitution, the Constitution of the State of, the state of, San, of San, Andreas. San Andreas. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And Against, against all, all enemies, enemies foreign, foreign and, and domestic. domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. 
that I will bear yeah. true faith I and allegiance. I bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. To the, to the Constitution, Constitution of the State of, the state of, state of San Andreas. That I take this obligation freely. That I take, I take this, obligation this obligation freely. freely. Without any mental reservation. Without, without any, any mental, mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose, or purpose of, of evasion. And that I will will and faithfully. And that I, I will. I, w I will. Well what? And faithful. Yeah, what did you say? And, what? And that I will well and faithfully. And that, and that I, will I will well, well and, and faithfully. Faith discharge the duties of the office. Discharge, discharge the duties, the of, the duties office, of the office of which I am about to enter. Of which, of which I'm about to I'm enter. About to enter. You're welcome to the force, you two. Thank you, sir. I can uh, stop saluting now, right? Yeah, you can stop saluting at ease. Hey. All right. Okay, now, what is the last bit these two need to do? Just a radio. Oh, okay. All right. We are. I'll leave you two to it. Or four, I guess. It's good to see you, Carl. Right. Is, is Harper still upstairs? I have no idea. Last okay. I saw, she was with Enzo or something. Oh, he's, he's still left, lurking around. So, so I'll go have a look. Excuse me, sir. Yes, how'd it? You were a bully just a little while ago, and I do not appreciate I was bullies. not a bully. You told me you came here because you were thin, slender, and wanted to so, clean cum. Officer, I will tell you, this oh. man, this man is very soft, and he's a pussy. Look at all these radios right he here. He cries about everything. Why is she saying that? That's so mean. See, just, I just have a, I just have a kind heart. Do you, okay, so you want to be a janitor? Yeah, or you know, any position. Do you hire window yeah, washers? Yeah, no, I, I get you. You want to do the whole gate duty stuff. You want to, you want to clean the. Okay, so do you have I you will, seen I our toilets? Do All right, just I, I will could, clean your toilets. Okay, I want you to, to follow me. Okay, yep, yep. Because I, I want you to really understand this scenario. Is that right. the toilet I hear? This is the toilet. This is where okay. you will have to clean. I want you to have a little look in there. Okay, which one? Either one. They're both the same. Give me three days, about a bucket of spackle, and like 40, no, no, 43 mops. Okay, well, you do understand there is another issue. Most uh -huh. of your yeah. duties will be standing in there with a wet mop, a spade, uh -huh. and a bucket, because when people go in there and shit on the floor again, you will have to spade up that poo, put it in your bucket, and then mop, mop it up so that you could eat off the floor. I'm ready. You're ready. I take payment in anything you want to give me, plus tips. That, that man called you a pussy and you cried, and you think you can take on this task? There's a difference, sir. There's a difference. Yeah, one of them you're going to have to see an actual pussy. <laughs> I don't. I don't. God damn it. I don't, I don't do well when people are being mean to me. But I can handle pressure, sir. You I'm can have no pressure. They're going to be unleashing a, uh, all sir, kinds of pressure on your sir, feet. I'm a veteran. I can handle this. I, I, I fought in the war. You fought in the war? How old yeah. are you, boy? Hey, what, what? I, fought, I fought in Granada. Cobb? I, I fought in Granada. Cobb? Fuck, that's Cobb. Yeah, I'm Cork Cobb. No, not y you, buddy. There's another. But, I have a brother? Yeah, buddy Cobb. But your name's Cork Cobb. Yeah, my name's Cork Cobb. Cork Cobb. Okay, you know? uh, Cork. okay. Uh, 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 they're okay. Both they're both Cobb. Are you, one, are you related to? Was there a war in Granada? I'll be right. Yeah, you can. Oh. Absolutely, you there was. I thought you were a veteran. I was, de I was a deployed veteran. October 24th, and I went home October 29th. There's not the way to switch. Five yeah, hours and 16 minutes of deployment. Yes, That's right, I'm a bitch. <laughs> Wait, can you walk me through it, too?
Oh, all right. Wait, you're not a veteran there, Cobb. What do you mean? Oh, he's, is he a Wait, how, is he how, stolen valor? How old are you there? Me? Hold on, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I think I'm like 26. Or 28? Delta, I don't know. It's Delta, hard to read numbers and letters point. when you can't read or write. What, what do you need help with? But I can carry a spackle and a mop, that's for goddamn sure. Yeah, no, you are not four, four hours. I was on four retreat hours. duty every four day, day of the war. I am. 19 Daddy, people were killed. Talk on the radio? Including you Bishop? Really what? Them shitters were spotless. Oh. Know, you, might, you might have to uh, think about some muscles or something. Let me see here. Press that no broadcast no button. Harbor Quill, two incidents of infractions of, uh, you want to be a are you a veteran, sir? No, I'm 20 years old. I was too young to fight. You're 20 years old? Name is Barry. You look 45. Is that what this job does? Sorry, right, what was that? No, I never been. I never went. Over, I never went over there. I, How uh, old are you? Spent, um, in theory, I seem a lot older in my thing than I actually am. Let me have a look at this. Yep. How old is he? How old is he? I feel like I should be at least 10 years younger, but... Well, uh, you do look mighty old. Uh, yeah, maybe. That's not Nine, an offensive ten, thing. Yeah. I was born in 58. That's 50 what it says eight. currently. I think I was born in 58. There weren't really good records back where I was from. Oh, you're 35. Also, your door locked. Yeah, I'm 30. Uh, it says I'm 35. I'm supposed to be 10 years younger. <laughs> you have gray hair. It's because I was from the South and we worked outside a lot. Yeah, give, give it a test. So did I. Test. Mine's blonde. I didn't get that gift. It's okay. Some of us didn't, but there's still time. I went great. You can pepper. be like the two of us. I don't want to be. We can bleach you. I could get bleach from that car. You are right not now. bleaching me, son. Cobb. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying you can he if you want to. Gotcha. Uh, Were you a draft dodger? How are your shins? I yeah. didn't uh, Do you have bone so much spurs? dodge the draft as I lived in the woods Let's see the bone for spurs. multiple years during the war drinking in a RV. I want to look at his bone spurs. Hold on. You would have been 20 to 25 during the last years of the, the war. Were you, were you, did, you, did you dodge the draft? They didn't find me, so I didn't dodge it. They just never found me. It's true. You have to get the letter in the mail. Easy peasy. If you have an unregistered address, they can't mail you. We can only use... I mean, they could still birthdays. have tried to draft you, just not knowing where you are. But they, they only did certain birthdays. Yeah, I, I live deep in the woods in a trailer. Like, if I ever want to... All right. Sounds like me. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Buddy, here's your new brother here, uh, Corn. Corn. Cork. Oh, cork. it's not corn cob? No, it's cork cob. It's cork cob? That's it. You okay, it. Wait, uh, he served in Grenada and wants to clean our He's toilets, but also right just now. cried because someone called him a pussy. If we're, like, well, good luck, Corky. The in the cars, do you have to Thank have you, out, sir! Like, like this? No, no, no. Nah, we'll so see what you can car, do, you all right? You're only you allowed to hear on this front lobby. We can't let you into the back, but okay. do a good okay. job. I'll, I'll work we'll see my way back to front. Or last sorry, person, front to back. Yeah, last okay, person so lasted uh, 15 anything. minutes to see if you can beat the record. Okay. Authorized in vehicles and within the department. Oh, she's not here. She is here. Howdy. Hello. Are you looking? There's no one else up there. Oh, I'm looking for. Chief. Oh, what's the regarding? Because I'm also looking. Uh, there's a lawyer, a district attorney here to see her. Oh, alright. I see. Well, welcome, welcome aboard the, the team. I got. Oh, hey, Joe. How you Thank doing? Thank you. I'm alright. I'm also looking for Harper. You want to follow? 
Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Oh, what are you looking for? Well, I had a bright fucking brand new shiny thirty thousand plus dollar deal lined up between the state and the ballers, and uh, and now ever since this new fucking law got passed, to where, you know, any outstanding fines uh, can just be served as time, they don't want to do the deal, and they'll just serve the fucking time. So I gotta oh, inform her that. All, all right, I've already spoken to the Attorney General. The Attorney General uh, is also in agreement. I believe we're gonna speak to the Chief Justice because yes, all of the ballers yeah, are... came in here and they said, oh. I only served 280 months for $7,000 of fine. Fuck it. I'll they'll just do serve it. The, yeah, they'll just exactly. serve the time. And, so. I, and I, I think that's going to become a, a fucking epidemic right problem with all law. criminals is they're just never going to pay the fines and just they'll serve just time. They'll serve the time. So uh, I think immediately 40 months. I thought that was good. I, I think it should yeah. be up to maybe 70 months. I, I, I would say at least double at this point. If they, if they just, if they're just blowing off, 40 months per thousand dollars i i no, fuck i mean okay. double I would, it i would also be tempted with this lovely deal that they have come up with to say no to any future deals but that's just because i'm a uh, yeah. old bitch. well we had a, such a great deal going too where uh you know payment would have been done Ty tyrone would have turned himself in willingly and uh you know things the information would have got passed along to us and you guys in regards to other criminal organizations and but nope nope they'll just take the fucking time just great. Just wonderful. Oh, maybe they're Hopefully in the we get gym. Fucking... She was here earlier with uh, uh, Joe Marino. Yeah. I just don't know if they went out on duty or anything. No, they're, they're still in the PD. I just don't know where. <sighs> yeah. So they came by here as well? The, they the came by did? here and they asked me the question at the front desk and they said God, uh, how much time it. would i spend for a seven thousand dollar fine and i said oh including the contempt of court about 330 months and they were like oh yeah. would i still have to pay all the fines i said no they'd all be exempted and they yeah, literally so screamed at me oh hell yeah i'm going back boys i'm not serving oh, God it damn it <laughs> So I said, oh, okay, thank sakes. you. I will relay your feedback to the Chief Justice and walked out. And they suddenly realized their mistake. Yes, yes, yes. We were informed by the, the defense counsel that I was working on building a deal with that, uh, yeah, they, they are extremely happy about serving time now instead of just fucking paying off their fines. Yeah, I'm sure by the end of the week, if not by the uh, end of the I hope day, so. that will be changed. I very, very, very much. So that would be rough if, if it doesn't. Okay, this door doesn't unlock because I'm too busy unlocking this door right next to me. Um, stay on the damn roof. In one of these offices, maybe? No, no, I checked all the offices. Son of a bitch. It might be on the roof. Can you even get to the roof? Yeah. Oh, is it like a ladder or something? Yeah, I've already found somebody. Oh, Romeo. Oh, I, I, saw, I found him $5,000 for trespassing and spray oh, paint on the roof. He's the third individual I've done that to, and all of them are very upset about it. I see the, yes, I see the spray paint now. Yep. Uh, he also had a photo of him spray painting it, taken by somebody else. Christ. Uh, and it had six cans of spray paint on his person. But it needs to be, the, the oh, lights God. need to be and For a little seen. moment, he was so going to try and plead threatened. not guilty. But then, uh, I think when I checked his person for spray paint, like on his fingers and saw that he had spray paint all over his fingers, uh, he realized he was fucked. Oh, yeah. I don't know what just happened. Hubs, do you know what just happened? Ay, ay, ay. I was going to get a bonus from this deal, Joe. I'm pissed. Well, you could still get the deal. No, 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 they don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, the only I'm way sure. they would do a deal right now is if, if we cut the entirety of their fines, which was about $34,000 in half, to about $17,000. And Tyrone only did like 50 months in, in jail from uh, from uh, his, his big ass fucking warrant he has. And we're, we're just like, no, we're not doing that shit. Yeah, no, I'm sure if we changed it to 100 months per thousand or even, I don't know. 45 per uh, 500 something yeah yeah there maybe I hope it, i'm hoping it would mind. deter it yeah exactly because that maurice don't know how long is looking it would at 1100 months in jail and i'm sure uh, he would not want to serve that time yeah exactly 
It's just it, uh, it kind of depends on like the amount. Like if it's like like you said, if it's like seven grand, I feel like criminals right now will just take that deal every fucking day of the week. I mean, it's what? It's three hundred months. Yeah, and I it's I mean so. it's I a long time, but it's not that long, you know. Instead of paying a fucking you know life crippling seven thousand dollars for some of these guys. Yeah. Where the hell? Are they, are they are in the building, you think? I have no idea. Okay, I can... Uh, uh, the computer system seems to think that they're somewhere around here, but... Uh, they're not upstairs. They're not downstairs. Did you check the offices, you said? Yeah, they're not in her office. Uh, we'll check upstairs again. I, I'm just... At this point, I'm checking every single... Our, uh, not our office. Office. Uh, hopefully not our office. Our office. Hey, Jesus, uh, don't check mine, all right? I don't have anything shoved up anywhere. Nah, nah, howdy, Mac. Oh. oh. Is that not Mac? Uh, well, uh, uh, Looks like Mac. Yeah, I need to talk to somebody. Oh, it is Mac. It's Mac. Oh. Hey. Get busy, though, I think. We'll wait out here. <laughs> all right. So how's the rest of your day, man? Well, it was going great. Well, other than these uh, stupid fucking Shiny Albert DiCenzo, DiVincenzo appeals. He just filed one yeah, that's 29 one. days removed from the statute of uh, limitations being up. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, it's fucking uh, just wonderful. About. So I got to deal with that now. Uh, and then I also I have two fucking appeals I'm dealing with that asshole with. Uh, both of which happened, you know, obviously more than a fucking month ago at this point, basically. And uh, especially on the other one, uh, I think one of the officers was fired, one has quit, and the other two are, uh, you know, no longer active on duty. So I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with that. I might just have to drop the charges. And then uh, this current one, uh, like I said, I haven't even read into it just yet because I was so pissed off. I saw it was 29 days out of 30 from the fucking stupid ass statute of limitations. I mean, this all is going to happen. There's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, but uh, the only thing with that is I think as time goes on the reports hopefully should be getting better So like I won't have to deal with this shit and hopefully the you know officers won't quit or get fired left and right uh, So that you know, we can actually have Trevor people we can go to in regards to these things can I Yeah, get, uh, let's like hope so uh, Let's can... hope you No, know? it's that's all I can do is hope at this West point Vinewood, uh, Fucking pray uh, that I don't have to deal with Albert DiVincenzo all the time <laughs> How about you? How's your day going? Um, I don't know. I feel like I have moments of respite from my duty where I'm not constantly in meetings and I finally get to go patrol and I immediately will always just get shot. Oh, geez. Hey, so hey, it's hey. a battle of what do I prefer being on, you know, in meetings on duty or getting shot at on patrol. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's quite the choice to choose from because meetings feel like death and getting shot at literally is death. So I, I don't envy you. I, 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 I definitely know where you're coming from with that. And you, you, you're, you're a sergeant right now, right? Uh, yeah. Good choice. You're, you're one of the better ones I've met, Joe. Yeah, uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Although I am mighty upset that I am... Now in a position where basically the only way you that could, uh, 25 with me at Davis. Uh, I have somebody who needs to speak with them. Uh, yeah, Tim, for I'm, I'm upstairs. Uh, I'm now in a position where uh, essentially I need to be a functioning alcoholic in, in order to survive my daily duties. Uh, but, but but I can no longer drink legally. You ever take up any other hobbies like uh, I don't know. Running or uh, motorcycle repairs was the way I used to make money and, and deal with things. Yeah, yeah, do something like that. Do you find yourself another hobby? Or, you know, I do not have time for that. Although I just bought myself well, a boss. Bus? A boss? The oh, <laughs> one of the Mustangs. Ow. One of the Mustangs. Those are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was real nice. Yeah. Other than that, I just sell flog. I get it. Especially with all that's been going on, I'm sure there's quite the uh, quite the workload. Yeah, yeah. 
not envious. Uh, although I'm starting to uh, get a pile up a workload that I, I, I'm not fucking uh, too fond of myself, and I, you know, it's getting to me. But you know, I, sometimes I go out and you know, go to the roller rink, have a few drinks, skate around, have fun with some friends. You got to do that from time. You got to get out of the job sometimes, Joe. <laughs> Sure, you got friends. And hey, you I, just I, go I, out. I, oh, you I can't do. drink, actually. Well, yeah, shit. I can't drink. And all my friends, well, it, it, the people that hang around the Belmont, you know that crew. Plus yeah. Plus the council members, in fact. Um. I just, just don't. I just don't have the time, and they're always doing something. They always do it late. They'll do it after next storm, and I'm like, I don't really want to wake up at. 5 30 in the morning to go drink a well couple yeah of beers. true true that, yeah that's probably not yeah well you know i i, I don't i don't envy you no i, I don't really imagine don't. you do uh, cap uh, captain uh, chief opera do you mind if i grab you for a second oh. it's quick uh well that deal's fucking completely just absolutely smashed my hopes and dreams of ever happening now because now they just have taken and uh, are completely okay with uh you know waiting until their fines are overdue and spending the the 40 months per 1000 uh, they are very 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 happy with with just doing that instead of fucking actually paying off their fights yeah i also had a bunch of them come in earlier and ask me how much time they would serve for not paying a $7000 fine allegedly uh, i don't know why they needed to say allegedly um i informed them it would be uh, i think it was 330 months for the 40 per uh, 1000 which would be times seven and then well, also the uh, contempt of court and they said oh hell yeah we're going back boys yeah so uh our office is going to get in contact with the uh the uh justice department and in regards to the like maybe refining that that law a little bit I spoke to anything the anything General. over five yeah anything over five thousand it <laughs> jesus christ anything over five grand owed to the state they should be in there for a fucking long time yeah, yeah, or like maybe just fucking double what the the current, uh, you know. No, more so than that. More so than that. Even double than forty every every thousand or I eighty every thousand. A hundred every thousand. Ah, uh, but that's that that gets quite no. extreme. No, it should be. Uh, I think it has to be a lot. I say like give them a fucking year. If they are just willing, like, like to completely just forego paying anything, we like we were giving a, a deal to them, and they just are just nope. We'll just spend the time in jail. No, so give them a year like... for every thousand. Maybe two years. Fuck them. No, it, it shouldn't be like that. If people people want to fuck around, they're gonna find out. Yeah. No, I I definitely agree. If they if they just refuse to pay fines and you and are happily accepting jail time, it's uh, the, uh office know, it's it's bullshit. But it's what it is. We we can get things changed. Yeah, the attorney general's office are already aware, and they're the same mind. They're trying to find a, a judge. I think Wade should be around soon. Yeah, yeah, we're just waiting on a, a justice to talk to. I, I, I don't know how fast of an implementation, obviously, this can, can take. So, so uh, I mean, it could be a well, little while. I so. think the discussion about that charge was raised at our council meeting and was implemented within 12 hours. Not mm -hmm. very long at all. Okay, well, I, I mean, we'll see, obviously. We just got to wait for a uh, Wade, Ranquest, or, uh, or Power, and we can just, you know, at least talk about it. I don't know about enacting something right away, but uh, at least talk about it. But yeah, that's uh, that's that. Also, if uh, I think we're getting to the point where things should be clearing up with this uh, this man, I, I want to commit first degree murder on Albert Di Vincenzo and his stupid fucking appeals that he's filing one day or two days before the statute of limitations is up. I think uh, hopefully the officers are getting better with their report writing and whatnot. Uh, but I, I just just now got another one uh, early a couple hours ago, which uh, the statute of limitations is up tomorrow, uh, and he filed it today. Well. So just uh, as a heads up on that one, I I, I have to look into the details of it. But uh, wait, depending wait, on sorry, how the report, just report, full clarification, they uh, uh, filed the appeal today. Did they get the FOIA before that? Uh, yes, yes, he he, oh, okay. he has. Yeah, it, it wasn't all done all today, but he filed it on the docket today. And, uh, yeah, so just, uh, just as, you know, heads up, uh, hopefully, for the love of God, the, the reports will get better as time goes on, so I won't have to deal with 
fucking arrests from a month ago that barely have anything written and he files them a day before the fucking statute is up. I'll be right up. back. One minute. I don't believe I've met you, good sir. Uh, Thomas D'Angelo, 88. Oh, uh, Captain Malcolm Nolan. Ah, I've heard quite good things. Yes, Captain Nolan, I've heard quite, quite good things. Pleasure hey, to meet I you. Got a, I got a question. That Constitution say anything about uh, foreign spies having any kind of rights in our state? Uh, I don't believe there is a, 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 a espionage clause now of any kind. No, right. so Probably could get something enacted, but uh, well, if somebody forged their citizenship papers and shouldn't be here in the first fucking place, then is this, are you alleging someone did this, or well, yeah, more like I know they did. I see, I see. Um, you know, I'll have to reread over it, but I, I, I don't think there is a a a uh, some sort of foreign foreign spy or foreign asset. Uh, you know, what are you, what are you or, cooking, Nolan? Uh, amendment of, of any kind that, what are you uh, cooking, that dictates bro? that we we do anything with, with with those type of people. I could be wrong, though. I, I've had a lot going on today, so my recollection of the, the Constitution is a little hazy at the moment. All right. Fair enough. Well... But yeah. Fucking Attorney General's here with his two lap dogs. Oh, well, well, geez. They're not lap dogs. Well, they kind of are, though. Okay, all right. It's my boss, all right? They, they, they don't have to be Oof. so mean. Tough gig. Well, I mean, the well, good he's, he's, he's my the, boss's boss, basically. Yeah, the good news is he doesn't he didn't put you on a collar or a leash, so you, you seem to be well, all right. Well, that's true. I mean, he, he does not, and, and I hope he doesn't. I'm not really into leashes or collars myself, but we'll see. But yes, like I said, deal's off the table. If Tyrone uh, is, is around and you fucking see him, fucking bag his ass. Mm-hmm. All right, that, that's, that's all I had to get off my chest for you. Yeah, no, we'll uh, get with the justices. Sounds good. Oh, God. Oh, how's it going there, Captain? Uh, fucking terrible like it usually is. How are things for you, Washington? Oh, well... On the short moments that are not getting shot on duty, uh, I go for small meetings and then people will approach me with more things than I need to bring to Harper. Well, I wanted to talk about the big drug bust in front of the captains, but you know, it's fine, it's whatever. Um, yeah, Poppy, Poppy and Biggs? And Mac did a great uh, thing. Uh, where'd, well. uh, where'd, where'd uh, Marino go? I don't know. All right, so Poppy and Biggs and O'Neill. Huge, huge uh, bust. Um, basically, some dumb fuck fell inside the prison. Uh, they search him. They find two trays of meth on his person. They find, uh, and we already had a, hmm? basically, we were trying to search the RV that they threw into the water. It's we checked the back. It was loaded Wait, up with all the precursor materials for manufacturing. Um, he said under Miranda that he Our was transporting post his drugs for, uh, EMS, up to his on. place in Polito. It was dumb. There was a lot. I haven't got much pin time left. I gotta go. I don't see. Wait, how do I not see the Am pin I message? needed for anything right now immediately? No, uh, no we'll, uh, I can go to the we'll kitchen. Hold the shit down. Okay. Yeah, we got right. uh, we got some folks coming in for onboarding at some point tonight, but I can take care of all that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I, I appreciate don't, I don't that. I might be back now. later, I've, but I've... I want to go and I'm gonna go read a nice. I'm gonna go find a book. I'm gonna go to the library and read a book. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be off duty tomorrow, more than likely. But I'll. It's below your stream. Wait, if I... me on. Uh, yes. We got a mod view. I will. Can I see the mod view? Yeah, I'll see you there then. I oh, miss my okay, weekends. I can see that now. I miss my weekends. Deadpool Carl, five dollars. What does this do? So getting shot Thank of you. shit that on duty. Anything else going on? Uh well, uh, I have one matter that has been raised to me. Uh, uh, Lord. Uh, Let me hear this. Two o two. I'm gonna be going forty two. Thank you guys for everything today. I'm very sad I couldn't patrol with you, but 
Thank you for keeping that shit locked down. You're okay, let me find the job. reports. It is... God, I hate Essentially, these. it's an illegal oh, search. Now. I've been informed of an illegal yeah, search. Uh, an, an, an individual you? that... Uh, oh, fantastic. I'm up there. I have a decent relationship with. Uh, report 2012 and uh, 2011. Active shooting investigation. Uh, essentially, some... A Greek boy that I have met once or twice, uh, rolled down there, uh, shot a bunch of individuals and left. Officers arrived on scene, GSR tested everyone, they're all negative, and then searched them. Hey, so you said 2001 and 2002? Uh, 2011 and 2012. Alright. Um... Cole O'Connor, Austin Johnson. So we got two fucking seniors that were on this. Yep. I got my receipt. Your receipt for what? Send that to Captain, then you can pass it over. It took them so long. Honestly. See, <laughs> Muffy and Enzo working for the goddamn Attorney General's office. I. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, well, After all the least, fucking uh, shit that they put me through. I mean, I'm all. I'm going to be honest, wasn't the Attorney General's office like their first fucking problem? Yes. And when I was trying to mend things uh, with the Attorney General's office, of they funds. kept making it worse. Like I was a traitor. And... Yeah, en Enzo tried to start a whole fucking union because of them. You know, um, you know, the irony of Muffy presenting the receipt is the fact that she went to the Chief Justice to... 50,000 went to the Attorney General just for doinking. Jesus, that had better be a good fucking doink. Uh, I... In Vietnam, a whole platoon of men could have gotten a doink for $15. Oh, Jesus. Yep, it was just ironic. Just... Uh... I'm of the opinion that uh, in negotiations about what the uh, Marshal's Department should even be doing, we should try and gut them for some of the abilities that they already have, i.e. ability to patrol as a normal officer. Uh, they should That's what they're trying to do. Yeah, we should specialize them as, okay, do investigations, especially anything with government corruption. And then apart from that, uh, they can go after individuals' vehicles for repo. Uh, yep. And maybe hunt fines. down so, individual who have not done fines. Uh, other than that, Warrants. that is... Yeah, warrants. They, they, they could be glorified bounty hunters. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you need 77? Let's see how long they appreciate being in the marshal's office when it's just a shit version of a cop, but with more power. Well, that, well that's, that's what they think. They think they have more power, but they won't have more power over this department. I mean, Enzo, uh, during the yeah, mayoral... Yeah, I just saw... Uh, so what do you want me to do with the, the motion? Like, when do I... The are they gone? No, they're still here and back, but just, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Tell like, them. I mean, like, Enzo's got his little badge on, his little little side holsters, his fucking arm holsters, holsters now or whatever. I don't know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, but they can't. They don't have SOPs. Nothing. Right, they're just going in and been... out of the PD building though. Like it's nothing. Well, like they're at the back doors, going in and out. Like, I, I mean, what? Are... Tell them. Like, I mean, I just tell them. Like, okay, oh. guys. Like, I think Riggs wanted MRPD, so if they wish to hang about, I would inform them that MRPD is potentially the, the their police station. Yeah, well, they, they needed Enzo to be promoted temporarily uh, in the PD because they wanted yeah, to test out the to, uniforms and cars. Promoted fucking what? Well, basically, so they have access to everything, so the captain uh, on the don't, database. He, don't, he, don't, he, 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 he doesn't, doesn't need captain sergeant. to have access. Yeah, Actually, sergeant I, gets okay. fucking everything. I think senior. I'm, oh, no, senior, you don't get access to the M16. Okay. But that's well, so it. can I go put him back down to officer or what? Um, uh, I need a ask if they're finished because we need to, we, you know, we're getting out of here. All right, go ahead. All right, well, I'll just go put him down to sergeant. And then I'll go ask him.
They don't need anything. They fucked around. They can go. No, we're at. It looks like this fucking GSR test wasn't even fucking recorded, Washington. Yeah. Uh, so luckily I have a very good relationship with Roy uh, and a decent relationship with Billy. But they seem to inform me that uh, it may have been Cole. I will have to speak to the actual officers, but by the sounds yeah. of it, uh, Cole was the main instigator in this and has illegally searched at least one, if not two individuals. Yeah, I mean, Cole's own report says that he um, relieved her of her firearm with no indication as to why there was any thought process that she might be anything other than a It even indicates that she was a victim in there, so was not potentially a shooter. All right. Well, uh, I mean, that's an illegal search. That's going to bounce back on the department. Uh, what uh, oh. what kind of, uh, Wait, who what did kind of this? punishment are you thinking? Uh, oh, fucking O'Connor. <sighs> Punishment? I, 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 I don't know. It is, uh, at very least, just a strike uh, and a correction in behavior. Uh, yeah. well, uh, they, they have come to me. I don't believe that they are going to be pushing charges. Uh, I can reach out to them and just basically say, hey, we can settle this out of court. I will exempt you of... Uh, actually, I don't know if... I'll see if Billy Blue is allowed a gun. If she is, I can potentially reimburse her for the gun uh, and see if she God. is accepting of that. But uh, at least a strike point for... The, well, there's two seniors on this scene and a cadet and uh, the, the, the male Roy, uh, he identified as a man uh, who looked she, like me uh... with gray hair and then a, another man who was a cadet. So I'm pretty sure that they mean AJ, who is a senior. Uh, and then he identified Madison as well. But he said O'Connor was the main individual. Yeah. Well, uh, the good news is she ain't allowed a firearm. She had an aggravated assault on the 28th of last month. So you got to fuck with that. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, um, I think a strike point's appropriate. Uh, if you won't go all the way up to like a 24-hour suspension or something like that, mm -hmm. if they get fucking lippy with you, then uh, yeah. He should take it on the chin. Yeah, O'Connor may have had man. differences, but he's a good man. Well, if you've had differences, maybe you could ask another sergeant to approach just, again, with the current situation, you know. I think that is smart. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll get someone else to deal with it. You're aware of it. It's just to try and, you know, I think make sure that gray. things... Yeah, you and uh, you and Loretta, I'd, I'd like you to be there, even if you're not the one primarily handling it, since you're the most knowledgeable, since you spoke with these folks. That way, if he tries to bullshit his way out of it, then there's somebody who's knowledgeable who's there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as for a, a, another matter, this is not a complaint, I'm just a, I'm trying to understand. Uh, I have noticed that there has been a large amount of promotions and... Uh, I'm not sure if anybody has really been talking about any of them other than they've just just like i didn't even know aj was a senior i only found he's been out a senior the... he's been a senior for a while he has oh okay yeah well, that, yeah that's... a lot of, a lot of these people have been senior and full officer for a, a short while with the uh people going from solo cadet to full officer that's from the ftos okay because i heard and joe a lot got of them promoted are... and he came to me and he was like is this right i don't think i should be promoted i've been in office of two days and i was promoted by bonnie and the chief didn't even know i was promoted yeah i mean and he he said that to me but um i know for a fact he's actually genuinely solid he's been one of the he was one of the people that was turned down by the previous original show, chief yeah, yeah so he no, I think has he's experience. Good. He he is good. It is very quick, but at the same time, we are so desperate to get actual like we. I know everyone wants uh, everyone wants an officer that fits in with the, um, you know, just the general vibe of the department. But we also need someone that they fit in, but they're not as out there as the others, and they're gonna put their head down and do their fucking job. They need a Washington. Yeah. They need a Washington. Mr. Bahama Mamas. 
I yeah, will, I will, cock rise, I, huh? will, I will self lock again. You didn't finish the last time. Oh, damn it. Oh, then you should make sure he, he does it properly. Sounds like he's going for the attack on that. Crazy town. Oh, yeah. He even took a shirt off when he did it. That's how you know he's a real man of God. <laughs> Only pussies leave their uh, shirts on for self flagellation like that. Well, how is the sitting going to ooze out? <laughs> Uh, that ain't sin, Washington. That's blood and pus from your prior injuries. Yeah, I'm aware, but that, that, that is an element of sin in liquid form. <laughs> and with that, I am going to go 42. All Thank right, you. Uh, have a good night there, Harper. Hold hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, get uh, get together with Gray. You, uh, you got my blessing to do what you suggested as far as that's concerned. Ah, so that sounds comments. good. I'll see if she's around. You know? Cheers, I can even hear. Oh, there you are, Gray. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I think he's actually on duty. It just said it's 513 if you want to bury in the chief's office. Oh, right. oh okay. come on then. Oh, Gray, I need, I need you. <laughs> I fucking love the self flogging bit. I fucking love the self flogging bit. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, just some someone. He's interested in me and keeps saying I flake, but he never gives me a time or a place. Uh, Mac how's it going? Yeah. Isn't he a. Uh, he hits on everyone. Uh, not, he not does. To, not yep. to discourage you. You are. Well, uh, I mean, just, you know. I just, mm -hmm. you know, I'm looking out for you. That, that, that's all it is. Um. Uh, there is an issue with, it's not you, don't worry, uh, you're wonderful. It is report 2012 and 2011. Uh, it's essentially, I started doing that today. Uh, essentially, I was uh, approached by Roy, who is uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, Roy informed me that uh, essentially he had been a victim of a shooting, and that was why he was wheelchair bound. And he was okay. asking if it was standard practice for officers to search individuals who had been shot. I said, uh, I would need further context. Uh, I tried to explain a rough scenario. Then if I arrive, you know, everyone gets detained. Everybody's uh, questioned and GSR tested. If they are negative, then they are left alone. He said himself and Billy Blue were both negative. They were both searched. They both had their weapons removed. Then... They both also had their drugs removed. They were not okay. charged, but they were searched and they were searched illegally, essentially. Uh, this is a, a standard civil action lawsuit against us uh, and a problem. Now, uh, my understanding is based on the reports, we would need to speak to the individuals. My understanding based on the reports is that senior officer Cole O'Connor was the one who searched Billy Blue. Uh, his own testimony doesn't state that she was GSR positive, just that uh, he believed her to be a victim, but searched her anyway and then confiscated items. Uh, okay. Multiple two suspects. Names are known. Two people were seen fleeing the scene as well. Three were gunned down, needing medical attention. Uh, there is no um, statement yeah, or evidence. Yeah, no statement about whether they were GSR positive. Uh, there was no statement about... There's no there's no reason to search them. It's an illegal search. It, uh, we uh, will yep. lose this in the court of law every day of the week. Uh, easy civil case. I don't believe they will go down a civil case route. Uh, but this obviously needs to be corrected. I have a prior bad history with Cole O'Connor. I have recommended strike points for Cole O'Connor. Uh, and once we've heard their side of the story, I want to understand if anybody else also conducted a legal search. Uh, if so, they would also receive one strike point. Um, but, uh, okay. as per the captain's recommendation, it should be another sergeant, 
I, in this case, you, who should issue the uh, strike points. I will be there as well, but I don't wish uh, Cole to think this is some form of revenge or bad blood between the two of us. Of course. Okay. I believe he is on duty. I might... Uh, oh, he was earlier. He's not currently. Yeah, I don't see him around either. Johnson is around, though. AJ is around. And, uh, did, did you mention you talked to AJ or... No, I, I haven't spoken to anybody. I literally just heard about this and immediately came back here to speak to the okay. chief who is rushing off because she's been around for far too long and needs some rest. She's been around all day. Oh, there was also an issue with the onboarding. Uh, a lot of people did not receive their letters because the PO boxes were wrong, uh, or... Um... There was a bunch of scenarios of, uh, what's it? Uh, I don't know, people just arriving late. There wasn't a set given time. We just said shift one and two. Uh, and I realized now that was a mistake. I should have made sure that we had a set time specific. So everyone came at the set time. I feel like every time. Yeah, Rampage, thank you so much for gifting us up. A little less time seems to be on our end, but okay. Yeah, because uh, the chief's been so around for about six to eight hours now, waiting to mm -hmm. onboard people, and they've just come in on ones and twos every couple of hours. Okay. I think we're onboarding uh, Daryl right now. Uh, Poppy and myself onboarded probably five or six or even more today. Uh, Laurie Hatchet, Rory Hatchet, uh, Chuck Swizzy, uh, Oisin, uh, Mac McAdam, Buck Haggard, Carl oh gosh, Slice. Okay. So seven individuals have been done today. Freddie Price still needs to be done and will probably be around. Polly Porgini, Carl Cox, Logan Monroe, Katie Storm all need to come around as well oh my god all right we have a lot yeah that's good though that's good it's busy but it's good um okay i'm gonna read through these two reports and familiarize myself with it i'll, I'll chat uh, with aj i'll, I'll be um, there with you no that's fine uh i just okay i'll be there with you in case they contest it uh but i, I just i don't want to be the one to actually dispense yep. the justice just because of the bad blood i can do it with aj that's of fine course. but i don't actually know if aj legally searched uh, okay. As for the way the strike points work, as far as I have been informed, uh, strike point lasts seven days. Uh, I think if you incur another strike point within those seven days, the timer resets. If you incur three strike points, you're fired. No um, ifs, no I should, buts. <laughs> I should probably mention uh, yesterday, Captain Nolan issued uh, Senior Officer Ace Bishop two strike points. Um, I don't know if there's a place that we keep record of those things. It should um, be on the roster. Okay. Just wanted to, to make you aware because uh, Bishop was having a mental health crisis yesterday. and uh, That's potentially an issue because somebody came up to me today, a baller, and uh, asked me whether uh, they should normally plead guilty or not guilty uh, or given the option to plead guilty or not guilty to a charge and i said yes always and they said to me oh they just said to me you've been ace bishoped <laughs> and sent them. okay okay you know what else i've seen him do a lot recently what's uh, that he offers people community service in amounts that seems normal but is actually terrible Someone will be looking at like 50 months in jail and he'll say, well, I can give you, you know, I can give you six counts of community service. That's more or, time. Uh, it's more time. And you, also the guy hasn't been working for a while. They so can't even do. Yeah. They just go <laughs> to right. jail for longer. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I lit yesterday. He sent a, <laughs> yesterday he sent a security guard at city hall that he maced up to, uh, for five counts of community service and I knew that the guy would end up in jail for 60 months so I drove up there and released him from prison <laughs> yep yep so it just uh that's that's been happening something to be aware of
Okay, I think he just needs to talk to somebody. He seems like a man with, with uh, well, his girlfriend stabbed a judge. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, she did. And it was the good one as well. Or what? Actually, no, mm -hmm. actually, Wade seems like the good one. And, and then he, he, he decided that Riggs was guilty of that charge, even though he clearly fucking wasn't. Uh, after they had done such a bad job at proving that the, the incident had happened, that he basically said, okay, uh, you've done so bad, I'm gonna re... I'm gonna get all of the witnesses back so I can question them myself because you did such a bad job. He then did that, still found it kind of hard and vague to decide whether what happened had occurred and then found him guilty anyway. Wow. Wait, were you not there oh. for that one? For the re one was... with the bus and the tasing? Mm -mm. Oh. I wasn't there. I've seen pictures. You've seen pictures? Yeah, I've seen pictures of him holding a taser. Oh. Also, uh, I, I saw a picture. Uh, someone snapped a picture of him macing that guy yesterday. I, uh... hand you this I don't know how people manage to snap these shots their timing's fucking incredible but wait isn't that bishop yeah that's bishop oh I was talking about Riggs oh Riggs sorry God, yeah, Riggs, that, Riggs sorry. is the one who went to civil case for uh <gasps> potentially tasing someone uh too much by hitting them twice when they were disobeying uh, I, and then I, the judge didn't think that it was proven that he tased him twice, so decided to find Riggs guilty anyway. Gotcha. I, I mixed the two of them up because they're seemingly in a contest to be the most belligerent uh, officer in the department. Oh, also, uh, as expected, uh, Enzo has joined the marshals. Okay, yeah. He didn't say it was going to happen, but I figured that was the direction he was heading. Yeah, as has Muffy. Uh, so I think we're going to increase the failure to pay fines uh, charge. Yeah, everybody in the city seems pretty happy to take the jail time. Yeah, we had a deal for all of the ballers because they were facing 30000 or something in fines each. And then there was some massive agreement that was coming in. And then right at the 11th hour, that charge came in. And all of them had turned around and said, no, we're just going to take the time instead. Wow. Uh, our budget. Our budget. The budget. That would have been a, a helicopter. So I have already spoken to the attorney general, who I think had already spoken to Enzo. They came downstairs, heard my testimony of, uh, I don't know, five ballers coming to the, the front of the desk, asking me how much time they would get and if the fine would be removed. And I said yes, and they all went, hot damn, guess I'm going back then, boys. I got two weeks of freedom, then I'm going back. And I said, oh, great, I will make sure to uh, relay your feedback to the Chief Justice. And they all went, wait, what? And then as I walked away, they were trying to get me to stay, and I just left, went straight to City Hall, told the Attorney General, and he's like, I've heard everything I need to hear. I need to That's speak to the Chief incredible. Justice. So I think we are, we might be increasing the time per 1,000 to at least a hundred months, but maybe yeah. a year. Oh, okay. The chief wants to up it to a year. I, I personally I, think that's a bit over the top, but I mean, it, it's, I have mixed feelings least, about it, but at very least, I think a uh, hundred months per 1,000 is, is pretty good. I think 120 is just me personally. I think 120 per thousand is it's there's something about that that's nice, even easy to do the math on what on what that would be. You know, God, these sometimes a cigarette falls out of my mouth and my eyes just go cross. What? Well, what? what I I. You ever have a cigarette fall out of your mouth and then it's like, oh whoa, oh really draws your attention to it. I, I'm sorry. I sidetracked this conversation. Yeah, anything higher than 40 is great. 
here. But we, yeah, we I think we very quickly went from oh this sounds like a great change to this is not a good enough change. Yep. That's also funny. I've never thought I'd hear uh, East Side Bala say I'm going back. In such a jubilant Willingly. voice as well. They were yeah. essential. They were basically clapping. They were all at the front, like, "Yeah, I'm going back, boys. <laughs> I'm going back. Tell Poppy. <laughs> Tell Poppy, I'm going back." Oh, that's so good. I, I I wish I was there just to hear it, but also I'm sad that they're so excited. Well, I mean, the time it took from us to raise it in the city council me meeting and the justice to reinstate the. The law for failure to pay was a less than 12 hours <laughs> so i have a feeling within the next 12 hours that law is going to change drastically yep i i actually i just uh had a 38 with somebody who ended up getting uh intended dis in distribute uh possession of firearm etc cetera, etc cetera. um but he had 3400 dollars in unpaid fines and i was like unfortunately you know there's charges for that now but uh the bright side is you'll be exempt from paying those fines and he said wait really and i said yep and he said fuck yeah please do that i told him the amount of time he was going to be in prison and he said yes please so it definitely needs to change Oh God. Oh God. Uh, I don't know if you heard that radio traffic. No. What was it? Uh, you remember Alice? Do you need to pick up? Alice. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, uh, her and her, I don't know, her boy, they're around. And Seven, causing seven, the usual mayhem. You know, actually, it's times like this being commands nice. I gotta, I gotta take care of some things in the office. Current got somebody on the ATM. My two hundred four is forty two. Okay. <laughs> Listen, buddy. Don't say that. Hey, there he is. Oh, oh there. I was there he is. Oh, what's up? They're in here kind of like hassling people. So we are not hassling, hassling people. Did you, did you tell oh, you yeah. you yeah, me? Me. We would not, No, we have a very specific question. Right. Holy hell, it's Ace. Hey, kid, did yeah, you tell one of your clients to never pay fines? What? No, no, Ace. The, uh, the ballers Ace. came in here. They found out how much it is. And then when they realized that they have $30,000 in fines and how much time Holy they would get fuck. for it, they said, oh, hell yeah, boys. Send me back. I'm going to jail, boys. Uh, so the chief justice is aware and the times are being amended. Uh, we're thinking maybe a day per uh, a thousand. <laughs> okay, I actually don't know what you're talking about at all. That oh, sounds pretty cool. Uh, essentially, if you don't pay your fines and if you reach, you know, the time limit and you're overdue, uh, per $1,000, you will spend 40, jail, uh, 40 uh, months in jail and your fines and then it gets will be... wiped, right? Yes. So now everybody is stating... They will not, uh, they, they will not pay any fines and they'll just serve the, serve the time. Is there a vehicle on scene? They're, they're uh, so that's right, being amended. Right. Okay, so people are coming in and turning themselves sure. in, so that... Uh, they will be, uh, pretty much, yeah. Saw a pirate app. Okay. Back and, alley. and Ace, to be clear, no. I tell everyone to pay, if they are waiting for trial, I tell them to pay their fine because they would get that awarded back in the trial why the fuck are you wearing a helmet what are you talking about yeah why, why are, are you wearing, wearing a helmet? fucking helmet yeah, why i'm not are wearing, you wearing a helmet? helmet you are wearing are you a helmet there's us? a helmet on your fucking head <laughs> gotcha wait this fucking guy no, you, you, oh is this from the football show. injury it's uh it's related to that i've had three serious concussions in two I'm days and uh cold. i had a brain bleed operated uh, on so yeah. I have to wear this when I'm walking inside. All right. Well, some kid's head exploded. Uh, yeah, Basically. that also happened. Uh, oh, well, kids. Uh, kids. Oh, I thought you said kids head exploded. No, no. Well, well, kids, kids, we, we have an empty Basically, room upstairs that I use when I feel right sinful now, to yeah, self-flog myself. But if you wish, you oh, can okay. sit in there in order to, you know, avoid the getting flagellation injured. Room. Yeah, yeah, it's my self-flagellation room. I All right, I got I got to go. Uh, is, is, has anyone seen Greco?
Uh, well, Greco no. has been around, uh, yeah. but I haven't yeah. seen him for at least an hour he, he or so. He has like 40 security men now. He thinks he's the coolest guy. Mr. He's security Hall guy. Third floor. Floor. Yeah, Mr. Right. Powerful, right. Wizard of Law. Okay, um, what, what do you require of me? You said you needed, you needed to speak to me. Yeah, uh, so with the PD guys, uh, for the PD team, if the, the office upstairs, I um, I, just to have their presence here so they can be a little bit more um, removed and avoid any sort of conflict at the, at the City Hall, I think it would be wonderful so they could just, oh, akin General. to having like Andy here, for instance. Attorney General is right here. Wait, I, no, that's I already, Buffy. Uh, no, the attorney general's behind them. I did okay. already agree that they could have a room of stairs. Awesome. Yes. Uh, so the, the only thing is, um, I think yeah. only Jimothy would yeah. really need uh, a key. Jimothy's the team lead. I don't know how that's designated, or if, if one of you would open the door, um, would they be able to leave that door unlocked? Or are there multiple doors? There is just the single door, and then the office okay. is unlocked. Uh, I cannot, so that's all they would need. Okay. Uh, I cannot promise it would always remain unlocked. I will unlock it. But okay. uh, 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 essentially, I'm not going to give them keys to the building. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. So it, but it, I will it, attempt it's, to it... leave it unlocked when I can. Okay. How many Perfect. units do we have? All right. On the so e? all they would have to do is ask for it to be unlocked. And yes, we, we already do that, kid. It's terrible. It's awful. It doesn't work. Yeah. Man. But it seems like it's either you get keys to the whole building, and that seems like a no. I mean, we, we're DOJ employees. We already have the whole. M you know, the whole MDT doesn't matter, does it? We're just representing the police. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, there is definitely an issue if I give you keys to the building because then that gives you access to, uh, I don't know, PD weaponry armory. and armory, uh, well, I mean, our whole yeah, evidence system. We could system. go in there. There's a clerk there all the time. It'd be crazy if we could get in there. I'd, I'd agree with that, yeah. Uh, I, I, I trust your good faith, you know, uh, rationale there. Uh, the reality is, is I have often had my, uh, people abuse that good faith, even though they've told me that, 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 you know, they would not. Uh, I understand, Rosner. Um, I would, why don't... I go up to that medium room very often. You both seem to be around roughly the same time as I am, so we could mostly ensure that you will be able to get in and out of there. Uh, at very least, uh, I mean, you could still use this whole area uh, and the downstairs. We can use this area here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Could you also tell all the offices that we are available for them for any reasons, even if they want to invest in businesses or anything like this? Is there like a sign we could put up or like just give it a dispatch that we're around for any legal advice? Yeah. A member of the PD has. So it's just legal advice, period. They're, they're your lawyers available for you. You don't need to go to private. They're your lawyers for any needs in general, period. Oh, uh, yes, I, I can advise officers up there. Okay. That would be great. Thank you. That's, and, uh, that's Mr. the hope. Mr. That Mr. You... Josiah Douglas as well. Yeah. Because right right now, it's, it's it seems make like they're one only being bomb. tapped for so-and-so tase this person. And it's it seems like the only person, only one person is being tapped, you know, is, is u utilizing them. So we just want to Yeah, these things that. will take some time. Uh, I mean, I'm st it's still taking me time to get people to use goddamn prosecutors for felony charges. Oh, yeah. Which, oh, yeah. you know, is obviously uh, a much more frequent event than uh, the officers needing uh, a defense attorney. Agreed. Uh, could oh, I, oh, I, could I make know that. one suggestion there, Hawaiian shirt? What size are you going? Suit. Or very least, a, a shirt and tie. Uh, oh yeah, I have one. I'm, uh, I've just been okay. going from place to place. Having uh, yeah, I think he came yeah. in from vacation today, so he has That's an, uh, fine. It's just, you know, know I, I like the white leather pants and the sneakers. Um, I can assure you that any officer who meets you for the first time, you stand in front of them and you go, I'm your defense attorney. They're going to go get the fuck out of this, this room, you lying bastard. Or I, I will apologize arrest for you. my appearance. No, you're fine. I just... I just, I'm just trying to make, you know, the transition to you being a regular, uh, an easier affair. Hey, Jim, it's okay. I have a helmet on right now. Okay? You do have a helmet on. I think if you also approached me and I didn't know who you were and you said I to said, me, Hey, I am the head of the lawyers. <laughs> Yeah, I would have gone, all right, yeah, great. Just like the two individuals who approached me earlier and said they were taking photos of the damn PD had no camera on them Ooh. and were both born in 1999. 
Yeah, no. Yep. Uh, gotta love our time travelers. Yep. Did that happen? No. That happened. Uh, a lot worse things happened. We won't be seeing them again. But that that, <laughs> that was the fun stuff. The rest of it was not fun. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. I think this is exactly the step in the right direction. I think if there's growing pains, obviously, with a lot, let's stop. Let's start with just working with the team here. I think awareness of, hey, they're up there. This is where they, they are going to work and be available. And there's a group awareness of when you guys are in office um, will hopefully help with the unlock door. And if it is a major problem, then we can have a discussion, say, with with chief harper and the ag about can we give one person a key that like jim the thief head of head of the team like for instance you know what i mean oh but oh, i would great say news, let's by the way sorry just completely I, yeah. I, I went to go alert all officers i was gonna put a uh, uh a little message on their desk uh, we've just been advised by the doj uh that they're looking at revising the failure to pay fine charges i would anticipate a change within the next 24 to 48 hours maximum well there it is there it is well they sure uh ace bishop sure found that that hole that, that uh, uh no I, that flaw no i think it was more we had a very that that, that deal i mentioned oh, that 30k yeah yeah so, so there was multiple members of the ballers and there was a warrant out for one of them they all had multiple ois or officer involved shooting warrants you know multiple oh second degree attempted murders there was there was a lot so the sec it was like the second that went into effect the multiple like uh was applied yeah, they went from I oh, see. we have a collective of thirty to forty thousand dollars in fines to pay. This is going to make us destitute. Uh, we want to make a deal. Uh, some deal had been arranged, was about to okay. be signed. They were going to hand a guy in for his his fines as well. And then they found out about the failure to um, pay the failure to pay Holy fines charge, hell. and they all went no deal. We're all going back. <laughs> I have never heard felons so excited to go to jail in my life. Yeah, that's um, that's really interesting the way they approached it too. Um, yeah, wow. they screamed it in the middle of this lobby. I told them, okay, thank you for the feedback. I will relay it to the chief justice. And they all <laughs> suddenly got very anxious. <laughs> hey, this is even one of the uh, chief justice's vacation days. I think he's at the lake today. So uh, it's very good that he uh, was able to respond and, and dig into this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I did just mention it to Nolan. Nolan sounded slightly upset. Yeah. All right, well. I'll, I'll get out of your hair. I'll let these guys get to work. Uh, Thank I'll, you so much. What are your two names again, sir? Just so I recall. Jimmy Z. Pierce. Yes, I'm, I'm Richard, Richard Flappy. We also have a Josiah Douglas on the team as well. Yeah, Josiah Douglas. You've seen Josiah around. He's always I've seen all the of dapper you around. suit yeah. hat. Yeah. Josiah might have the best voice in the entire DOJ. Timothy Pierce, so. Josiah Douglas, and Richard Floppy uh, all uh, hired as uh, defense attorneys for the yeah, PD. Yeah, the PD defense. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If you need legal assistance uh, or advice or, or any defense, God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. Uh, please do not hesitate to contact any of them. Um, God, let's think. Of course, thank you. Uh, what was that? Um, yes. oh, post, do you have all of your postal addresses? Do you have Josiah's as well? Or? Yeah, I do. Uh, All okay. what, right, what, what is yours? Mine is UG310. All right. Uh, ultimate Gangster. Got it. Then give, me, give me one sec to look through my notes to get your slides. Mine is ID2... Sorry, correction. ID427. He's got a station. All right. And Josiah's is... L O two nine 
Easy. All right, so Jimothy Pierce, Ultimate Gangster 310, and Josiah Douglas is uh, uh, Lima Orange 292, Richard Floppy, uh, Indigo Delta 427. Yes, sir. Okay, I will draft a note. I will send it to all of our officers, put it all over their desks. I will inform them that you will be using an office upstairs. Uh, which will also probably be utilized by Marjorie at some point. In fact, we could probably just give you the meeting room. Uh, as long then, as it, as long as we have a space where we can talk to offices, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and the yeah. added benefit of the meeting room is it is really hard to lock and unlock. So if I manage to unlock it, good fucking luck anybody relocking it. Oh, there you go. Perfect. In fact, I'll try and go unlock it right now, and okay. we might yeah, spend I'm some time. I'm really curious where this is. It hasn't been seen at all. Howdy there, janitor. Hey, janitor. Hello, gentlemen. Fine day we're having. Oh, so right here? Oh, that's great, actually. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is perfect. ideal. Yeah, this is perfect for you guys. Because the officers rarely use this room. Uh, it's impossible yeah. to lock or unlock, so you got super lucky I got that on the first go. Uh, you also have the window here, so if you ever are locked in here, knocking on this window and waving and hollering... They will see you. Yeah, yeah you will be they seen. They will see you. Uh, you're also... Any officers coming up will see you through the window. You're not hidden and hidden away in a corner. In fact, we could probably even leave a note on the door saying, you know... Um, PD defense hey, team. The chairs are are nice too, guys. Look, they're not like the dick table chairs. Oh, they're actually. Good. Yeah, we have an actual table. Look at that. Oh, look, look, hey, we speak go. to each other officially. This is great. Mm. Awesome guys. Yeah, yeah, I do like this. All right, so yeah. how? All right, like we're taking bets. How long until we all die? What? What? Uh, I'm not gonna die. Listen, we, just we're, we're defending ace bishops. Come on. No, no, no. Yeah, I got. Wait, ace bishops, multiple bishops. Oh, well... that's. I think he's got a. Uh, he's got a bit of a Florida dialect. Yeah, uh, he had a bit of a bad day. I heard. Yeah, we've all had a bit of a bad day. I think recently. Yeah. Unfortunately. But yeah, uh, I, I get that. See, that's why I just sell. Do you guys want to see my self flogging room? Yeah, that'd be Come good. on, I'll that. show you my self logging room. I, I do want to see. I thought you I thought you said it was your flatulence room at first. No, 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 no I don't no, fart no, in there. No, I just no, whip no. myself. Yeah, and I would, Richard, please. I would say lock it if that's what Richard thinks it's for. Well, I, I mean, can't now lock I it. Now I think it's for sexual oh, this is oh, great. Nice. Oh, I had one of these. Oh, this oh, is like yeah. Robin's old office. So I just, no distractions. Nothing. I just I just hey, stand just here in the corner, you know. Yep. Wow. And this then just, you nice. know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. There he goes. Oh my god. I okay. feel like I have a new fetish at this thing. <laughs> well, I mean, sure. Jeez. Well, if you Man. feel like you have a new fetish, I'd recommend going to that corner and purifying yourself. Yeah, oh. I, I, I will not share my whip, though. This is my uh, black leather bound uh, golden cross whip. Where uh, did you buy your black leather bound golden uh, cross? I made it myself. Can you make me one? Uh, yeah. No, I'm not Not really. Uh, I Can have you show me the money. journey in which you took to make yours? Uh, I'm sure I could speak to a director and we could fathom up some three hour long, uh, you know, Move, it probably I just really would, into I a need book. a whip for that corner. Are I'll you kidding it, me? But I'll I just call see it the right there. Instead the of the alchemist, I... what should I call it? The leather worker? Oh, oh uh, yes. Yes, uh, I think that's it. The leather smith. The tanner. The haberdasher. Yeah. yeah, the haberdasher. The haberdasher is the hat maker, right? Uh, well, yeah. Yes, but it's still with the, the whipper dasher. No, leather, yeah, leather worker's fine. The whipper dasher. Oh, the the whipper dasher, yeah. Oh, I like it. Well, now you know well, this room exists. We better get room out. We, we gotta get out of so here. So if I'm ever looking for you, nice I uh, know where to find you, Rosner. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be in here. Okay. I, I have a lot of moments like of struggle. Yeah. Meeting room a lot. I really can't wait to, to whip myself. 
want to put a sign up. Oh, fuck, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, uh, yeah, just it's something unobtrusive. I, I'm already having a go at some people. Uh, generally, not individually. But putting uh -huh. notes on their desks and trying to claim desks. Because, you know, yeah. I don't really like to see that there is donuts downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, something there. very yeah. unobtrusive. It, it gets kind of annoying, but for minor things, I, 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 I'm fine with it. All right. Oh, Daryl! You, you guys seem oh. pretty set up now. Uh -huh, all right, Daryl, yeah, have you done it? Good to see. He hasn't done <laughs> he it yet. He's got to do it. Right, come on with me, Daryl. Come on with me. <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, you gotta on. come with me, you bad boy. Okay. All right, on the Take on the podium. Seat, no, not not taking the seat. I want you front and center. Right. Okay. Salute. I face the flag. Uh, <laughs> Constitution, let's be out of office. All right, Daryl, I want you to repeat after me. Oh, I, I, after me. And now your name. I, Daryl Dale. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do you solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support or defend. And defend, not all. Well, I will support a defense. The Constitution of the State of San Andreas. The Constitution of the State of San Andreas. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. To the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. That I will take this obligation freely. That I will take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will, will, and faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. <laughs> upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I <laughs> am about to enter. Welcome to the force, there, Daryl. Oh, God damn right, sir. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you on board. It's a it's a pleasure to be here. Nah, right, now don't fuck it up. <laughs> God damn right. <laughs> there won't be any fucking up. Hey, Mr. Washington. Ah, oh, howdy. How we doing? Come on Good out. to see you. Good to see you. I'm Good here for uh, you here for a onboarding. Week. All right, all right. Well, uh, damn, Cobb, have you just started with Daryl here? No, I'm just finishing up, actually. Oh, Lord. Okay. Do, do you know if the uh, captain is upstairs? Uh, he just came back, so he should be, yeah. Okay. What the hell is this? Right All right. Well, one second. Wait here. What is, uh, 539? Okay. Uh, give me one moment. Yeah, whatever you need, sir. We're just going to get you employed, and then I'll run you through it. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, I don't need to shit yet, boy. I'll shit in a minute, all right? You better, you better be there to watch. <laughs> yeah, be <laughs> this fucking PD, bro. <laughs> Uh These are the individuals that held a deal hostage. Do we know if the captain's around? Okay. If that's what they're in the, uh, GTA, um, oh, Lord. Are you injured, sir? Are you injured? No, the restroom no, no, no. is spotless, so it is oh, very Lord. slippery in there. You need help? Oh, that sounds like help? a lawsuit. Hey, oh, God, what? Austin, I think Daryl's high. It looks like we had a GTA come in from What's East wrong? Joshua Road, uh, but that, that's a decent I'm by the podium. What do you mean you're not on the podium? <laughs> I'm in the fucking roster. Where are you? Vehicle, seen, uh, north, Go to sleep, Daryl. What? <laughs> what? 
What did, what just happened? I know. Mikey also All right, uh, Bryce, follow me. Just run that bush can't see him anymore. They out there somewhere on the highway and maybe in the woods to the west of Sonora. I appreciate the uh, opportunity, sir. All right, then you're all good. Now on 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 the stage here. Yeah. Yes, sir. What the hell happened to Daryl? I don't know. All right, face the flag. Yes, of course. Salute. Right, s salute. By a, uh, a red yeah, I'm. You know, just. But don't think of the E part, just salute. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> Wait, have we have broken podiums. him as well? It's the podium! Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, I got it. Because I heard somebody else there for a moment yeah, and it really that? threw me. Who was that? <laughs> Price, have you found your. Oh no, I'm fucked up. <laughs> okay, we're doing this somewhere else. You might need to nap. Yeah, we're doing this somewhere sucks. else. So fuck this stage. This is ruining it all. Oh, no, he's <laughs> lost him. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> How is this breaking, people? I don't know. I did it fine. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? <laughs> what is wrong with this stage? What? what? Right, we, need an exorc we need an exorcism. We, we need do an need exorcism. It. We do need it. Yeah, Luckily, need I'm that. ordained. Give me five minutes. Oh, wait, no, okay. I don't have my robes here. Oh, well, you need to change. Yeah, you can change the. I need to go and get robes. I don't know what. Oh, hey, uh, how, how, welcome back, Nelt. We oh. also killed Price. Yeah, we killed another one. You killed Price? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, we got him on the stage. We told him to salute. And somebody else said, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> it was real strange. Well, uh, I think the pepper spray is getting to my fucking hand. <laughs> Oh, holy fuck. I'm gonna have to change again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get your shit. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that done. Yeah. You want me to wait for you guys? We're gonna go do that night. Uh, You're pretty much done. Um, what was just... the last thing you needed to show him? I think I'll, I, I'm honestly, I'm blanking. I don't think I need to show him anything else. Uh, show him the car, show him the uh, Frank uh, 4. Okay. Uh, got his clothes, got his gear, pepper sprayed him in the face. MDT? Didn't even give me a warning. Oh, yeah, we do gotta show him the MDT. Yeah. Ah, right, so yeah. Uh, MDT and then uh, radio. Have you shown him how to use the radio? Yep, yeah. show him how to do the radio. Uh, uh, yeah, MDT is real simple. It's just pull up your MDT. <laughs> we were look, he was looking at it earlier when he was looking at his own picture. So. Mm hmm. And uh, Poppy showed me how to like sign in, which yeah. <laughs> might have to do that. Yeah, so you gotta do that yeah. to. Yeah, do all that again, and then if you want to go off duty, you got to do it all in reverse. Okay. Yep. We need to promote Poppy. Oh, this ought to have been in discussion. Uh, many people have recommended her uh, as I have expressed to her there's a couple of things we want her to be uh, she's being held to a higher standard and she knows it yeah. and we have informed her that she will be held to a higher standard because we have higher expectations of her
Uh, yeah, generally avoid that farm unless you have reason to go there. Individuals that shot in the area. Uh, yeah, I'm aware. Just, just as a kind of tidbit to everybody, just kind of avoid that farm if possible. Yeah, yeah, we we do. All right, go get your clothes on. <laughs> I've really fucked him up, didn't I? Holy shit! Shots fired, code four, this time, unable to locate. Warjack get hired? Yeah, let's go. Don't think of the E part, just sit Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we've broken podium. him as well. It's the podium. Okay. Yep. All okay, right. I got it. Because I heard somebody else there for a moment yeah, and it really that? threw me. Who was that? Price, have you found your... Oh no, I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're doing this somewhere else. You might need to nap. Yeah, this this <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I'm just now saying that that is right at near the sheriff's office up there. We, we saw him. He has. He's going north. He's, he might send his motorbike into the ocean. Yep, yeah, he's he's going north. He might have just sent the bike into the ocean and swam away. <laughs> I got a diving suit. Where is he? Uh, so yeah, for the MDT, it's pretty simple. Um, there's not really much you can do oh, okay. to explain yeah, other than to just kind of explore it. The penal code doesn't work until that's your uh, actually put charges in on somebody. But you can look okay. the, you can do yeah. civilian searches, you can do car it's searches. Majority of this MDT you're going to learn on the, like, on the field. So just make sure that you uh, talk to your FTO when it's time to start arresting somebody. There is a penal code mm -hmm. tab, but don't l trust it. It's a yeah, goddamn liar. Okay, fair enough. Um, the MDT does track your uh, activity. So make sure that you always sign in every day and that you make sure you sign off duty and go actually go off duty. Otherwise, you're going to end up cutting everybody's pay and we will kill you. Okay, okay. So, uh, so, okay, okay. so, uh, don't... sorry, sorry, just to clarify, uh, uh, you need to sign in at the desk and then you need to sign in on the MDT afterwards. Yes. And then to sign out, sign out on the MDT and then sign out at the desk. Uh, the key point okay, so, uh... is, the key point is, do not just sign off on the MDT and then leave the building because you will still be getting paid as if you are on duty. If you do it no. the other way around, if you sign off at the desk and leave, everyone will see you on duty, but you still get paid normally. That won't dock up pay, but just try and remember, sign off at MDT, sign off at desk. It's a okay. pain in the that's, ass. That's I know a, it. <laughs> and that's on that alt click, uh, clipboard up there, and then on the yeah, MDT, is that what it is? Uh, yeah, do MDT first for signing off, because obviously you can't access the MDT once you sign off at the desk. Too. Turn also, off your radio before you yeah, go off. Because you will okay. hear the radio and it is also a pain in the ass. Okay. Right. Okay, welcome back, right. Price. Let's let's get you through here. Let's not do it okay. there. I have a feeling you're gonna want to get nude if we go there. Let's try this one instead. Oh yeah, sure. Alright, stand in front of the flag. And salute. All right, repeat after me. Ah, name. Hey, Quidwick Place. I do solemnly swear or affirm. Get back on the back. Do solemnly swear and affirm. 
that I will support and defend that I will support and defend of the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. The Constitution of the State of San Andreas. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. All enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. To the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any <sighs> mental reservation. All purpose of evasion. Or self-preservation. No, no, all purpose oh. of evasion. Oh, <laughs> or purpose or evasion. <laughs> and that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully. And discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Welcome to the force there, Officer Price. That's it? Yeah, that's your, that's your, that's the oath, the oath of office. Well, yes, sir, yes, sir. I appreciate the opportunity. Like I said, you know, you ain't gonna regret this. There's no way. Uh, I ain't gonna let you down. You better not, because I will be mighty upset, and I will make you face the judgment of the Lord. Of course, of course, sir. I will follow you into the depths of hell without self-preservation. No, no, you really should, should keep, keep that self-preservation then, Price. I don't want you, you get, getting killed over nothing. Getting killed for this job would mean everything to me. Status check on that 80? You have no idea what difference this is going to make in my life. Well, I mean, it's a well-paying job when, you know, there's lots going on, and I, I think you'll make a fine addition, but it, 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 I'd be better if you continued that uh, life. That's what I show you. But whatever the cost, I'll have your back. Well, Everybody I'm in this department. The uh, likewise. I actually, I much prefer his, his golden Perfect. cross. Right now. Uh, two or four to Nolan. Is anybody near the captain? Yeah, sorry, two seven eight. I'm back on radio. Oh, uh, I got another new hire here. When, if you're near a computer. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Do we got one of them in Sandy? Uh, maybe. I can't guarantee. Two seven eight seventy six down to Davis. Oh, ten for us. You shortly. Right. Okay. The captain is on the way. The captain will hire you, and then we'll run through your orientation. Yeah. I'm trying to get him uh, into the. Uh, Fantastic. The other stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's <laughs> less pressing. I don't. I don't yeah. wish him to just stand around here all day. But. Yeah, yeah. And what is the uh, captain's name, if I may ask? Uh, captain Malcolm Nolan. Copy that, sir. He is a scary individual, former vet. Uh, keeps talking about Agent Orange and stuff he used to do for Nixon. I don't know. He's not a fan of trees. No, that's more Tex. He doesn't mind the trees so much. Uh, he doesn't like commies and keeps talking about how LSD is a very uh, well, persuasive technique. Having, like, uh, four of these people come in or something like that. Okay. Well, uh, uh, uh push him like I do use with my life. And I'll follow you into the darkness. No matter where it leads us, together we will stand against the impunity of the peoples of this nation and destroy uh, them all. I'm, I'm checking the list now. Uh, I don't imagine the EU individuals will be coming, so this might be the last one for tonight. Uh, howdy there. Um, we, we, hey, howdy. We got their bike uh, I was looking to talk to an officer. I got a hell of a lot of fans. An officer told me I could potentially go to prison about that. Yeah, <laughs> have you have you paid the fans? I have not. Oh, what is your name? Uh, what's up? 
Uh, Marshall, Marshall Brown. These uh, vehicle access. registrations we got for people. Yeah, we can take stuff on your testicles. The same way we can. Uh, what? Yeah, for people. Could we get a picture yeah, of that Jack, bike in there? Jack's testicles have gone Yes, I asked range, Mikey so. to take a photo of the bike and uh. Hey, y'all quiet down over there talking about balls? Uh, Marshall, face no. away from me. <laughs> you arrested me? Yep, you're, you're under arrest. Alright, uh, but remember I gave myself up. Put that in the report. Alright. Yeah. Oh! Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, have you got anything on you that I should be aware of? I hope not. I didn't know I was being arrested. Why do you have so many damn photos? I have to look through all of these. God damn it. Hey, look through all of them, man. I look really cool in a lot of them. <sighs> the thing is, I don't have a lot of room in me, so I gotta look through them individually. Okay, there's a picture uh, of you on a bike. Valley. Yeah, I just bought that. Oh, there is a lot of cuffed people in here. This is a picture of you in, in a car, a police car. Yep. Under arrest. Uh, let's have a look at this one. This is a picture of you in the cells being arrested in a different oh, outfit from the previous <laughs> one. Uh, hmm? this one is. Know. Roger just said he was onboarding somebody and no one has to hire him. I can come back to onboard. Oh, this is a picture of you getting beaten the shit out of by your own wheelchair. Yeah, that's how I got put in the wheelchair. I fell off. Uh, this is a picture of you getting a lap dance whilst in your wheelchair. That's sinful. I might need to go flog. That was a good day. Uh, this is a picture of officers that have you taken whilst in the cells of the former Davis PD. Uh, time, this is a picture of a man with blood on his face being arrested by AJ. Yep. I still got to find that guy. He snitched on me. Uh, this is a picture of you in, in your wheelchair next to a PD cruiser. Uh, God damn it. This is a picture of... I don't know what this is. Just you are in a you, wheelchair with a couple of officers. I guess I am, man. Okay. Uh, this is you getting the same lap dance, but from a different yeah. angle. <laughs> Keep memories of that one. That was a good day. Uh, uh, where the fuck is that new hire? Oh, he's yeah, in the there, front with me. Oh, Cobb, you mind taking Price up to the captain's office to get a yeah. hide? There's my Price. Oh, congratulations. Yes, all right. Oh, uh, and then the final picture is nice one. you in the Fire lobby down. of Davis PD, unconscious. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna take your knife give, off uh, you. I give Andy okay. hundred dollars every day. I can curse as much as I fucking want to. Yeah, I'm taking these lock picks because uh, I can't have you, you know, uh, lock picking your way out of the sales. Oh, Poppy, I think you. That's understandable. Fuck, buddy. That is really nice. Wait, what? actually impressive poppy i do have to say that what, what, i missed though i miss you know talking to y'all in the lobby well you can still do that, you did that now y'all can hide from me what you're not breaking maurice is me. definitely gonna he's gonna find a way to get in here somehow uh, you know how maurice okay. might have a problem I was going to say, what's going to happen with him and his fans? Because uh, he's he got like a face, lot more than me. Uh, well, he's got about 1,200 months worth of jail time. Oh, God. So he might want to pay them as soon as he possibly can. Because otherwise, he's basically every time he is spotted, he will be going to jail for an extraordinary amount of time. You, you do realize we live under uh, the freeway in tents. Yeah. Struggling out here, man. Like, life is tough. Yeah, well, I mean, it'll probably be less tough on the inside. I got like a job to pay off my fines in like, like PD. Oh, no, no. You, you, these fines are getting exempted now. Oh, wait. So let me That's work good. this out. Yep. Uh, 150. I really need some water. 385. 920. I mean, like, uh, don't forget, like, I, d I did a lot of good behavior and stuff. 1,075. 500. Okay, so you have three thousand four hundred and eighty dollars in fines. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I I did get a four thousand dollar fine. Is that oh, not on there? That's not on there yet. So that, we won't talk about that one. No, you have uh, how long do you have? Six days to pay that. Oh. 
Well, I'll get right on that. I promise. Uh, we are, okay, so I'm going to tell you how much your time is now, and you're probably going to say on uh, what I expect, which is uh, 120 months, and I'm exempting all of your fines, except for the 4,001 and the 150. Yeah, that sounds good. Wait, I, thought, I, I thought it'd be way worse. Uh, it's about to be. You, you, oh. Yeah. Wait, send me away before you give me the bad news. I don't want to hear it. No, the, the, that's the good news right now. Uh, I will be Wait, sending you away. 120 months is the good news? Yeah, that, that's what you're getting. Uh, uh, essentially, the ballers. Do you know the ballers? I'm part of them. You're part of them? Oh, oh, okay. Well, a bunch of your friends walked into the PD this morning, asked me uh, how pathetically if they had $7,000 in fines uh, from shooting cops. Oh. Uh, how much oh. time would they serve? And I told them it would be about 330 months. And they all went, we're going back, boys. Let's go. Uh, so I relayed their information to the chief justice. Uh, the judiciary is very unhappy. And we might be changing it to uh, 24 hours per $1,000. Okay. Well, what is it currently? Uh, 40 months per $1,000. Oh. Wait, when are you changing that? Uh, very soon. So yeah. I handed myself at the worst possible time. No, you handed yourself in at the best possible time. Because... Oh, from 40 to 24, I thought. Oh, okay. So 40 months, you know, is... You know, that, 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 that feels like 40 minutes. Uh, well, oh. I guess... Uh, yeah, I, uh, it, it's one year, I guess, per 1,000. Is, is the insinuation that is going around at the moment. That's what they're trying to push. Yeah. So, now I get what you're smoking. So instead, you would have been serving... Seven, well, th three years in in jail for your fines. Woo, woo, woo. And, and and that one fine that you got, that would have been four years. I, I couldn't be a better timing. You couldn't have been a better timing. You, you're gonna. You gonna put me away for that four thousand dollar fine? Cause I wasn't gonna pay that one. Ah, uh, well, I can't because you still have time to pay it. I can't charge you with, you know, your fines. I'm not saying I'm not gonna pay it, but there's a good chance it won't be getting paid. Uh, I have a feeling there uh, okay, was it Marshall uh, Brown, right? Okay now. Uh, Ask the one. Uh, they're, they're, uh, I have a feeling that when the law changes, you would be much more inclined to pay that, that fine. Right. Is the Occam's so Freddy's getting hired? I'm fairly so. Very difficult for a man like me to make money, you know? I'm, I'm I mean, Maurice you, I... seems to have a bunch of cars, and he seems to live in the same predicament that you do under the bridge. Well, truth be told, I just bought a bike for $2,000, so... So clearly, clearly, this. yeah, clearly you're not struggling to make that much money. Yeah, but I, I have ways of making money that, you know, sometimes gets me more fans. Right, so you I'm sell not saying, drugs. Not, you sell drugs. Have a good one. Maybe a little. All right. Well, yeah. Um, do you in, mean, in my past life, of course. In your past life. Well, listen, service. you give me all these fines, man. Just going to make me turn to, you know... The streets yeah, again. Okay. You gotta, you gotta I'm like exempting what you're doing your to fines. Me. What do you mean? I'm exempting your fines. What four thousand dollar would? I don't, I don't want to have to sell drugs, but I want to live a little, you know. Maybe I trespassed the government property one time. But four thousand dollars is a lot of money. That's five thousand dollars for trespassing. Yeah, I think I got like a you know a reduction in fines. Well, you're yeah, lucky. I I never reduce fines because I think that's ridiculous. Not even for my charming personality? Uh, no, because uh, people really, really want me to reduce time, uh, fines, but they do not want me to reduce time. So therefore, they are immediately telling me that the one thing that they dislike is the fines, and they are completely fine with the time. In which case, why would I yep. reduce their time? They want more time. People yeah, will often ask for more time so that they could get less fine. Then I'm not punishing them. I'm rewarding them. I guess I see what you're saying. Money's money, man. Time is time. Everyone's got time. No one's got money. I mean, yeah, that's fair. I guess. It sells in here. Fill these up. So, because I'm serving my sentence, all these fines are gone now? Yep. Oh! That is good. Ooh -wee. You still have the 4,001 to pay. That's all fine. 
You ever taste the burgers in prison? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, I actually have. They ain't bad, ain't they? Yeah, all right. Uh, I was only up there for a, a short amount of time. You, you weren't serving, were you? Oh, yeah. But you were? How are you police, man? I, I, I try to become police. They said you can't do it because you were... Uh, well, I didn't, I didn't actually have felt. So what happened was it was, you know, the old Davis PD and how there was only like three cells and everybody was crammed in together. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently my social security number was, was very similar to somebody else's social security number. Uh, Wait, so what? what, so they misfiled the paperwork. The DOC came and grabbed me by the arms, dragged me out of there thinking that I was meant to be huh. serving time and I was kicking and I was screaming and I was like, you know, I, you got the wrong man. I'm innocent. I didn't do nothing. Well, oh, fuck. Yeah. DOC were like, we've heard that one before, boy. Uh oh. Dragged me up to the PD. Uh, sorry, the DOC. And I was in the prison and then I was all up there all alone. An no officer one, without no a badge. Oh yeah. No one to help me. No, I had to. So, uh, something like 10 or 20 months before someone came to get me. Uh, in oh the meantime, you know, 10, 20 months, I had to lie to everybody, tell them I wasn't an officer. Uh, I ingratiated myself with some local Vargo. Uh, oh? Yeah, I made friends with an individual named Felix. I think his so full name... you joined name, a prison gang? I joined a prison gang. Well, yeah, the first day I was there, I watched Juan stab a bullet mark through the eye with a wooden spoon for not handing over his pudding. I knew how yeah, that shit was going to go. Yeah, it was prison. I was like, I need to get in a gang and I need to survive. So, hey. so I, I lied to them all and I started hosting uh, Sunday services for the Vargo and they all, and they took a liking to me, especially Felice Never Dead, uh, who was in life for uh, robbing houses. He kept jumping down chimneys and stealing everyone's silverware by putting it in their sta sack. Ooh, like a hood Santa Claus. Exactly. Exactly. That's what Felix was. Yeah. Oh, uh, but eventually they tattooed me. I, I, and they gave me ink. Wait, what the hell? What they, what they tattoo? Oh, oh they, they put, they put Santa Maria on me. Oh, we, that's said, clean. Yeah. They said I had to do it to be part of the gang. And if I didn't join the gang, well, they, they, they'd put a rusty shank in my, my heart. Yeah. That's how they do it. Yeah. Exactly. Shank, they're dangerous. Yeah, yeah, that's the extra poison damage afterwards. Just if they don't kill you the first time. Well, it does look cool. Now you got a cool story to tell. Well, maybe it wasn't all so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you get like a, a different perspective on the criminal side of life and feel sorry for us? Well, I, uh, I'm not that I am a criminal or anything. I'm literally sending you to jail. This is the, the exact definition of what a criminal would be. Uh, Just because I, I made a couple mistakes, you don't got to call me criminal, man. Ah, uh, well, you're a criminal up until you get out of prison, in which case then you're a civilian again. Oh, well, I'm a civilian for the next six days until I got to go to prison for that fine. Yeah, pretty much. Um, did I get a different perspective? Yes, I did. Uh, and I have started taking individuals to the church and making them pray and repent to the Lord in order to get some extra time off. Oh, well. We got uh, got whenever you want. Give me some time off. All right. Well, it's not going to be now, but maybe in four days when you've got a bunch of time to serve for your four thousand dollar fine, we'll 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 look into it again. How about that? Oh yeah, I go down on my knees in the lobby and pray to the Lord, Lord oh. and Savior. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, that, that it does. All right. Uh, is there anything you want to say before I send you up there? Well. No, 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 I'm sorry. All right. Well, uh, all the best now, Mr. Brown. I do hope to see you again without any criminal activity. I, I hope you do repent. Oh, I appreciate that. I'll try my best, I promise. All right. All the best now. Our DLC will be here to collect you now. All right, bye. This is 277. I have 273 and 232 operating under me. Hi, Washington. Oh, there. Two eighteen, can take one.
77 plus 2 will be uh, 76. The light is unconscious. Call. Mm -hmm. At this point, there'd be more people to send up there. But, I mean, that's good, right? Because then there's more people in jail. There's more people to RP together. Like, it's bad when there's, like, no one in jail. I would just like to notify you guys that we currently do not have any EMS units active. Please help us transport any unconscious people to Pillbox. I'm for it. They want to prison up here. Yeah, the more people that are in jail serving time together, the more chance of them roleplaying together and them creating, like, a cohesive environment. Alright, oh, where's Freddy Price? Uh, He's in here. I got him signed in and uh, going on. Alright, oh, if you want to keep the, the, the facial hair, by the way, the Price, you'll have to go to a yeah. clothing store and uh, change change your undershirt. I uh, understand. It don't matter. My hair grows. I got hair for the rest of my life. Nah, Absolutely. Uh, do you want a back. hat? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I ain't opposed to hats, but... We got the milkman in there, I think. Just step operating. on the drain again, you could find a hat. Yeah, there are hats. <laughs> I think yeah. there's LSPD hat and LSPD, uh, what's it? Campaign the one campaign. Milkman? Yeah. yeah. I can't wear a hat. My hat is with my brown outfit. Also, it messes up my hair. That's for motor unit, yeah. Uh, there is a blue one, I think it's LSPD campaign. Mm -hmm. Wow, I look amazing. But I think I'll go a little more. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Right, I thought you might like that one. Everybody does. All right, what, what's he need to do next? We got I'm him. A, I'm ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> Washington. Uh, also, oh, wait, uh, uh, yeah, uh, just, I just so... a pistol in your pocket, just, have, just so you're aware. He just okay, happened to see you. Sorry. Yeah, uh, uh, just so you're all aware, I have... You know the performer <laughs> therapy room yeah. upstairs? Sure. Uh, I have now oh. designated that my flogging room for when I have sinful <laughs> thoughts. So if you ever oh, hear God. any whipping noises, <laughs> it'll be me in there self-flogging with my, my, my black leather tip. Uh, whip uh, with golden crosses, which I self made. Am I going to have a self flogging room in the house? Yes, Daddy Rosner. <laughs> what, what did you call me there, cop? Am I going to have to have a self flogging room in the no, house? Just... Or is the turret okay for that? The just down the street? The or we, you need to have one closer. Well, I mean, it's just whenever, whenever sinful thoughts happen, it's just, you know, it's just a, Can you make it down a, the street to the church, a, Washington? Just then go, go in the corner and... Oh my god, Washington! Please? Ow! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Everything all right, Shay? Well, you know, just, it, just demonstrating the self law it's a good way to cleanse the soul of sin. Understood. I'll be sure to uh, make use of that area in the mornings. All right, good. Just bring your own flog. I'm not. I'm not sharing mine. This is. This is mine. Pop air. Ten. Ten four. Uh, all right, pop air. I don't want to be flogged again. Well, you don't. Well, uh, what do you mean again? What have you done to my sister? Nothing, sir. Right. Whatever you ask. All right. All right. This way, uh, for good to get you some stuff. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, 
something you're bleeding. Ah, no, it's, it's just sin. If you want to stick your face right by those grenades and then lean into it. Whoa, whoa. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird place. Um, you're going to start, you can buy your uh, gear in there. You're going to want your baton, your flashlight, your pepper spray, your binoculars, your cuffs, basically everything except a gun because I already gave you a gun. Okay, how many uh, handcuffs is uh, just take one? One. You just need one okay, cuffs. Uh, honestly, I'd avoid the binoculars just by a camera. Plus, you're sneaky. Okay, you said a baton as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you bandage sin? Shit. You're bleeding. Can I bandage my sin? Uh, I can't. It'll be fine. Fantastic. And uh, binoculars. Yeah. I like them because they zoom in better than the camera. Oh, see, it drives me mental because you try and look left and right and it's real heavy. But then you try and look up and down and it's real light. I'm just used to them. They feel like... I tell you what they feel like. You know those... Uh, what's it called? The... um. Telescope? Yeah, the telescopes. You put the quarter mm. in them at the pier. They right, feel right. exactly like those. A periscope. Periscope? What was Perry got to do with it? I don't know. I think oh. they're his scopes. Okay, and just uh, one of each of those, yes? Yeah, uh, you want to grab two lockpicks, uh, two. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I honestly never really have more than one on me. I, I don't even carry any. Uh, I have, oh. I think I have 25 in my locker because I keep confiscating them, putting them yeah. in my locker, and then don't know what to do with them. I might just start selling them. <laughs> oh, I gave them away to prove I wasn't the cop once. Oh, did it work? No. Yeah, it did. Smart. Are we using the yeah. armory as our trash or are we using the evidence room? I don't know. Uh, okay, I I'm going. going to, I am going to use the other evidence room, the All one right. that doesn't actually have evidence in it. Oh, smart. I like that. It's the way you ride, and the way you want it. Bam, 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 camera in here is very good. Oh, in here? Get it. What? Take his picture, I'll suck at it. Yeah! It's very easy. <laughs> oh, does that work now? Yeah. Oh, well, no wonder it's hard for me. I do it the long and hard way. Wait, what no, you works? just do it the quick and easy way. Yeah, with the, uh, using that brick. You know, uh, the, no, no, wow. not the brick, not the brick. It is the camera directly above my head. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it looks like a brick. Yeah, it's just the remote. <laughs> yep. Sure. I'm going to be a minute. I'm going to think about milk right now. Like, I'm just going to think about it. <laughs> it's great. I did perfect. It's my, my second best one. Wait, who's you the it? best one? Uh, who was it there? Oyster. Oh, oi, 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 How old are you, sir? 20. 20 years old? Yeah, I'm 20 years old, Sergeant Ross. A pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I'm also 20. I'm legally not allowed to drink, wow. but I can order the execution of an individual if they've committed a crime. I understand. Age is just a number, in my opinion. You're, uh, 
your excellence and your ability to lead, I'm sure, has driven you to these high winks. My hi to, to high what now? Wait, yes. high winks. High right. winks. And what was your num badge number again? 292, ma'am. Thank you. 292, Frederick Place. Good day. Come. I do not masturbate, let alone masturbate while it's on drugs. There is no high wanks oh. here. I don't want to hear you flunking again. A masturbation makes you blind. Yeah, for a spoon, anyway, secret. you can you can uh, <laughs> look at the MDT and see the monks have to take of you. I think it's very good. Oh yes, ma'am. Is yep. there a yep. uh, well, let me see. There you go. It's in the database section. Oh my god. Database, of course. Yes, I need it. <laughs> and then you can look it up quickly. Oh lord. And you're a civilian. I'll go see if I can bandage this in. <laughs> Alright, 204. This is my second attempt to go on 42. Uh, sir, can I talk to you? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's I was about to scream. Real loud. I was about to scream. <laughs> I was going to scream so loud. <laughs> yeah, that would have been good. That would have been good. Fuck, I need to go get another you notebook. Are you going 42 at 0601 p.m.? Uh, thank you. Okay, I need to get rid of some of these pictures. This is ridiculous. I can't. I can't fucking do anything in my goddamn locker. What's this? Okay, I don't know what that is. What's this? 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 That's kind of an amusing image, but I don't really know what that is. What's th God damn it. God damn it. Keeping those. What's this? God damn it. What's this? This is actually a really good photo. What's this? Uh, these were evidence photos. They've already been entered into evidence. I don't need these anymore. What's this? That's the oh, photo of flop. That's funny. We need photo of flop. What's this one? It's another just good photo of me. Okay, great. Okay, what's this one? Okay, don't know. Don't know what about that. Okay, fine. Two seventy seven is en route with another unconscious individual. I'll be there shortly. And four, thank you, two seventy seven. The self-flogging bits are actually really fucking good. I love the self-flogging bit. How is my thing still so heavy? Easily drawn photos. Dirty poster. Poster material. Okay. Dirty poster. Blank piece of paper. Raymond King statement. Post it below. Perfect, thank you. Okay. So, just some of these dirty posts, like some of the dirty posters can remain because they're just kind of funny. The rest of it can all just go throw away.
Like, I can't even begin to describe how many fucking pieces of paper and stuff that I've just thrown away. EU hires, that can all be thrown away. Most of the Saints and Sinner, that can be thrown away. I've already got that. Uh, 29923. So that's like barely uh, any weight. Colors. Like that's quite Sports a bit of weight. Car. We got a hostage. Masked individuals. And that's pretty heavy. Waiting for backup. Is it literally just the gun? We may want another unit. Yeah, I believe there's uh, two suspects. Thirty two, send me fix the latest robbery. Oh, what are you doing, Papa? Contemplating jumping onto a step that is maybe half of. I mean, it's not going to hurt that bad, is it? Uh! Why are you that's jumping? That's hard. That hard. <laughs> Why do you need to jump? Uh, I just did a negative 1,000. What did you do? I did a negative 1,000 speech. What did speech. you do? I said something very wrong. What did you say? I said something really wrong. What did you say? That was going to haunt my nightmare forever. <laughs> what did you say? I can't say it again. Say it again. I talked about computer servers instead of the city. Computer servers? Yep, servers. Oh. I never did that. We have computer servers, they're just not very good. Yeah, no. How do you think no, the MBT the works? I don't, magic. No, it's computers attached to it. Well, they're attached by a silver, and then there's some sort of interwebs, I believe they call it. I negative 1000 in speech. Oh, you tried. That's all that matters. I need to flog. No, you no flogging. I do. No, no, flogging is for sinned. sinning. No, it's not sinning. Uh, uh, no, it's not sinning. <laughs> I personally sin. You didn't you personally. Sin. So I violated my own SOPs. Yeah, okay, then, but your SOPs are not the church SOPs. And nowhere in the Bible does it say if you talk about. <laughs> Ignore it, Poppy. It's over. Let's what? go. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> yeah, you I can't. can't exactly. the it's against. <laughs> it's against the SOPs. No, I just. I just. I just uh, Ow! Oh, I deserve that. Uh, all right. I appreciate your help, Miss Pups. The uh, the evidence locker is down here. Oh yes, of course, sir. Uh -huh. So after you've uh, you know searched the subjects, whatever you need to do. Um. You probably won't be able to access this because you're a cadet and uh no he can see it he just can't put anything in or pull yeah. anything out yeah put your hands Copy on that it. box right there you'll see the our evidence locker right now it's full of shit but it's also full of all the stuff i see it's mm -hmm. it starts with a piece of paper and ends with the battery oh acid oh my god what <laughs> dead chicks whoa what the oh, hell? <laughs> there's two there's two thousand of them there's two thousand dead chicks between november and february coffin fodder no, and there's, the fuck? And there's, there's two thousand and one coffin fodder there's two thousand and two dead dudes between january how has there been two thousand and two dead dudes in three months did you see the, the box of dead midgets <laughs> no, I did, no i did not ma'am I, I saw a lot of things in there like <laughs> right, right here Dead midget takes oh. photo for Xmas card. How many of them fit in there? <laughs> uh, I don't know. A lot. 
I'm leaving. I'm leaving. This is too much. I, I believe they play for a little poison. Uh, yeah, this. Yeah, I pop didn't it. label it. I had you to talk feel to like a cadet that labeled it. Uh, what do you mean solely? I lost it years ago. I, I, I am in a position within this PD department that requires you to be a functioning alcoholic, and I can't legally drink. <laughs> I'm just a, just an officer, same my, age. My brother was a little poison. Hated being called a midget. Always kicked him around. <laughs> He's dead now. Was it? Washington, was it the Washington, result of the my kicking? brother. Oh, we're going this way. Yeah, we're going this way. Wait, wait how did he die? Uh, I it was. It's a bit complicated. So yeah. Was there a kicking related incident? Where there was kicking and there was rolling. It was a lot of things, but he didn't make it. it uh, he's going my down. My parents are dead. I pray he for the, the loss of your brother. My condolences. I do hope he can find a spot within heaven. Thank you. Thank or you, little sir. heaven. I appreciate that, Shui. Is there different heavens? I didn't read that part of the church SLP. I don't know. I'll ask when I go there. In a lot of years though, right? We had a wheel set up, kind of like a hamster wheel. And we kept spinning it and spinning it and... He's going now. <laughs> I apologize, this is unprofessional. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have brought it up. It's but okay, we, I... have, we are like a family here, but Washington and I are actually family. Yeah. Everyone does call me father. I ordained myself. Some of them call me daddy. I do not ever do this as if he is my brother. I understand. No, it would be weird. I prefer it if you just call me. I just prefer it if everyone call me Washington, but I don't control everybody's actions. But that is not his name. His name is Joe Rosner. Oh, where are you from, Price? Uh, Boston. Nah, oh, we yeah. already have a Boston. We have a Boston. Yeah, you're just going to be Price, unfortunately. That's all right with me. Get it right or pay the price. That's what my father always said. The fish are price. We Sorry? already have a Hasbro. We already have Hasbro. Oh, we can't have fish are price. Damn it. All right. No, no worries. No worries. I, I don't need a nickname or nothing. You know, Freddy. Oh, you'll, you'll get one. Yeah. You, I didn't want a nickname. I got one as well. It just well, it I happens. Really, I, I do not have one. Yours is Paula. Poppy. Yeah, that's what I said. Actually, everybody that called me Polly is now fired. Oh, that's our point, actually. That was a curse. Okay, I'm I'm going off duty. I said I'd go off duty about two hours ago. Wait, wait. Pepper spray. Night, pepper spray training. Pepper spray training, please. Oh, well, I don't want to get pepper sprayed. No, you don't. You're right. Oh, okay. Bite. Price, come, come over here, up against the wall. Okay, Shay. Whatever you need. No, over there. Price. Uh, yep. Okay, Price. Uh, do you know the effects of pepper spray? Yeah, fuck shit. Yeah. We're hard. Yeah, there Quiet, it does. Uh, tearing, can barely breathe. Now, now, Price, I need you to do me a favor, and this is an order. I want you to read what it says on my badge here on my arm, my insignia. Uh, go ahead, pop it. No, not with the camera. Yeah, yeah. Put the camera well, away. You just gotta, yeah, you, you open your eyes real wide. You yeah, read I, it? Uh, <laughs> uh, now if, you, if you rub it, it might make it worse. Yeah, you might, you're gonna have to spit there. All right, Price. Now you know the effects of pepper spray. You will be fully in the know and understanding of uh, what happens when you utilize it, and, and will therefore understand the destructive power of it. Perhaps with that knowledge, you will only utilize it when it is properly adequate, and not just because fuck them criminals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got it, Jake. 
in a standard perfectly now. Thank you so much for showing me the light. Well, I, I, I think the mace does the opposite of showing you anything. <laughs> you see uh, everything uh, now. Yep. He can read, read his insignia now? Nope. I can't even open my eyes. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we, uh, are we may certify on the yeah the which, is, uh, yeah uh, Fre freddie pass here just got me certified did you make sure that he felt it did you feel it freddie still feeling it sorry still feeling it you you sure about that freddie you sure that you felt it <coughs> you gotta make sure that it really gets in the pores <laughs> and oh my god oh my god <laughs> holy shit <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't worn a helmet. I didn't know that technique, Captain. Yeah, what? I did. Uh, I did that to a fella who. Uh... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna open up my own can of whoop ass. <clears throat> I did that technique to a priest when I had to tackle him outside the hospital the other day. Oh, is that Slim? Oh. <laughs> is Father Slim? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, he keeps I... demanding that I give him money. Okay. You doing okay there, Freddy? Yeah. Here's yeah, a slice of away. cheese pizza for you. Yeah, well, whatever you do, try not to sweat over the next 24 hours. That'll, that'll touch come out of the dick. pores. And... Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah don't, don't, don't touch in your face. Don't, don't touch, touch your dick. dick. Yeah, don't, don't touch your pecker too much. That'll Just burn. Just do what my mom says and have her touch it. Okay. Yeah. What? All right. Uh, don't listen to Jimmy. He has an Oedipus complex. What's an octopus complex? That's a whole separate thing to what I stated, but you probably have that too. <laughs> hey, uh, real quick, uh, Washington puppy, yeah. come over here. Yep. Uh, how you feeling, Freddy? Hey, what, uh, what are y'all's thoughts on, uh, that dumb fuck over there, Jimmy? Uh, that he's a dumb fuck. That's, that's about all I've ever experienced of him. I've seen him once or twice at a couple of meetings. Uh, the first time I saw him, I thought he was flashing people because he had a shiny helmet on and a big trench coat and he was kind of standing in the corner and all I could see was the bold part of his leg. So I thought he was just flashing his wiener. Hey, uh, he, Jimmy, he come acts, over. He uh, acts dumb, but he knows exactly. He's very smart. Yeah, come over here, Jimmy. Explain Tennessee V Garner. Oh, that's the fling fellow law. Essentially, if you have a good faith belief that yourself, a fellow officer, or someone in the community is in danger, such as a, a felon fleeing has a gun in his hand, you're able to shoot them down the back. Well, what's a 1071? Jimmy. Um, is that is that a shooting? Yeah. What's ten twenty three? Oh, uh, I I'm uh, arrived on scene. What's ten seventy six? I'm on the way there. What's Terry versus Ohio? That's a Terry fr uh, Frist case law, sir. Oh, what's, what's reasonable suspicion? Reasonable suspicion is the belief that a crime is my officer good faith belief that a crime has, is, or will be committed, whereas probable cause would be followed up with uh, actual factual evidence. All right, Jimmy, go stand back for you. Uh, yes, sir. I got one more for him quickly. Oh, all right. oh a real curveball here. Uh, what's California v. Carney? I don't know that one, sir. No, I didn't think you were. That's all right. That's a curveball for a reason. All right, I'm going to do as he says. Go back over there. I, uh, yes, sir. I like him. He's yeah, hot. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's like one of them stupid kids you put in front of a piano and they can just fucking play it. Yeah, he knows exactly what he's doing. He, he yeah, might I... need to learn how to run a little quicker or become capable of standing because he just fell off a ladder. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I think uh, he's uh, very similar to uh, how Zane was a little bit, um, but Zane also has a way with uh, criminals that is beneficial for situations. All right.
that. Y'all feel like onboarding him with this other fella. I mean, he's already hired as dispatcher, yeah? Yeah, he's already got key. I think dispatchers are all onboarded as cadets, so I, don't, I ain't yeah. even got to fucking do anything. Nope. Oh. Nope. I just need to change to give him a call sign. And he yeah. already knows his way around the PD and also the MTT, so we're actually onboarding. We just need to mace him. That's about it. Yeah, well, he's already been. I think he's. Um, um, we're going to mace certify him again because I'm pretty sure our dispatchers already get me certified. Fuck Tuna. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Uh, we haven't seen her. Uh, did did you fire her, by the way, Nolan? Uh, no, I have not. I uh, was hoping she would come on duty last night or tonight. If she's not on duty by the time you go off duty today, well, you're gonna remind me, and I'll uh, I'll. I was I was gonna right go off duty now, to be honest. Uh, I was lit we're done with Freddy, so I was gonna go off duty. I can do uh, uh Jimmy here. We can onboard him, and then I'll go off mm -hmm. duty. Uh, I, yeah, I, I think John I'm in Kirk the same. All right. If I'll, anything, uh, it might uh, encourage her to come find out why she's been fired, at which point we can arrest her and then charge her. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, also... I'm gonna uh, get with... Freddy to pull out a car, don't get crushed. Oh, okay, yeah. let's move. <laughs> uh, also, um, with... Uh, the Alice person, and uh, I remembered that I... I remembered that I forgot, which is counterintuitive, uh, that the prison break situation was... Uh, we were going to talk to a prosecutor about it, and then like eight other fires started that day. Right. And so I think that was never dealt with, and there was never a warrant put out for them. That um, sounds about right. Yep. Uh, so now they're then they didn't weren't awake for a bit, and now they're awake again today. I think. So, um. But I still haven't. I've been doing this all day, and I'm honestly I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed, and I don't have time to. The brain power have, to be writing the warrant. You have 30 days to push the charges. Just push them yeah. when you have the time. Just try and remember to do it. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I just... I forgot. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't, don't apologize. Uh, uh, yeah, but I think, I think uh, Jimmy would be, will be fine. Uh, we are missing five people um, that were supposed to be showing up for onboarding. They could still show up. Um, I did realize one issue that we have uh immediately encountered with this is uh because we've done it in the shift one and two time zone uh they might just have difficulties even getting around yep yeah, i realized uh, that too name. um I believe, well, uh, yeah. i'll be uh, i should be available for uh for shift three tomorrow so if we've got anybody who uh, wants to show up around meeting time if they uh if they want to make their way around tomorrow, I can get their keys and shit sorted out. Yeah, one person did show up yesterday, but there was nobody to be giving them keys, uh, or else I would have onboarded them then. Ah, uh, that was the female individual who has since been onboarded, is it not? No, it is not. It is, um, a, two P's in the name. Uh, he is uh, AU higher. Pogine. Yes. Uh, yeah, I would have onboarded him then. I uh, just, there is no captain. That's fine. Uh, Paul Epogini, uh, Katie Storm, Logan Monroe, and Kyle Cox are the last four remaining to be hired. Paul is shift three, so he might come around. The other ones are all EU, so they probably won't come around until tomorrow. I believe, uh, Mr. Cox had a, uh, conflict. Uh, so he might be around later, but I'm not too sure. No, right. Uh, uh, I also uh, realized that we really should have maybe found a different way because now they're getting informed of the academy two days uh, previous. So. Yeah, I realized that with Freddy because I was asking him about it and he was like, there's an academy and he seemed surprised. And I was like, oh yep. yeah, he, he wouldn't fucking know that, would he? Oh, yep, I, I should have added them to the ca founding cabinet. And the previous. other issue that we have is some of these postal addresses are wrong. So obviously yeah. we sent off letters and we have no way of knowing whether they got them or not. Yes, well, we have, look, yeah. It's a, it's a fucking learning process. Uh, Y'all are doing an excellent fucking job. Uh, use whatever shortcomings we got to perfect, per perfect the next round of this shit we gotta do. 
Yeah, and honestly, the academy was more to deal with all of our officers, seniors, and below, who, and even some of yeah. our sergeants, including myself, to make sure that we're all on a level playing field. We all understand the same thing. We all work comprehensively and similar in the future. Yeah. All right. I'm going to tell Jimmy to get down here and give him the good news. Hey, uh, Jimmy, get your uh, get your ass off that fucking roof. Get down here. Okay. I'm not oh, going to be around nice. tomorrow. I'm telling you. Oh, uh, do we have a flag uh, around here? Oh, right, right, right there. Oh, Jimmy, there follow me. Uh, did you need something from me, Cam? I want to go to bed. I'm actually going to wake up tomorrow. Jimmy! Alright, look at the flag. Yeah. Salute. I repeat after me. Repeat uh, after me. I name. I name. Alright, he's fired. Uh, Jimmy! Do it again. Ah, uh, name. I. Wait. Oh. It's not sentence. Go again. Okay, go again. <laughs> Salute the flag. Repeat after me. Ah, uh, name. I. Jimmy. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. The Constitution of the State of San Andreas in America. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of San Andreas. To the Constitution of San Andreas. Of San Andreas. Sorry, that's my aids kicking in. That I will take this obligation freely. That I will take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Is that a joke about my IQ? No. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasions. And that I will will and faithfully that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter of which I'm about to enter what office is that? welcome to the force there officer Jimmy hey I don't know what just happened you, you well, just did a note I'm you're, right now. you're now a cadet yeah you're, you're, you're a cadet with the Los Santos Police Department now uh, that means that uh, Poppy and Washington and the other folks who are in charge of our personnel and training and whatnot, they, they're going to be determined. Uh, they're oh, going to be so determined your career. <laughs> All right, that's, that's a fucking wall, Jimmy. I think he's going to die by the end of the week. <laughs> I think then we'll, then we'll have plans for no. Saturday. Next Saturday. No, I got a helmet. He you took your helmet, helmet off. There we that's go. Because I like to feel something. All right. I promise uh, to be a great diversity hire. I don't and know what that means. What the hell's a diversity hire? Take that back, Jimmy, for the love of God. Who else on that? Wait, what is a diversity hire? It is. Uh, it is worth looking into if we get any tax breaks for hiring him. Or oh, yeah. that's a good. That's a yeah. yeah. That, oh, wait, that Jimmy, you a minority? <laughs> no, I'm over eighteen. <laughs> yeah, he's over 18. Um, oh, okay, that's minor. fine then. All right, yeah, then let's go. Let's, get, let's get you some good. uniform. Hey, yeah, hey, uh, Jimmy, tell me what number you like the best. You don't want to hide a janitor, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's just somebody, some guy with blonde hair and, and chops, and not, I want to see you. He's, not, he's about to go off duty, and he's asking about his pay. Oh, he's not yeah. Hired him, no. yeah, yeah, he's I uh, hired him as a janitor. Uh, he has meant to scoop oh, uh, poop uh, off our, our toilet floors. He's only allowed yeah, in the front lobby. No, I, uh, I have I not given you, him I, I keys. I think he's hired, hired. No, it, I, oh, okay. I'm just paying him out of pocket. To, uh, I see. I think in the city hall, they have their, the janitors over there have keys. 
Oh wait, I can't give them keys yeah, to the PD. Uh, no, they're they're trying to extend a deal with them janitors over at City Hall with us. I got to talk. Oh to yeah, the chief same for the film box. I think the EMS were also asking what game janitors here. I said like, well, we'll see into it. Uh, but now yeah, I'm just trying uh, to focus. I know Harper was thinking of a job fair, but I'm trying to find more of a desk sergeant and also. Well, yeah, desk sergeant or admin. Uh, uh, I, I, I've spoken. Have I spoken to you, Nolan, about that? Desk sergeant. About what this uh, 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 person who's cleaning the piss out here? No, desk sergeant is a separate role that uh, essentially somebody who would control our armory and evidence lockers and be hired on oh, as an yeah. actual member of our yeah, PD. No, that's a... Yeah, that's actually a good fucking idea. Uh, since we got those rooms, might as well utilize them, but obviously it would have to be an individual we trust thoroughly, as they would have access to both the armory and also, uh, thing. Yeah. All right, uh, let me go get some extra money out the... Where's our ATM? He's right here to the right. Oh, there we yeah, go. He's, he's getting fucking money for you. Calm down. Oh. oh, I just wanted to ask him if I was doing a good job. Oh, all right. Hey, Simon, can we uh, talk for a moment? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't got anything super, uh, super private. Where'd Piss Boy go? Oh, there he is. It, it, he has a name, Rosner. Uh, Jesus. I forgot it in Piss Boy suits. All right. Did you... Did you call me piss boy? Yeah, there you go. There's your wages. I'm a veteran. Yeah. What's your name? My name's Cork. Cork Cobb. Yeah, he has a name. All what right, Cork. Oh, Granada. Yeah. That's where you invaded, right? You said you, you served a whole four That's hours right. or something. That's right. R Reagan sent us in. All right. <laughs> I love this. We, caught, we took over the country in four days, five hours, and 53 minutes. Uh, I was on latrine duty the whole time. Four glorious days. All right. No sleep. Nothing. Nothing to do except raid the morphine supplies and. Oh, actually, uh, I found something that might assist with the cleaning of the toilets. Here, here you oh, go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, thank you. What you? What we got here? There we go. Oh, fantastic! Can I actually use that? Yeah. Oh, fan fucking tastic! Perfect. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Right, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, just when I thought, well, I was just finishing my shift for the evening, but with this, I'll be back. Don't worry, tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. You could take it off and you'll still have it. You, you don't lose it. You know, I still have my burger. Oh, fuck yes. Fantastic. That is, that is perfect for the code brown. We've only had three code yellows today. Oh, well, uh, are you going off duty? I was just about to, unless you're going code brown. Oh, no, I can no, get in it's there fine. You, you, you can come get it tomorrow. It's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right, sir. I'll, come, I'll go in there for it. I'll get, I'll get ready. Let's find one. That's gross. Download. Uh, sampler. Top right. Uh, add samples. Downloads. Did I not download it? Yeah, open file. MP3 file. Yeah, didn't download. There we go. Oh god. It's gonna be a big one. I need more. I don't know if I have enough bleep. I don't know if I have enough bleep. Oh, that one's gross. That one's really gross. That one's that one's uncalled for. I don't know if I like that one. Uh, what did it download as? Part two. Okay. Oh god. Okay. They want to stand back. Stand back. We have a we have a triple threat. We have a three X code brown. 
No. 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 No, these are all terrible. Yes. No, I want the other one. I want the other one. I want I want the other one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like it's getting pretty intense in there. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't even know if I should do this. Sorry, uh, all right. Me. All right. Okay. I'm all oh, done now. Oh, I'm all done. Okay. All oh, right. God. All right. Well, it's all in there, boy. All right. We got a code brown triple X. I repeat, code brown triple X. All right. I need a full team. We need the full team on this. Oh, I should have added an interact function. Oh, if I'd added an interact function, that would have been so good. <laughs> and watch him wash it away. No, I don't care if it's your children's birthday and your wife is dead. No, I don't. That does not matter to me, Stu. Stu, you need to get to work. Stu. Get this fucking shovel, Stu. He's hired a team. Oh, oh, the smell. Oh, I can, I can still smell it. I can still smell it. <laughs> oh, God. This is bad. I don't know if we can handle this one. We gotta keep pushing. We have to dig the trench deeper. We have to dig it deeper. It's going down. Yeah, pretty much. It's going down. We lost two. He's in the pile. He's in the pile. No. No. I should have gave him the day off. Oh, God. What am I going to tell his wife? Oh, wait, she's dead. Oh, we're good, though. Okay. <laughs> tell me just yeah, when I'm holiday. All right, Stu, so did you get to pick up Stu's slack? Because Stu is not dead. I still, oh, God, I see his feet in there. Oh, Christ, that thing. Oh, no. All right, so I need you to dig out Stu and then move in on uh, quadrant number three. Uh-huh, all right. We're also going to need at least six more bottles of bleach in on this You're one. You're jerking me around here. Okay. All right, good work, team. Good work, team. I'll remember to, someone remember, remind me to, to send uh, funeral flowers to Stu's, uh, to Stu, Stu's children. Right. That was that was intense. Oh, hi, oh hello, sir. Were you still there? Oh, I, I heard the whole thing. We're we done on uh, establishing a team for that uh, awful awful expedition into the depths oh. of, of. Oh, Korea you heard Tower. about Stu? Yeah, Paul Stu. Uh, I, I don't know if Stu was real or whether you just made a broth from the poo. Sir, a good man just died in there. I wouldn't be jesting. He's leaving behind at least six small children and two young adults. 
Stu was 46 years old. He was balding in the middle. <laughs> and he had he was a little bit larger. He was a little fat. It's you know, it's not the not, no no comment on Stu's weight. But there was a goddamn fucking avalanche in there. <laughs> it buried him six feet deep. We only found the feet by the time I was done. The team was still in there fixing things. They should have it all cleaned up by now though, so I think how, I think it's pretty much I think it's pretty much good that? to go for the next for the next custom. This room must only be seven or eight feet of any Irish mist and or a moist towelette. Oh no, I, I should be quite all right. Thank you. I, I I'll just I'll just wipe my hands on your chest here. I, I didn't get to oh. wash them. There was oh. no. Oh. There okay. We, yes, sir. There yes, we, sir. Um, I just want you to know you can send the flowers to the bonfire. Let you turn around. I like your hair. Let me wipe it on your hair. Oh, yes, sir. Ah, there we go. There we go. I remember when my hair was bleach blonde. Oh yeah, now it's more of a brown. Okay. Well. All in a day's work, sir. All yeah, in... now I'm gonna go use the shower. I should have used them before, but uh, I feel Wait, like waiting. I'm a just shower gonna... here? Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Mm-hmm. Fun shower. Going to bed? Uh, yeah, I said I was going 42. Oh. It was like, long... it was like hours ago, you said. Yeah, that's true. Uh, two or four, four going long. 42 for the third time. Yeah, that's a few, so we'll see how it goes. Just, just so you know, you can send funeral flowers to. to to his family oh uh, yeah uh, sure i can do that uh, so i'm gonna get to the number uh, you're, you're needed upstairs hi hey uh, just to confirm it's nash right yes all right all right is there anything else i'm needed for no that was that was Pepper, can you just i just wanted to confirm spray spray the name yeah, oh right yeah sure you have and a good night sir nice and you it's a pleasure to meet you there cop maybe janice but i don't know if we're gonna get peace he can't be called cop he's not allowed to be called Cobb. no he's not allowed to be called cop no, all right all right let me get then, my pepper spray uh-huh where the fuck are you sleeping uh, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Oh, I'm Pippa Spray. Yep. Also, you need uh, to be taught how to use seven, a gun. Seven, but I'm too tired seven, and they might shoot them. I could, I could, uh, I could show them how. Okay. I, sure. You know what? No, 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 no. I'll show him. Don't worry. Jim L. Jim L. And four, show you at the unconscious person that. Jim L. Where's Jim L? Oh, he's in there. He, yeah, he he. I failed to tell them how to open the armory because I thought he knew how to do it. Uh, one of everything except for gun. And ammo. To be on radio and like expecting rigs to write something down. I know. Two seven eight. I'm gonna be uh, ten six in the office for uh, three. I'm or four out bikes. of space because I have a chessboard, a frisbee, pizza, pet food, sprunk, paint thinner, a notebook, roller skates, doghouse, water, tennis ball, ammo, lockpick, cigarettes, a, a flashlight, stuffed animal, handcuffs, and more notebook paper. Is there a place to uh, you know put that away? Yeah, follow me. Okay. Hurry up, Jimmy. Damn, Jimmy, you're so slow. Uh, you can look at these lockers here. Look real good at them. Yep. I'm just gonna shove a whole chessboard in there. Yeah, and just just put all your stuff in there. Look real good. And whilst you're looking, keep your eyes open. Have you ever been May certified? Nope. You are now. <laughs> I did oh, two and you, one. You, you did it without me. Oh, you want to do it again? Yeah. Jimmy, well, yeah? The, the spot for that, it's a closed area. No ventilation. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, it usually stinks in here anyway. Your kind of feels good. What? What? Oh, okay, Jimmy, get in the shower and wash it out. Yeah, okay. use hot water, Jimmy. Yeah. I like the pain. Okay, well, it's about to get worse. Well, that does not help at all. I'm getting out of here yep. before it starts yep. to burn. You want me to take... Oh, oh, I am so stoked. Oh, wow. Look at that. Just testing, just testing your reflexes, man. I apologize. Yo, why are you I doing you? Uh, the rest of my zero stuff? You, 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 you tackle me? Yeah, I'm just testing uh, the reflexes and all apologies. All right, all right. I can't even go 42 yet. Why? Because we need to continue on board and Jimmy. Oh, fuck. All right, you feeling better now, Jimmy? Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, let's go, go go back to the armory and get your, your, your weapons. Yeah, the weapon. Okay, we, uh, the, everything else but the weapon. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. I think Giovanni already has two cadets. You know, I can, uh, maybe I can go out with another cadet and we can just, uh, fucking wing it, you know? Get, uh, thrown right into the pits. Oh, I know. How about we give them to Officer Howie, sir? That is a terrible idea. That man has killed multiple children. You talking about the guy who was choked on his wheels? Uh, he didn't choke on his wheels. He made some oh, toys I, uh, No, with I Hasbro. ate him and I almost choked on him. Oh. oh. Yeah, I yeah, was I... eating the wheels, but I was, I was a big boy, so I was able to I... swallow the wheels whole. I don't know what the problem would be, sir, to give Jimmy to Howie. If as long as I can be there and just to take it all in and just learn, I will, I will be learning the whole way. You know, it doesn't... It, it, as it, well as I'll Freddy. be honest with you guys, I think I know more case laws and police procedures than Howie, so I think I can help. Uh, 214 from 204. I think this is going to be the best decision we made all night. Oh, Susan. The Howie? Eh? Yeah? Uh, you mind coming down to the PD quickly? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm not yeah, Mr. Here. Howie, is he a senior uh, officer uh, as well? Where, where are you? Uh, I am not a senior officer. I'm at the front door. Alright, I'm on the way. How are you? How are you? Uh, did I do something? Oh, come over here. Come over here. What the hell is done? Okay, Hi. how are you? How are you? All right, st to stand to attention. Yes. How are you? For today, you are going to be FTOing Freddy Price, all right? Oh, send Jimmy with them too. Price? Yeah, Freddy Price. Oh, oh, uh, oh so Jimmy. Yeah, just send them. Yeah. Okay, well, both Jimmy. of them are going with you, all right? Don't. How's it going, Fred? If I find out that you get in any class action lawsuits or something i'm gonna be very angry don't worry i know more case laws than this oh, okay. does i got this it's true he does yep all right yeah, don't worry so we find. got it covered all right, all right gang uh, you know do you have your gear yes dad yes, yes sir you got everything right. i need whatever it is single you file need. follow me oh howie this yeah, one's hey, 12 howie. so please be careful i am, I am 12 yeah. years old make sure to abuse it my ID. you're 12 they misfiled it. It's supposed to be God 22. damn it. Yeah, mine got misfiled too. Is there a, Somebody's uh, bad at How old are you, buddy? Is there a way to I'm 25, I but it may oh, say 36. Yes. Yeah, yeah, look at the... Okay. Yeah, um, look at the... There's a pamphlet on the bulletin board no, on the oh, desk man. next to the court. I don't know what the hell is happening. He doesn't have so access to the desk. So excited to how he is taking He's you out. Uh, in here? I'm All right. I'm gonna be honest. Jimmy, I'm gonna be... Uh, no, I don't think you have access uh, to that. You haven't been given that. Uh, uh, you don't have tags. Uh, how do I word this? Um, give it to me straight, boys. Your second finger. Just, just give it a little shift to that. Shift second finger. Nope, it's uh, it's your mace. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the hit. All right, I'm gonna take the hit. Just shift F2. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Yeah. 
Give it to me straight, boss, and I yeah. got you. All right. Uh, and you need to turn it off and on with your E. Uh, if you ever want to switch radios, you got to, uh, like, radio stations, you got to turn it off. Uh, radio station 2 is EMS medical. Uh, radio station 1 is your usual patrol. How about volume? Uh, volume, you just got to think about vol and then whatever number between 0 and 100. I usually keep it around 20. Gotcha. If you want to put it away again, it's just uh, shift F2 again. I assume it's on 20. Did a space here, yeah, bought space 20. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that works. Uh, Copy that, sorry. All right, great. Uh, let me test it for you and you can find out if you like the volume. Radio check. Uh, how, Sounds that perfect, sir. All right, there yeah, you go. Yes, yeah, sorry, Mr. Howard. Oh, no, you don't have to call me, sir. Um, sir? Okay. Wait, okay. How, wait, wait, one question. Howard, did you ever do the Oath of Allegiance? Of course I have. Okay, you're a liar. You're terrible. Get over here. I love this country. Get over here. Country. Uh, okay. I spent an hour and a half Ste saluting every flag right, in this building. the flag. Yeah. Salute it. Wait, salute it? Yeah, I'll salute it. All right, now repeat after me. I name. I name. No, god damn it. No, I'm going to fire everybody who says that. The, no, your actual name. I enter your actual name. I, my actual name. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls. I, Howie Felcher. Uh, just solemnly swear. You solemnly swear that I will support and defend that I will support and defend the constitution of the state of San Andreas of the constitution of the state of San Andreas against all enemies against all enemies foreign and domestic foreign and domestic that I will bear that I will bear true faith and allegiance are you fucking kidding me, man? How much is how much longer? How much longer? I'm doing it three words at a time, Howie. Come on. Well, well let's do it at ten, maybe. No, because I tried five words and you forgot what I said. Three words at a time, because okay. you got Jesus too much right. of a short Howie. attention span. Come on, let's True go. True faith and let's allegiance. Two, what? True faith and allegiance. Oh my God. True faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the State of San Andreas. To cause the station of the state of San Andreas. Try again. To the constitution of the state to of the San Andreas. To the constitution of the state of San Andreas. That I take this obligation freely. That that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservations. All That's purpose what I have. of evasion. All purpose of invasion. No, all purpose of evasion. Didn't you all leave this country? Of... Don't bring the purpose in it and stop intending to invade places. It's all purpose of evasion. All purposes, all purposes and intentions. Uh, it's good enough. And then I the will you doing, well and faithfully. They're making me. They're making me hey, salute. Cap. Yeah, the the oh, even... we're doing all the cadets and he he his oath of office hasn't on, been sir. done. I'm not, not a cadet. cadet. Yeah, I know you're an officer, but you haven't done the oath either. And then I will well and faithfully. Attorney General. Come on, and Howard. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties. Discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. At the office at which I am about to enter. That's good enough. All right, well done. You you now you now sworn in. Thanks, Washington. All right. It oh. sounded like Super uh, Nintendo Mario there. Yeah, that was that was rather intense. Oh, <laughs> uh, Bishop, we, we have given Howie, Freddie Price, and Jimmy yeah. Hill as cadets. You've, did, you've done what? We've given him Freddie Price and Jimmy. What is your last name, Jimmy? Wilkinson. You're making me FTO these guys, Jimmy so we're them with us. Yeah, I, honestly, it, it's, it's kind of a trap, but I don't think Howie's recognized that because both of his cadets know the case laws better than he does. Yeah, Howie <laughs> said, they said Howie teaches me about the streets and about hard meat, and I teach him about case laws. Yeah, I'm you not going to listen. You want, me to, you want me to FTO two people? Uh, 
No, 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 no. They want me to do it. Didn't you listen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's do it. Ah, that's fine. The four of you can go ahead. Just don't, don't, don't get in any lawsuits. Uh, I, oh, Bishop, I, I heard uh, somebody came in today. They claim that you did not give them the ability to plead guilty or not guilty. You just said you've been H Bishop and sent them up to jail. It's classic. That's please, classic. please don't this do that. This guy does they, the best paperwork they, they will in this whole department. Us. Don't they, worry. They will sue us. Please don't do that. You can tell them they've been ace bishop, but please, please tell them, well, advise them, uh, or ask them to, uh, Mr. I don't know, bishop, plead guilty or not guilty. I'll do all guilty. your paperwork today. That sounds What's like that? a good deal. He says he's going to do your paperwork. I'll do all your paperwork today, sir. Okay, all right. Let's take him out then, I guess. All right, we got to go find the Freddy guy now. All right, perfect. I'm going off duty. This won't backfire. Thanks, Washington. Yeah, anytime. Thanks, Washington. I hey, love you. Yeah, Jim. It, it, Real quick, it, I need your availability. Oh, Freddy, another? we're should on the go. go. Available. Oh, uh, 242 for the fall time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Great. Good night. Ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, God. Thanks, guys. Howie, I just want to let you know the doctor said that next week they're going to be able to still give you your new Victoria Wheel phone. It's still locked in your. Okay, that'll be that's fine. Good to meet you, Frederick. Uh, I'm not really sure why they've appointed me this position. Because uh, we've had a lot of people, a and we need right, we need assistance. No, I, I didn't see you there, Washington. Yeah, I, had I was it. just I was I had a joke, a follow up joke for that. You're good. You're good. Oh, you want to hear that uh, joke part? Yeah, yeah, I'm, w I'm waiting for it. I like jokes. I, uh, I'm a, I'm lost a. My train of, lost yeah. my train of thought. Lost my train of thought. Don't make, don't, Bishop. don't make me get you a flog and get you to start self-flagellating as well. The fuck was flogging? Flog? Yeah, I, I, I got my, my black leather, uh, gold cross tipped flog here, and anytime I feel sinful, I go up into the empty room upstairs, the therapy room, and take my shirt off, and I, I flog until the sin it seeps out. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I'm a holy man. Oh, it's a god thing. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Delicious. What did you think it was? What What did you think the gold cross referred to? Fetish shit. I don't know. Fetish. I think that's the type of pastor, isn't it? Fettuccine. <laughs> yeah, fettuccine. Yeah. Listen, we gotta go find Ace before we get left behind, because there's no way All I can right, go, run these on, guys. run on, go mm. on, go on. You can, oh, yeah. you can do it, Howie. We got this. No. His body across the All right, perfect. Line, so he's... Hey, Hopper. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait, I know how to fix this. <laughs> he's taking on the text. Oh, how are we going? How are we going? What were, what were we talking about? Sorry, I was... Sorry. You're just talking about the game. You're good. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, sorry. I was I was, I was uh, thinking of what questions to ask um, him when we, go, when we go out on patrol. Yep, yep. yep You're going to learn a lot from... You can ask me about my held until trial if you want. Some yeah, people. yeah. But those I can tell you all about civil suits. I was in one. Yep. Wait, who the Maybe fuck is this? Was... Wait, is Case this a Murdoch? Yeah. Who's this? What? <laughs> That's a Biggs! Oh, this is howdy, Biggs! Oh, yeah. No, I was standing here. Oh, this is my here. brother! Yeah, I was standing here the whole time thinking, when the fuck did Murdoch grow a mustache? He wish he is Washington. How are you? I'm all right, sorry. You, you, you threw me off there. Yep, yeah, sorry. It's, it's a uniform. I look good in there, don't I? Yeah, yeah, it's a good uniform. Yeah, he's the one that helped me with the... Well, yeah, you know, yeah. we did the whole drug trafficking thing. The drug thing. trafficking thing, yeah. For the first yeah, shift, yeah. the second shift, and already got a hut. Yeah. Okay, I, I have been yeah. here too long, and this is my fourth attempt at going 42. I'm going uh -huh. 42. I appreciate uh -huh. all oh, of you. Oh, should I show him around the gun range and our shotgun tactics? Uh, Howie, where the fuck are you? I think he would love that. Okay, we can can we start with that? All right. Go, go ahead. All right, all right. Let's go. We're going to the gun yeah. range. Yeah. Hey, Cap. 
Yeah, I'm... All right, good night, everyone. Have a good shift. I think that might be my car. I can't remember. It's hard to turn off the radio, don't you? Where are you sleeping? I don't know. I didn't think that far ahead. I just fall and go to sleep. I might fall asleep in this bush. Go fall asleep in the bush. <laughs> Pop here. No, she's gone. All right. Well, in which case, I uh, guess I'm sending you guys off as well. Oh, God, God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Right. Uh, good night, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go look at uh, oh, uh, Airbnbs and hotels and stuff. I right, send you off to Lily Pond, Lady Hope. Thank you, everybody, so much. Uh, you want to visit Sharad? I was going to send you over to uh, Lily Pond. Do you not want to see Pond? What's Sharad got going on? Is he even on duty? Okay, I'm sending you over to the lady. We'll do sure tomorrow if he's around. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go get some rest. Shit, I need to log on Sid. Fucking hell, it's been so difficult. Uh, a reminder that I'm going away next week. Probably from Wednesday until the following Sunday. So I will be off. No stream for a whole week. Around about the time that, uh, the Nikki is a uh, riot comes back. So, if you guys aren't already following Nikki is a riot, please go follow her. Also, Sock22, Reese RP, all of them rated us today. Go give them some love. I appreciate all of you. I thank all of you for being here. I love all of you. Go send some love over to Lady Hope. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. If you're not already part of the Discord, please join the Discord. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.